go. I like how um when you see streams from like any other person online, they'll have like a, you know, like a big opening thing, like in a set thing, and it's almost like getting to the point with EFAP now where I don't even want us to make one because it's just it's too much, it's too normal for EFAP to just not have an opening, it's just for us to be fucking talking about something. What do you mean? Um, you know, like, no. how how was your day, Rags? Oh, it was okay. Things Ugh. have gone all right so far. See, that was boring. Talk with someone else. Wolf, how was your day? It's been going swell. Mm. See, that was boring too. Yo, how was your day? Yeah, okay. Mm, you're all so fucking lame. My <laughs> day was amazing. I flew a dragon into a... No, I've run out of creativity too. Everything sucks. <laughs> so... <We're> in a, <laughs> we live in a post-endgame world, Waller. Oh, is that true? How do you know they're not going to make Endgame 2? Ah, oh. this is also Marvel game. after all. En Ender game. Ender's game. No. I haven't actually seen that. Have you guys? It's not good. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll say I haven't read the book, so I don't. I'm not speaking on the quality of that. But the the movie was pretty weak. Well, no. um, isn't that it had like fucking Harrison and Ford and Ben Kingsley and shit? Solo right? in it. Yeah. And he put forth his good old don't give a fuck about what I'm doing acting in there too. All right. Good old Harrison Ford. I've put out the tweet as well. I'm on I'm on fire today with doing things properly. How good is that? You guys what? proud? What you made a tweet? Mm -hmm. You did a thumbnail? Mm hmm Oh. I should you're be in, president. You're in Fuego. I, I I am the best. Oh, you know what? To start off, I need to get these things out of the way. When you left, Wolf. There was like seven mm -hmm. super chats in a row asking you questions. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did you write them down? Yes, or? I've got them. Okay. So the first one was Wolf. My dad and I watched all six Middle Earth films each year. I enjoy the Hobbit films, though Lord of the Rings is objectively better. How would you improve the Hobbit films? I would remake them completely. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that's what it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I enjoy watching them, but they're not good. Is that all you want to say? What, what about what about the one tweak you would make? What's the one biggest tweak? Uh, make it, fuck! I don't know. <laughs> um, I that I could that could make a whole fucking video in and of itself. Oh I, well, yeah, they, I don't really think right, of that. Fair enough. Um, I Wolf, would make you... I would make Bilbo a strong, independent black lesbian Jewish. Shut the woman. fuck up. Um, he was that. Did you ever ask what he identified as? What she identified as? No, I said what well, they identified. <laughs> How dare you misgender Bilbo Baggins? Would How Bilbo identify dare you as? assume you've misgendered Bilbo Baggins? <laughs> That's offensive as well. This is a conversation that people have probably had unironically. Probably at some point. Um, Wolf, that is one of the worst parts of man manga slash anime. They can't just show it, they have to show it and explain it over and over again. I'm not sure what that was entirely referencing. Oh, you? I think it was. I, I was talking about how anime will actually fucking tell, like, explain shit to you, whereas a lot of movies now, they're just like, you can fucking figure it out on your own and come up with answers. You can write the movie for it. Um, this one was from Beowin. The Interstellar Marines book art was rather iridescent, wouldn't you say, A Wolf? And that's a reference to the. the oh, art. yes. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yes, I, I did <laughs> notice that good old blessed Beowin. Iridescent? Yes. Hmm. Rax doesn't like it. Well, I can't. I probably can't remember it because it was so generic and dull. It's like I'm Space Marine Man from space. Use my gun. I shoot things. That was Interstellar oh, yeah. Marines, though. It's completely yes, different. I'm interested. That's a different movie. I clearly universe. wrote Interstellar Marines. Oh yeah, it was your first work, right? Yeah, I take Marines. all. I take all credit for Joseph Anderson's Interstellar Marines. Let me look at Interstellar Marines. Um, it's a video game. All right, I all gotta right. find the book. That, that's definitely not it. Then you got... Uh, Interstellar Marines book. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We've already read this, Rags. No, I just gotta remember the cover. Oh yeah, it's a, it's an extremely... Ro Reese woke up from cryostasis like a second birth. <laughs> um... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we read this on stream. I remember reading part of it 
with yeah that was that's like the first sentence <laughs> oh god of the that book. was oh jesus well you know sometimes when media isn't particularly um <clears throat> gripping you often forget it and maybe that's a good thing uh so the next one says i wasn't upset i was making a joke about him ragging on jay when he was 25 years behind in world of time hashtag misrepresented so i think you okay. said shit about Jay for not catching up with Lord of the Rings, and someone said that you were behind in World of Time, but they were just they were just joking. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's one that says world, Wolf. Or world, worlds of Time, except for that one place in Doctor Strange, which apparently doesn't have time for some reason. Well, obviously. Oh, Dormammu. Yeah. Dormammu. It's Dormammu. Dormammu. Uh, Wolf, why won't you just love me? I can only love one, okay? <laughs> People might be able to put that into an EFAP meme. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf, don't leave. The fo folder's getting massive. The folder's getting massive? I guess they're referencing to me having to write these down. I'm not sure. Ah, the oh. folder. Wolf, the third Pirates of the Caribbean is better than the first. I will debate you on this. You're gonna... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the third is oh, better than the first? Good fucking god. How can you hold that position? That's not, yeah, I can't remember who exactly sent that, but, um... Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, end of EFAB? Damn, well, goodbye, Wolf. See what I mean? They just kept sending ones for Wolf. One of these videos has been hit with a copyright, but it's still available. Oh, oh, that, was, that wasn't for you, that was for me, I think. Yes, so, okay, that was it, we did it. There you go, Wolf. They were yeah, all the Pirates of the here. Caribbean 3 is like the Citizen Kane of pirate-themed <laughs> movies. Well, why would you say that? <laughs> because of the, um... Because it's the saltiest, and that defines the pirate existence. I'd say it's more like the Mummy 3 of pirate movies. Mummy 3 of pirate movies? Yeah. The Mummy 3 is the Mummy 3 of mummy movies. Um, that is true. That's your opinion, though. Like, you can't just go around saying shit like that, dude. Um, what a terrible movie. The, uh, the Arrival debate video has got another copyright thing on it. But it's not one that takes it away from being available, apparently. It said unavailable in a selection of countries. There was a huge list, but apparently, like I tested it out, it's still available for UK and America, so. Yeah, well, that's the ones that matter. And it's been, I've challenged it. We've only recently, I, I think I'm only about to get the other ones back, the uh, the Mission Impossible ones. They're still available, but fucking hell, this, this shit is annoying. Because, like, the whole point of us playing video essay videos is that they don't get hit with copyright because those videos are up, but somehow that doesn't work that way, so. <sighs> Oh, and the other thing was, um, EFAP movies, so a lot of people wanted, so this is this is for assuming all the people who watched EFAP movies watched this podcast as well. Um, people want us to release the full audio track for EFAP movies. The thing is that, um, they're a super cut of me, Wolf, and Rags reacting to movies, because a lot of the time we're just going to be quiet listening to what the actual movie even has, because half the time one of us hasn't seen it, and then we'll make comments and maybe some jokes don't land or the pacing gets screwed up and the way that I can supercut it means all I of can... our jokes land Mahler yes they land um, on their feet without even a little hop 10 there out is, of 10 the point Gold is metal. there is no original track because it's all just recorded flat like I don't have separate audio files and then the the video it's really slapdash so I do audio commentaries on my main channel with main films and I'm probably going to do more of them as time goes on but EFAB movies is like its own format and I feel like this isn't the last time I'm going to have to say that, but hey, that, hopefully that helps for people who are looking for it. There's two more on the way. Mm. And, yeah, that's that's about that. So, intro stuff done. Um, welcome, special guest, E, uh, colon, R. That's how it goes, right? Mm, yeah, just yeah. about. That's, that's like a finally, semi-way. Finally breaking no fap here. Mm. How do you, how, how is life? Life is good. You um, you seen a few of these episodes that we do of this insane podcast, yeah? Yeah, one or two. How have you how have you been finding it from what you've seen? Uh, too short. Too in short. My case. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're trying to fix these things, you know. It's difficult, but a lot of the time, like rags and wolf just have to leave, so we only end up with like you know seven hours or so, and it's just like fucking hell, guys. We gotta start bringing provisions with us. That's true. Mm -hmm. we begin things. Like bring one of those, like like do it while sitting on some form of a exercise bike, maybe just keep your limbs from or like keep from bed sores appearing. But I'll, I'll call people in case you never hear from me again. You mm -hmm. know, here's where I am. It's like the ultimate you'll will be thirty hours. You'll 
call the cops. Well, I keep bringing pizza for a long show, but then Rags tells me I'm a bad man for su for doing that. That's true. Yeah, pizza's bad for you. Yeah, but it gets me through long things. <sighs> long things bad? Long things good if you have pizza. Mm. Um, Circle things good. So, let's, um... Let's, if we're gonna start this, because we're here today to talk about a, a movie that came out. You guys heard of it? It's, it's called Avengers Endgame, I think? Yeah. It's that one about the superheroes doing shit and stuff. Um, yeah, the purple one. It's a, the, oh yeah, there's a big purple guy in it. So... Purple man, good. I figure... Let's see, how does this come on screen? There we go, perfect. Um, I'll, I'll start with, I guess, getting like um, a what, 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 thumbs up or down for the film. That, that's the that's a nice way of putting it, and that can mean anything. But um, why don't we go one at a time? Uh, start from the left. Wolf, thumbs up or down for Avengers Endgame? <laughs> uh, thumbs up. Oh, interesting. Ia. Yeah. Ah. Mm, uh, mm, I'm kind of perfectly balanced between them. Thumbs all neutral. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thumbs. How do you, I'm just gonna put thumbs. Bloop. Uh, rags. I think it's thumbs up. And I'm going with thumbs up as well. Now you'd be like, "What the fuck does that even mean?" I don't even know. Actually, that could mean anything to all of us. So now let's do the the really fun bit. Give um an estimated guess of what you would assume the objective sort of ranking this film gets out of a ten and non-committal. This is a number that will probably change within the next ten seconds, minutes, or hours. Just um, what do you uh, what would you give it as a number out of ten, Mister Wolf? Off you go. Oh, by the um, way, like spoilers. Oh, well, it's in the title, yeah, we're gonna be spoiling the shit out of this yeah. movie. So if you haven't seen it... Um, um, Iron Man dies. Why would you... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, go <laughs> see... spoilers. Go see the... There's other spoilers, so go see the movie if you haven't. Watch this podcast another time. Uh, if, if not, you know, there we are. There's, there's warnings in the tweet and in the title. I don't know why anybody at this point, you know. But some people don't even want to watch it, right? So And they're just like, oh, just fucking talk about it. So, uh, moving on from that, yeah, spoilers, what do you, what would you give it out of 10, Wolf? Uh, this is objective, right? Yeah, doing your best to sort of rank it as a story. Uh, I'm gonna go between like a 5 or a 6. Call it a 5.5? Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go 5. Mm-hmm. Rags? Right there in the middle. It's really tough because they, they do a lot of time travel stuff, and when... And when you do time travel, it's one of those weird sorts of things where you're like, well, how come they couldn't do this, or how come they could do this, and what exactly are the specific rules? So it's really, really tough to... It's really, really tough. Um, for now, I'm going to go with a six, because I'm, is, just going after one viewing, I'm going to give it a six. Fair but enough. we'll see how that goes so far because when I was watching it, I I couldn't think of like anything massive as I was watching it. Maybe I just missed it, but I guess we'll see. Uh, for me, probably like <laughs> I didn't want it to be so similar for everybody, but yeah, I probably I feel like this could change, but it's probably a five for me. Uh. I don't know how shocking so that's going to be. So we're all pretty much people. in the same range then. Yeah, which I mean, looking at it very neutrally as an average, it's like seems like most of us already agreed on exactly what we're getting from this film. Uh, so why not explore why, huh? S um, does anybody want to? I mean, I'll probably do a counter again at the end just to see if we changed our minds at all on anything. Was it better than Infinity War for everybody here? No. Mm -mm. I liked it more than Infinity War. All right. Well, <laughs> I, th so, I thought yes, Infinity War was better, um, but yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into it. I suppose. Does anyone want to say anything before we start trying to go through basically scene by scene with this thing? Fat Thor was <laughs> really. I hated it. I mean, it was funny at first, but they kept the joke going for way too fucking long. But that's the thing. I don't think it was a joke. <laughs> they, they, they actually well, wanted I, to commit I mean, to I, it. I mean, I don't know about the rest of you, but I thought there was too much comedy in the movie. 
I mean, it, not that it didn't land for me. I'd say most of it landed, but I felt like it, it took away from the serious aspects to throw jokes every couple minutes. Well, again, uh, we should probably uh, we'll do we'll totally talk about Thor and everything else. Uh, someone just reminded me I should probably do a subjective take as well. That makes the most sense. So, uh, fuck it. Wolf. I um, that's weird. They, I I thought the um. I didn't really get much out of the comedy from this one. There was a few things, but I thought it was way less of a comedy than like Infinity War was. I probably agree with that, but again, we'll we'll um we'll try and break it down piece by piece. But uh, so what did you personally get out of it? Out of ten, uh, Wolf. Oh, subjectively. Um, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That ending pretty much seals it for. I'd say seven. Seven, all right. Uh, y'all? I'm still down there at five. Mm-hmm. Mr. Rags? Man, I think I think subjectively, this was like a nine or ten for me. I'll go at a 9.5, and yeah, for yeah. me it was like a nine, but it's totally going to change as time goes on, and I think about it more. I already know that. But yeah. uh, I was on an emotional high for this one. All right. Oh, I know, right? Jesus. <laughs> so... The fucking you open with like Hawkeye uh, with his family do it doing shit. The the first thing a couple people have already pointed out is like, why is it daytime in America and in Africa? It's a bit it's, it's weird. It's like there's fucking nitpicks. Like I mean yeah, but like it's not hard to film like a scene where it's nighttime with Hawkeye and his family. Yeah, they, they, they could have done about it. that. Well, they could have Fuck. done it indoors, and it would yeah. have had the same effect where they, you know, disappear and everything. They could have been shooting uh, in the barn or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is a mistake. And that's, yeah, that's mostly just one Well, of have we considered the perspective of the movie, um, if the world is flat, would it still be <laughs> in Africa and in the U.S.? You know what? You fucking nailed it. I think this is going to be the movie to reinvigorate the Flat Earth Society. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of like the... They changed it up with this one. Like, I felt I thought that Ant-Man and the Wasp totally wasted the, um... The fading to dust, ash, whatever scene. It, it just shows it after he's in the thing. It's just like, oh, alright. But this one, I kind of like the whole... You know, he didn't see them when they did it sort of thing. And he's just on his own. I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel does save Iron Man. <laughs> I was like, no! But thank God she's barely in the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah yes, um, yes. Like, holy fuck. When she find, when she was like, you, it's going to be a while before you see me again, I was like, oh my God, thank you. I know. I, in the theater, I was like, yes! But, um, <laughs> yeah, for those, for those of you who don't know, first off, if you haven't seen it, why are you here? But, ER, um, but like, Nebula gets way more screen time than Captain Marvel. She's actually yes. a pretty solid character in this movie. I yes. don't care for her in Guardians, but I liked her a lot. Oh, here. dude, I cared about her in Guardians, especially after yeah, second Yeah, I cared one. about her, yeah. Well, um, more so in Guardians too. I barely even remember what she yeah, did yeah. in the first movie. Um, yeah. She's just introduced um, in the first. The second one, when her and Gamora hug at the end, I was like, oh, man. I honestly kind of felt like this was Nebula's movie in a way. In yeah, a way. Thank it, like maybe obviously it's more about Cap and Iron Man, but she is um, a big part of it. Though. I believe she had more she screen time than the outside of Iron Man, Thor, and Cap, and like one. I remember someone doing a breakdown of it. She's got like extremely high screen time compared to others, and I guess it makes sense because there's two of yeah, them. Yeah, I think well. it's like forty-eight minutes or something. Um, I don't remember the exact number, but I know what screenshot you're talking about. Then but they did use her to be like integral to the story the way that events pl play out she's very important to all that so yes it which... wasn't just like here she is you know there's a reason for all of it that they worked into the film but thank god very little captain marvel we'll still we'll still have to talk about the pasta she did it though yeah but, so what we i was just gonna say is so like for clarification i'm assuming captain marvel found iron man thanks to did the guys in the avengers compound tell him, who well, they you were? see, here's the thing, Mahler. Captain Marvel, as was established in the movie, <laughs> Captain Marvel, is the best at everything at all times that mm -hmm. ever was and ever will be, most likely. So the fact that she was able to find a derelict spaceship in the black void of space... Yeah, she could. What, what can't she do? Well, what can't she if you guys do? remember when they're scanning through all of the people who've died and they say like, "Yep, so Thanos was successful," he did blah blah blah. Um, 
is a great shot where you see Tom Holland's face and Iron Man puts his head down when he sees it. It's just like, oh, cool. But um, they also show Nick Fury, and then it, it shows her and she reacts to it, and I was like, wait, so is this the first time she's been back at the Avengers compound? Because she came in at the end of her movie, right? I, I was just, co continuity-wise, I was like, she's been here before, right? Yeah, she asks, where's Fury? Yeah, so I'm assuming that all runs. And then, so, and I, I was talking to Frank about this, like, so why... Did they send her to get Iron Man instead of just getting Thor to do it? Probably because they just wanted her out of the house. <laughs> I, just, I just, I don't, like, thematically, I was like, wouldn't it be way better for Thor to see, you know, a disheveled and dying Iron Man and being like, let's get, the, get you the fuck out of here. Did it have to be Marvel? Yeah, um, because I mean, they just, they just Pretty met sure her. he so can travel faster here. than her, too. No one can travel faster than Captain Marvel. She's faster, fastest, stronger, smarter, higher, faster, prettier. Further. She's not prettier higher, than Thor. Higher, faster, further. She's not even prettier than Fat Thor. <laughs> 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 um, oh, guys, did you love her fucking bringing in their ship by, like, carrying it with her arms or whatever? I was like, oh, what the fuck? I, I don't know how I expected Captain her to get Marvel. them back, but... She literally carried it from God knows how far away to Earth, really? Yeah, she's the... Look, Mahler. She's the best at everything <sighs> that ever was. Okay? She's the best. Mm -hmm. That ever was at everything. She's the strongest Avenger. But yeah, I, I got no way to complain about any of that. I just... Well, beyond, like... I wish something else had happened, but it all like makes enough sense. I don't even know what her powers really are. I said this before. I have no idea. C could someone tell me, like in simple vision, other than saying she's a god, what the fuck is? Uh, uh in simple terms, um, um, <laughs> as logically powerful as is possible. Logically, in yes. Air quotes. I mean, it's like, you know, not to be an asshole, but it's like, how do you even grab a spaceship and if she if she traveled at her retarded speed of light thing, can you just rip off a panel of the ship? <laughs> and she just no, flies with it. because she no, she didn't take off all at once. She started slow, oh, and then she worked her way up mm -hmm. to to mega light speed, as fast as the ship was able to go, which should still take her ages to get back, but. At this point, we're we're trying to we're trying to discuss the power level of Captain Marvel. <laughs> Good luck, future MCU. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> uh, yeah. So when when I am I guess there, I thought that stuff was really good. Like the the whole uh, I lost the kid to to Cap in uh, Pepper as well. I was like, ah, nailed it. Nailed all of it. Even though it's not really hard to do that. Oh, that's actually a thought. Robert Downey Jr.'s performance in this movie, is it not like 11 out of 10? I think it was stellar. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. He really well, owned I it, mean, this one. <laughs> well, I mean, he knew this would be like his last thing, man. I, he just, oof, he just went for it. It was all there. What do you think about his, like, of course he's like his fucking... Uh, uh, like calling out Cap in the in the bit after that. That oh, um, the scene when he gets back, yeah, and he's on the IV. Yeah, and he's like pissed. Oh, that that did a really good job, kind of establishing the mood of where the Avengers are at the moment, and how a lot of people are feeling. It just really set a good tone for yes. where people kind of were. Seeing him like uh, so thin and. Yeah, that was tired. Was just like Jesus Christ. Oh uh, yeah, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm guessing they did that just so that they would not have him go after Thanos. I guess because there's no, there's no need for Captain Marvel to have taken that long to find them. They could have just found them straight away. So I wonder what the intention was behind that, other than to I don't know, get him to get a bit of a bond with Nebula and to make him sort of near death. Um, as a writing perspective, I'm not even sure of what exactly they're going for. But then you know we. <laughs> The further we go on, the more you'll be asking that question. Uh, I quite liked that he said, you know, the line from Age, uh, Age of Ultron, where Cap says that uh, if we lose, we'll lose together, and then he says we, we didn't lose together, you weren't there. And he calls him a liar. I was like, oof. Mm. Though, 
this is so brought to my attention. I was like, fuck. Uh, back in Infinity War, the assumption was the Doctor Strange couldn't open portals to Earth from that far away from Earth or something. Like an arbitrary assumption. It's like, okay. We know that's not true now, at the end of this movie. So, why couldn't they have just opened a portal to Earth while on Titan? And been like, hey, can you guys send some backup ready for when Thanos gets here? They actually say on the way in Infinity War that we've got no backup. And I'm just like, it's not... Open a portal, I don't know. <laughs> um... Yeah, because in Doctor Strange, the portals, you know, the portals start happening. We're like, whoa, that's really powerful. But they don't really discuss any of the limitations of it. Yeah, that's aside from talking about like, how he could have chopped portals. Thanos' arm off with it, or fuck, just put it underneath Thanos and send him to the Himalayas the second that... Actually, no, or just put just him in space. chop his head off. What about putting him in space? Would that work? Would he die? Oh, what if he's like Captain Marvel? <laughs> One out of 14 million choices and apparently right. cutting his head off wouldn't as a wouldn't be a choice i guess um so yeah a lot of people really liked from what i could tell the whole killing thanos like in the first 15 minutes of the movie you guys find that shocking um shocking yes i wasn't a big fan of the decision surprised a little bit but i kind of feel like that's something they would do? It's clearly because they wanted to go a completely unexpected direction with the movie, right? They were like, you guys think that they'll get the gauntlet off him, or that they'll have to fight him to get it back, or that... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, um, Metal said the first time you see Thanos, he's floating in space, isn't he? He's in, like, he's on some kind of planet, but it yeah, looks like he's, he's floating in weird... space. I'm pretty sure he's in a sort of force, bleh, form of atmosphere. I'm sure he doesn't He's do well something. with space compared, unless he really is like Captain Marvel, which will just be sad. Then again, Thor uh, survives in space, so maybe Thanos can. I don't fucking know. Um, I guess because uh, the, the thing about killing him immediately, and he said he used the stones to destroy the stones. Was I the only person that kind of thought it was uncomfortable that the fact that the stones can even be destroyed when they're supposed to be like? Four elements yeah. of the universe, like they destroy it's... one in Infinity War, and I was always just like, "How oh, possible?" I, I'm cons I don't understand. How do you destroy the stones using the stones? Well, I guess the power, I because it's the power of the stones has been kind of ambiguous. Um, some of them more than others, but I'm down with the idea that the combination of all the stones together can be like maybe the only thing that can destroy themselves i'm fine I could, with that i suppose i could see that yeah I'm, I'm fine with that um because it does show like the only thing that can destroy them you, you can't really destroy them using conventional means it's like a special one-time sort of something that happens mm -hmm. i mean we don't see it either well, yeah, I'm assuming. But I'm, fucking... I'm down. I'm, I'm okay with the idea that you can use all of the stones together to destroy them, so they can't be used again. They didn't get to okay ask Thanos about why he wouldn't just give more resources to everybody. I was hoping they would throw that in yeah. there. <laughs> like, please do it. Uh, okay, so I was gonna say this brings us to the first. What the fuck? Um, the rat saves the universe. Yeah, boy. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, I'm. Is that part of the whole one out of a forty million thing? Which... Um. I. I guess when I was watching it, I didn't have a problem with it. I feel like maybe they could have done something better than just a random rat walks into it. I don't see why um, not have a guy who's like, yeah, are we going to sell this thing? It's like, what is it? And he just starts pressing buttons around. He's like, I have no fucking idea. And then he just goes, pff, 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 and he's like, whoa, what the hell? I think that would have been better. It would have been more, it would have had the option for them to just have a more real, realish scene in. Um, would have felt like it fleshed out the world a little bit better, because especially if it's just some random guy. And they could have been talking about, oh, how man, after everything vanished, things have been so weird. So there's all these cars left, and yeah, uh, yeah, they could have done that. It's like all the cars that you know no one claimed after being vanished. It's like, what do they do with them? Like they're everywhere. They have to get taken care of somehow. And this is one of those vehicles. 
And then there's, hey, this one's weird. It's got this weird console upon it. And like, was it a radio? And they start flicking with it and bloop. Um, I just, I just, like, the, the Alex, I was watching with it, the sit of the sack of the rat did it. He was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's awkward. Because the thing is, like, the whole one out of 14 million chances, because a lot of people have been saying that that rat is what that means, um, even if it is, like, how would Doctor Strange have any control over that? He can't know that that, he can't do anything that would make it so the rat does it that time, you know what I mean? So it's just, like, why do that? Why base the entire plot on a rat pressing a button? <laughs> it's, like, it's a weird thing, but, uh, fine, you know. Missed opportunity, I would say, to flesh out the world. Yeah, like, why not take Flesh it as a... a post-Infinity Gauntlet world, you know? Because like, it, it, it just seems natural to me that someone would find the, uh, as they did, they would find it and they'd just be like, what the fuck does this thing even do? Because it's like all, it may as well be alien technology. <sighs> yeah, there's this weird machine in the back. But yeah, uh, so, Scott, uh, seeing his daughter grown up, I don't know how many people, you guys probably don't really care about Ant-Man that much, but like, didn't she seem a little too old? I was like, if you add five years to the um, the daughter, yeah, and... she um, she's grown up well. She looked like she was like twenty, and I was like, oh, mm. wow, um, okay, but yeah, uh, I guess because that's gonna have to stay now. So I was like, oh, that sucks because I kind of liked the um, the actress, the little girl. From... I did too. I thought they uh, they you know had a good had a good thing going. Ant Man and the daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, what can you do, eh? Uh, but they actually, the ages might be accurate for all I know, and they one just looked old and one looked young for, for their actual ages, I don't even know. Yeah. Uh, so what does everyone think of the whole, the fact that they skipped five years? That's probably a pretty good question to have actually started on here. I like it. Uh, ER, oh, you Wolf, you're both ER? here. <laughs> eh, I have really no opinion on that. Well, because I, there's implications, right? Like, uh, I never would have gone with five years personally because it fucks everything up post Endgame. For um, first of all, let's talk about a fun one: age laws. <laughs> like all the people um, who come back are gonna be well, considered. Well, all you have to do is to find out age laws is um, if like if a baby gets vanished, when the baby comes back, what age is the baby? Because then you'll be able to tell. Oh, it's, it's five years from now. Oh yeah, it'll it could probably be solved eventually, but holy fuck, like uh It would definitely be very a very confusing thing, but I think that's just gonna be a, a nature of an event of this scale and magnitude. It's what it's it's just something that does have these weird impacts on humanity. I, I it's mean something that they're just gonna have to get used to. You could probably have, have like just live with. A several films could talk about all of the like social political implications of all of this, like having Half the universe booped out for five years, or let's just say half of Earth, uh, and then they all come back. Like, fucking hell, how, how fucked would everything be? And I imagine most MCU films are just going to try and skirt around it and be like, yeah, you know, it worked out. It just worked out. It was like fine. Like the light speed thing with TLJ, we're just never going to talk about that again. Like, can you imagine if any one government on Earth lost the majority of the people in it? Like, I mean, it would definitely be a it would be like this is a a world changing most this is the most important historical event in all of you know human civilization yeah like world building because one of the conclusions i came to this film was like the world of the mcu was already struggling but i think it's just destroyed now you can't really recover like it's if you do a time jump that huge you need to do a lot of world building and the movie didn't really do that yeah, I guess it depends how they uh, how they deal with it moving forward. Um, there's probably more to that. We'll maybe we we'll try and touch on it as we as we go along. But yeah, the the idea being that everyone had to deal with the with the loss. It wasn't undone. Which, by the way, I I like that as a benefit of the fact that they did all of the this the way they did it. Infinity War did happen, so Loki did die. Vision did die. Uh, Gamora's dead. Like everyone was calling that those would be undone. But they win. Good, right? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it, it's a shame, especially when you think about how much you kind of want to see. You know, you want to see Loki. You want to see you know these people, but you know. Um. Obviously, they're gonna do something with Loki and his weird fucking. I'm guessing he gets a TV show, and then there's a blank Gamora. So it's not entirely that they're all gone, but hey. 
the, the, yeah, I mean, the Gamora reset was... Um, yeah, Gamora's lost two almost. movies of development. That's going to be... Uh, I don't know how they're going to deal with that. Like, redo her and Star-Lord's relationships? Like, that'd be weird. I wonder if Guardians 3 is going to be set before Endgame or after it. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Um, oh, well, here's the thing. If they have another Guardians, we'll get more Thor. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I'm so and ready I, for I that. Kinda, I really want that so much. I really, really want to see that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, way to sort of jump to next. So they come up with a time travel idea. Fucking hell, yeah. So Tony figures okay, it like, out after, like, three tries or whatever. Like, really fucking quickly. And again, people have been talking about how, yeah, don't you get it? This is the one out of 14 million. And I'm just, you can't keep saying that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Do, do they establish it's his third attempt? Because I can't remember. I, I can't. I, I said that I uh, with the benefit of the doubt. Details. Because um, I know that I'm pretty sure he sets it up as, like, this is going to take a while. And then he goes, holy shit. Or something like that. Because it's like it works with the first few tries. What does, does he, what does he learn? from the conversation with Ant-Man and Black Widow and Captain America on the porch and everything. That allows him that to do that all that. <laughs> yeah, that, that he didn't know before. That it's possible, I guess? Which is lame, I, right? Because it's like, really? It, it, it is quick that he's like, oh, okay, it's possible. And uh, um, he, he just figures it out that quick. And the easy fix for this, in my opinion, would be to uh, not have killed Hank Pym and to have him and Tony work together as a sort of like a nice little character yeah, yeah, moment yeah. for them both, but also explain how two of the smartest guys on this planet could come up with it. it would be like, oh, okay, I can get that. Yeah, yeah. But Tony just sort of does it. It's like, oh, yeah, because right. Banner is working on his, his, you know, working on it elsewhere, and then Tony's working on it elsewhere. They're not together. They both kind of come to you know, some advancement in it sort of on their own. Mm -hmm. um, way too fast, as far as I'm concerned, but I get, I there's a couple of those things in this movie. Uh, <laughs> do I have to set this up? A Hulk dabbing? Hulk, Hulk dab. in general was... Right. What the fuck were they doing with Hulk in this movie? I feel like they kind of flubbed Hulk. Um, like, I'm, I'm okay with the concept of Hulk and Bruce Banner kind of becoming like one but you gotta show that happen because i don't know how he went from infinity war to whatever the fuck is going on in end game hulk was an odd one uh um, yeah i he definitely was he was like 90 percent banner right hulk. yeah like the only part of him that was hulk seemed to be the body yeah um there was never any moments of rage where he had to stop himself he's like oh he'll breathe in and out something that he does to control himself um but yeah he's like 90 percent bruce banner and i'm like well he looks green and he's big uh i feel i feel like it's almost as if this movie wasn't written by the people who made infinity war a little bit because you're like oh they're clearly setting up that um or uh, the hulk is going to have some kind of identity crisis and he needs to bring them together and if it resulted in professor hulk as, as it's known i think uh that'd be great but we didn't get even a scene of like normal banner and hulk having some kind of back and forth figuring out their pro i was like why that would be so easy I mean, if you just had be, that that would that would be like a scene you would have before the five-year cut yeah you know while everyone's getting over it you know banner loses it and then the hulk you know like, banners too banner could blame it. Hulk, hulk he could be like if if you'd worked with me if you'd worked with us we might have stopped thanos that sort of thing yeah and so hulk um, uh, and him could join finally um, and maybe it's, they it's did. It's a shame we didn't see it because it was cut. I mean, there was a there's that five year gap, which like it's not like it's impossible. We're not saying it couldn't happen. It's just man, it just sort of it's sort of there, and the movie says just sort of accept it. And I'm like, eh, it would have been really nice. I to found see. like honestly, I was I was found it jarring seeing it in the cinema. I was like, oh wow, okay, that's we're doing that. <laughs> that's just well, that's happening. At least at least he dabs. Uh, and yeah, they really dragged out the uh, take a photo with Ant Man joke for me. I was like, okay, yeah, it. that I went on. It. I get it. I yeah, get it. that was a bit much. Um, a lot of the comedy was a bit too much in this movie. Yeah, I'll try and remember them as we go. But like, there was a there was a couple jokes that weren't working for me. While comparatively, I thought Infinity War was one of the funniest 
of the MCU films while being I think so. one of the saddest sort of thing. Well, but yeah, it's... they juggle them really well in Infinity War. Yeah, and there's this, there's this thing about, you know, the MCU is terrible for ruining drama with comedy, and I don't think it applies to all of the MCU, but it certainly applies to a lot of them. Or at least specific jokes, it's, it's up and down sort of thing. Um, so yeah, Hulk happened, and then there's... Tony figures it out. Oh yeah, so the, uh, the reconciling Tony and Cap, I wasn't happy with it. Yeah, I didn't think you would be, given how much you love Civil War. They have the scenes themselves, but I feel like they kind of wasted it. So my take is, Tony says, and I'm paraphrasing, something along the lines of, like, uh, it's not, like, being hateful is bad, and I hate it. It's, like, kind of a funny line, like, to imply that he's he's tired of being mad at Cap. And then they sort of move on, and I was like, oh god, that's it? I was like, you need to fucking talk about Tony's dad. You need to talk about how Bucky, like, just one of you apologizes, or they both do, or they recognize what happened, and then they move on. That's how you, you do that. There you don't just go... There was no real reconciliation between the two for what happened. Yeah, and I was I was really guided about that, because, as you, yeah, I love Civil War. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. And then he's like, here's the shield, and he goes, I don't know if I should have it. And he's like, he made it for you. And I was like, did he? I thought he just made the shield. Because the shield was there in First Avenger, right? He picks it up. He's like, oh, I'll have this, I guess. And then House Stark is like, yeah. I don't know that he made it for him. And even then, I'm like, man, that's so thin. But the movie, like, it, uh, it's got its own stuff to do, I guess. So it's just like, ah. Kind of, kind of. And, and this is the thing. Like, it's not terrible. It's just, it could have been a lot uh, more. And I figured they'd want to, because I thought Civil War was like, you know, their baby, the Russos, like, because Winter Soldier is directly leading into that, and then Infinity War, blah, 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 but, uh... Mm -hmm. okay. I still think Civil War is the best. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, it's tough. I, ER, your favorite is Iron Man, right? Yes. And Wolf, Iron Man 1. What is yours? Um, probably Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. I, I find loads of people pick Winter Soldier. Uh... It's, a, it's really tough between Iron Man 1 and Winter Soldier, because they're both really good movies. Although I'd say objectively, Iron Man 1 has less issues. Then, it's just that yeah, act. I think uh, Iron Man 1's structure. The only problem I have with Iron Man 1 is Obadiah goes insane at the end. Yeah, the ending of Iron Man 1 kind of yeah. falls apart. I wish he had a reason. <laughs> so, and this easily brings us into uh, They Go Beat Thor. So, Thor is now fat, drinks beer, and plays Fortnite. Oh my god, the Fortnite shit. Um, so, f I just want to make it clear, like, as much as people like the memes, don't fucking, don't do, f don't date your movie so hard with Fortnite. Wow. Noob Master 69 called me a dick again. That, I mean, I mean, I cringed hearing that. Yeah, that shit's funny maybe, like, ten years ago? For me? Like, yeah, I'd have been um... like, huh, that's a new movie. Uh, as <laughs> and you know, I still don't understand how the rest of the Asgardians managed to get half a ship to Earth. Like it, it doesn't really address that. Captain Marvel pushed him. Yeah, is that actually? The... Yeah, that's what I was talking about <laughs> before. <laughs> I was complaining about. I, 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 th I thought you were talking about Iron Man and uh, Nebula. Oh wait, sorry. What are you talking about? Yeah, we were, how the we're, rest of the Asgard. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. We, as far as we know, that just happened. So, yeah, well, we know the fuck they, did they get half a shit in there. What we know that they put out distress signals, and the guardians found it. So it's possible that other I mean, ships Thor found could it. have collected them with his um, automatic teleporter. So, you know, he has the he has what's it called? Uh, why am I forgetting it? The thing that lets you travel instantly. The bridge. Rainbow Bridge thing in his weapon. I crossed? That's the one. I thought that would was, was only a, um, something what's his fuck could do with the sword thing. Him no, now? Thor does it with his hammer axe in Infinity War, didn't he? Oh yeah, that's true. So I assume he could go get him. Heimdall, um, that's who it was. Mm -hmm. Heimdall, yeah. Um, I I think there's enough set up with like the distress signal and the Guardians finding it. I can but, mostly believe it. It would have been nice to yeah, have I a line for it, it though. 
Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm. I don't know how how much uh people how well people are thinking about Thor exactly, but like the only part of that scene that I started connecting to is when Hulk said Thanos and all went quiet, and I was like, oh, yeah. this is still serious. I think because um I wasn't really comfortable with laughing at Thor because I really appreciated his uh his portion yeah, in Infinity War. Thor. Yeah, he's had a he's had a rough history. So like being like, I mean, oh, he's he a really fat loser. More of a redemption arc in this movie though, because just keeping him like some fat loser for the entire movie, I didn't like it. Yeah, and they keep making like fat jokes throughout the movie, and I was like, guys, okay, look, if you're gonna make him, I wouldn't make him fat. I would make him depressed. Sure, make him a, uh, give his beard like all disheveled, grow out the hair, be wearing clothes that are all like, you know. Uh, raggled and he, yeah, yeah, wrinkled and long, and just he just doesn't care. And he's he's sort of walking around. Mo his, his answers are all short, but they make like a million jokes out of him. And I was like, we're laughing at him, I guess. Which I and why could he use his lightning powers to change his beard style, but not cut the weight? I don't, <laughs> I, don't I don't know, dude. Like, it seems I, to be they're keeping. I couldn't stand Fat Thor. Every time I saw him on screen, I hated him. I guess they're keeping I him. Couldn't take him seriously. Like, for Guardians, I guess he's going to be Fat Thor in that, I don't know. Uh, well, I guess I can finally cosplay as Thor now. <laughs> um, E.R., what do you think of Thor? Ah, I did not like him. Did not like him. Did you, have you ever liked him, or...? Uh, in Thor 1, yeah, sure. Wow, really? His arc... Yeah, I mean... Too arrogant, humbled a bit, became king. But then... I don't know. He just feels like he's gone off the rails ever since, especially now. What do you think of um, him in Ragnarok? I haven't seen Ragnarok, so I had to play oh. a bit of inference. Have you seen the Dark movie. World? I have, but did, once, so I don't. Did you love it? Well. <laughs> I did not love it. Damn. Well, and that's the best MCU movie. Oh, easily. Uh, so. I just find that funny, right? Of all the places they could visit, they visit the Dark World's continuity. <laughs> it's like, wow. I guess they're like, they said, yeah, you know what? Fuck you. This movie is in the MCU. <laughs> okay, okay. They did visit Hulk, though. I think they still want to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll try and talk about more of it as we go through. Um, I liked the scene where Hawkeye is killing all the Asian men. I thought it was cool. It's purely I like that superficial. Hawkeye was actually a character for once. Yeah, I did like that. I did like Hawkeye, and I I feel like this is I feel like him going like vigilante Dark Knight hero is something that he would do. Yeah, man, he he made it very clear. He's like, you guys don't deserve to have survived. Wasn't a big fan of the Mohawk though. Um, I would have preferred <laughs> if they just kept it a little shorter, just, just, just lower. It a yeah, bit. it's a it's a bit it's it's up there. It's up it there. It is up there. Yeah. It's like his head has a fletching on it. <laughs> yeah, he said the line something like, uh, they got Thanos, you get me, or something like that. And I was like, ooh, cool. I like it. Make a movie for it. <laughs> Just go, go for oh, it. Yeah. Why not? Um, and yeah, the actor who's uh, fighting him, this is the guy from Last Samurai, isn't it? Who? Uh, oh, the one who doesn't like Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai at first. Oh. I don't remember his name. It's I don't remember his name as well. But um, yeah, the whole thing was like a one shot too, which was pretty cool. Uh, I, I I liked I liked all of it. Hawkeye is pretty awesome in this movie, as far as I'm concerned. But we we can talk more about that in a bit. Uh, what happens next? They're all collecting up, I think. Right? Oh yeah, we're about to actually get to the part where they explain fucking time travel. Because so what do you guys? It's so uh, uh, Rocket is um working on whatever. And Tony says, um, hey, Ratchet, and he goes, Rocket. Do you think that was a reference to Ratchet and Clank, or just coincidence? That's what I immediately thought, but I was like, oh, that's kind of strange. I don't think so. I don't think it was. I don't think I so think either. I think it was just a continuation of they call him other things. Yeah, I think that I think so, too. But um, I could see it. Like, if, if the director was like, yeah, it was, but it was a subtle reference, I'd be like... So subtle, I didn't even think about it myself. I was gonna say, if you wanted to make it more obvious, you'd probably have Tony say something like, "Hey, Ratchet with Clank," something like that. But that would be that would have been worse. Yeah, let's see, that kind of ruins the joke. Mm -hmm. Also, calling him Builder Bear. Yeah, I remember that. 
Um, Feels which I like though. Yeah. So, did you guys love that? Uh, every character in this movie basically shits on time travel movies as a whole. Yeah, um, find that fun. Real <laughs> loved it. Fan. Yeah, let's um, make fun of the time travel rules in other movies while make our rules no better, and in some cases, much worse. Um, because time travel is a weird one. Yes, <laughs> it's a it's a weird one. Um, I mean, it. I guess it makes sense in universe that they'd know about all this stuff and that they would base what they think time travel is off of this stuff. But um, they hold these movies in high regard. The characters hold the movies you know, in high regard. Yeah, no. Uh, it just the awkward inference you can make is like, oh, so you guys think you're better than those films? You guys think you make more sense I, than those films? I don't. I don't know. I don't think that's what the film's trying to say. I think the film wants us to throw them out. Don't think about them. They're not what we're doing. That sort of thing. But it does come across that way to a couple people, I think. Because it was like, fuck you. Because he says Back to the Future is a bunch of bullshit. It's like, hey. Um, what do you... Uh, is there any movie you guys think functions really well with time travel overall? Because the, the one I usually suggest is Primer. I haven't seen Primer. It's a we'll we'll check that out. It's I think it's an indie movie, but it's a really um the whole film is trying to explore competent, well written time travel, so it's complicated, but you know. Um I mean generally a lot of people say that Back to the Future is a really good one. I think I need to watch it again. I've never really given it a huge amount of thought as to whether or not Back to the Future makes complete sense because I always understood it pretty simply, right? Like it ripples they, through they time. Say, yeah, they say like it, there's branches in time. Like when changes happen, it creates a new timeline. Wait, you're talking about Avengers now, right? Uh, Back to the Future. Did they do that in Back to the Future? I thought it was just one timeline. Yeah, with, and... with, with uh, Buff, Biff. When he gets older, like that's its own timeline and they can go back before that and head it off. Or Yeah, so but that... that is, from what I understand, it is one timeline. They go back, change something, and it changes the future forever. So they need to go back again and change that past back to make it so that their future comes true. Time travel. This is the thing. You start to be like, ugh, my brain. And I know that there's going to be a lot of people in chat who are going to be able to better look at it, better explain it, whatever. But um, we'll try our best to go through. I liked it when Don Cheadle talked about strangling a baby. Someone said predestination? Yeah, that's... I haven't seen that. That's a freaky one. What's the best time travel movie, EO? Best time travel movie? I don't... Or a well, story in general, if you can think of anything. Well, Steins Gate, of course, but... Fucking anime. Uh, I mean, well, it's just it's the <laughs> best. That's the truth of it. Uh, best movie, though. Does... I know this. this might sound really weird, but I think... Titanfall 2 did a good job with it. I haven't played that. Hmm. Whereas, well, in that, there's a sequence where you essentially can hop between, it's almost like changing the level. So instead of you, it's almost like you're a stranger popping in and out of different two different timelines and only the stuff that you interact with changes, uh, hmm. at least from your own perspective. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know. It's time travel. I, weird. Yeah, I enjoyed that level, but I don't really understand how the time travel in Titanfall Two worked necessarily. As to <laughs> Back to well, the Future, I, I'm with Mahler. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I don't remember if it works as well as I think it does or not. I think one of the reasons is because Titanfall. I don't think they really explore potential timeline changes they just stay with the one that they're on so that makes it seem really simple but it yeah could but then have... your characters kind of replaced the guy whose memories you're going through like he finds that dude stuck in the ceiling and then he kind of takes over doing the same shit he did back in the past it's kind of weird it was a fun level mm -hmm. but i but i genuinely I'd probably have to play the campaign again. It's been like the, a year or so. But it's been a while for me, yeah. The rule of thumb is like, don't write time travel unless 
you're like folk that's your focal point you're like i want to write about time travel it's like oh that yeah, makes sense don't then. write off time travel it's a big deal because really i mean that's like the biggest you can get yeah because you can't you can't really one up time travel it's like the big that's, that was one of the reasons i hated that fucking harry potter book so much <laughs> because jk is just so flippant about time travel like no this is the ultimate weapon and there is nothing greater yeah there is nothing. And she's better. like, oh yeah, Hermione uses it to get to different classes. Like, this is fucking time travel. This is insane. Like, no, this is girl uses it to get to classes. <laughs> um, well, there's people, I believe we read a comment on one of the other EFAPs that apparently that's very defensible. I, I, I wouldn't know because I haven't explored it, but uh, yeah, just avoid bringing it in because, you know, even if your time travel makes complete sense, let's just say it does, um, a majority of your audience is going to be like, that didn't make sense. Because it's so hard to follow sometimes when you have like a really complicated time travel system. Like, Primer as a film is practically an invitation to those who want to explore how time travel can be logically consistently written, I, I think. So, well, um, the issue is that when it comes to time travel, we don't like actually have time travel in this sense in our world, so we don't really have like set rules for it that we can compare to reality mm -hmm. so it's almost like a bunch of hypotheticals and theoreticals that different people have you know based on different interpretations of what it might be and those all clash which is why setting up the rules for your time travel is so important because like the way so the the standard paradox for the standard time travel model is the grandfather one right like the idea that you have a goal you complete it, therefore that goal never needed to be complete, therefore you don't go, but then therefore the goal happens, blah 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 blah. Uh, the way Back to the Future gets around it is to say that um, changes in the past don't catch up with the future straight away. So you have your the time to be able to... Uh, like, that... Th th again, I need to watch it again before I can well, say yeah, I mean, if you have... Well, yeah, if you have the, the Tesseract in a box or whatever, or whatever, and it's just sitting there and nobody interacts with it, it doesn't make any difference if it's it disappears from the box like Schrodinger's Tesseract, and then it's back in the box before somebody else interacts with it in any way. Also, some people in chat are suggesting time travel is potentially possible already, de depending on perspective. Like, I believe part of traveling well, yeah, we, at light speed slows down either the viewer or the subject or the yeah, object. Yeah, but right? we mean in the terms of movies, like going back and interacting yeah, with previous events. The interesting stuff. thing is that they're not just traveling by time in the movie, they're traveling by space as well. They're teleporting, arguably. Arguably. <laughs> um, arguably. Uh, and this is the thing, it starts to get like, ooh, careful, because now we need to like figure out exactly what the fuck they even say. For instance, Hulk says that that's, that model of time travel is bullshit, <clears throat> and he says it's because if you travel uh, to the past... That past becomes your future, and your former present becomes the past, which can't now be changed by your new future. Does that make sense? Fringy no. Had, Fringy had so many problems with this. <laughs> um, I was already lost. I was like, wait, wait, say that again? <laughs> that doesn't... I'm... I'm curious, because I'm not familiar with Steins Gate. What are the general rules of the time travel in there, ER? The general okay, well, there are parallel world lines or timelines, but they call them world lines. And if you change one world line, you're you're not you're basically not changing that world line. You're skipping over to another one where that change happened. So you can't have any paradoxes that way. Cool. Um the one like restraining factor is that there's this thing called attractor fields where world lines are uh, like separated into bunches that all have a certain convergence point that cannot be changed. It's, it's complicated. You'd have to watch it. I mean, it's hard to, I yeah. think, I think that's Just, what we learned easily from this is like, if ever you had a model that does function for time travel, it's hard to break down and understand perfectly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say it again, because there's a lot of people in chat who said, what the fuck? So, he says, if you travel to the past, let's just, let's just try and go through it. If you travel to the past, meaning they go to 2012, for example, he says, that past becomes your future. I assume he's saying that if you were to stay there, 
that would now be your timeline. I don't really know because I don't know what he's referencing as the past and the future in this complicated sentence. I wonder if he would replace, like you would replace your old version from that past, or if there would just be two. Because if you travel to the past, that past becomes your future, and your former present becomes the past, which can't now be changed by your new future. I assume well, we know from the movie you don't replace your old self. No, no. But um, I didn't know if it was like a Back to the Future kind of thing where you steadily like fade away, depending on what you do. Well, uh, so going from what he says, right, so if you've got my stream up, I'm going to show you my amazing picture so we can try and discuss this, and I will try and look at chat as best I can to, to catch anybody who's making explanations yeah, I'm, that... I'm monitoring it, so... ...make we'll, it make sense. We'll so, as you can see from my incredible drawing, timeline one, and, and don't worry, we'll try and pick this apart, timeline one is, is the movie. Now, just before the end of timeline one, there's three... <laughs> travels to different I assume judging from Oracle Lady, Ancient One, whatever you go to the past and you do a thing that never happened in that past, you have thus created, you've just split off a new reality, a new timeline I don't, she, he says to her that we can fix your reality that's what he says to her in the film and I was like your reality as in two separate realities, as in are we talking parallel universes here? Like it would create a new Basically, universe. timeline for all the things that they interacted with, but they would go back to their own. You're right. So, so according to the movie, uh, we have three teams. They go to two, three, and four. Cap, uh, no, Iron Man and Ant Man fuck up to the point where Cap and Ant Man, uh, Cap and Iron Man, have to go to Universe Five, and then they collect all the stones and bring them back to Universe One. There's other things to talk about. We're just going to run with this for a second. And then the film ends with Cap going to replace all of them, and he ends up on a bench as an old man. Now, a lot of people are up simultaneously upset and happy with it because we're not sure if it makes any sense. Now, the, the explanation I've heard is that it turns out we were watching Universe 1 when there is in fact a Universe 0, which was the actual original MCU timeline where Cap did all of this and then traveled to Universe 1 and sat on the bench because that was, and he was secretly married to Peggy Carter and he did all of his stuff, and he just probably changed his name and stayed under the radar while yeah, our Cap was doing I anything. Yeah, that's what I imagine he would have to do, because he he would know that he's out there frozen, and they'll find him. Um, so he can't disrupt that. So, before we can start picking everything apart, because that's totally possible, any thoughts, just off the top of your head, from looking at this model? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Weird line from Ancient One. She says something along the lines of like, "When you knock out a stone, she's she she puts out the time stone specifically, but she says a stone, then you create a darker timeline, as if to imply you don't get a new timeline unless you do something with stones specifically." Um, and a lot of people have taken that as word of God sort of thing to do with the script. I don't think you could say that's true, because what if I went back and killed Tony Stark? I didn't touch any stones. I just killed Tony Stark. Wouldn't that have to change the timeline and thus create a new timeline? Like, or would it erase timeline one because he's no longer alive to be in the end of timeline one so that none of that can even happen anymore? Why do they even need all of the infinity stones when they can just, once they get the time stone, like what are the time stones powers exactly? Uh, That's one of the issues I have is they never actually use any of the powers of any individual stone in the movie. Yeah, like, you have the time stone that controls time. Oh, do you You're mean, like, the, now. they should just fly out to outside of Earth with the time stone and then just rewind the thing by five years? Well, what's the, what's the freaking rules of the time stone? No idea. It's part because of what broke Doctor get, Strange. Not, because to me, I'd be like, we have to do time travel. It's like, all right, well, let's go get the time stone. That's the one that matters. And the rest, well, we, can we have the time stone. So we have like an infinite, just like in Doctor Strange, we have an infinite amount of attempts to get them. Which means if it's possible that we get, if it's even possible that we can get them, then it's inevitable that we'll get them. Um, Time not, stone. Not just that, but I don't know about you guys, but if you were with the Avengers and you're like, all right, we need all six stones. Where were they at what times? What are the easiest ways to sort of grab them? 
I would have been like, ooh, I know one, if I was Iron Man. I'd be like, um, there was this purple dude who had, like, this gauntlet with most yeah. of them in it already. If we, if we go back to when you guys subdued him and literally just fucking knock out Peter Quill, we can get the gauntlet off him and tell the Avengers, well, we could just kill him there and then because he was knocked out by Thingy, so we can literally chop off his head with Thor because we know that's possible. Done and done. That universe doesn't even have a Thanos now. And then we'd be like, hey, universe, uh, we just saved your ass hardcore. Do you mind if we take the other stones um, and we'll come right back, but we need to save our universe yeah, too? We need to save him. Yeah, that would have been that may time then... travel. <laughs> that would have ruined the films. We can't do that. Also, oh, damn, we can't do much time traveling. We're restricted because we have such limited pin particles. It's like, oh. Well, I guess they can't get any more. Oh no, they can, they just need to travel back in time. It's like, why didn't you do that first? Also, how come he only grabbed, like, four of them instead of all of them? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 all of them. They're all extremely valuable, get all of Fucking them. Fucking Hagpib can make more, just take them all. Yes, it's like, we need these. Well, he could literally put them in his thing and go back just before Cap entered that room. And then they'll all be there again, and grab them all, and see that other cap and be like, fuck you. <laughs> Just leave again. I, well, that's the thing. It's, it's the whole, well, you we get can infinite have anything pin particles. Yeah. yeah, you just keep going back five minutes before you grabbed them the first time. And, and that the makes thing it is, so now the... you're making Now you're making things really awkward for a bunch of other timelines in which you did this, but... Yeah, which is another I mean, uh, issue, is do they care about the repercussions in the other timelines? Did How did Cap fix what they did with Loki? I'm assuming he didn't. How did Cap... You know what? They took the spear, the, um, the staff, the whatever it is, the Loki spear. They took yeah. the stone out of that. Did they put it back in before they replaced it? Because Age of Ultron is a very different movie if you don't even have that scepter as it is. Mm-hmm. Um... No mind controlling as well for Age of Ultron, which happens to a, the girl, uh, the Doctor girl. She allows a Ultron to do everything she needs him to, her to do. So like, yeah, again, like this is like, mm, uh oh, time uh, travel is really weird. Uh, and it's, yeah, this is why it's really it's messy. There's there's no, yeah, it's the it's the big thing. It's the it should not be treated lightly. And the other, uh, there's a few more. So, like, uh, why did they choose? Do you guys remember Guardians of the Galaxy? So Quill gets the um, Power Stone, and he's like immediately mm -hmm. ambushed by Ronan's men. Where were yep. they in this movie? They don't turn up. They don't. <laughs> Maybe. I was like, hmm. Well, I guess compared to when they punch him. Well, if you remember, uh, what's her name? Gamora, uh, Nebula got knocked out. She was on the floor for a while. There's no way they wouldn't have turned up. Well, um... Speaking of Nebula, how is it that she can be connected to the other Nebula from the other timeline? Oh, it's, 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 with... it's explained in Guardians. It's called convenience. Ah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm okay with that part. I'm not. Um, um, I would have been, I mean, if not for the fact that she should be fully aware of that and she jeopardizes the whole mission by going, just let War Machine go without you. I mean, I could um, understand, like, her not foreseeing that, um, but wouldn't she start having the same, because the, the other, the past Nebula started having some fuckery going on in her head, but present oh, yeah. Nebula didn't. Well, present Nebula, that's, so you're nearly there. She does eventually. My problem is, why doesn't it happen at the same time? Well, isn't it because don't they have um, the Thanos' machine that reads the memories? No, no, it first happens to her when she's just talking to Thanos, remember? And Thanos is like, what the fuck is this? And she, she displays <sighs> all that stuff, and it's like, uh, shouldn't yeah, our, pre know. our one be like... Blah, blah, blah. Also, she has that issue the second after War Machine leaves. Very, very, very convenient timing. And Not even really the second after, it's like the second that they're both pressing the button, or and it, about to press the button. And you might be like, uh, well yeah, you know, she's just unlucky, and it's like, um, why doesn't she just, she's like, oh no, Thanos knows, and it's like, okay, so what's the problem? And you'd be like, oh, it's gonna change how Thanos behaves in this universe, I guess. It's like, okay, that's, yeah, that, that's it, tough shit, 
You're gonna have to move on because you need to go back now. Just just activate a little thing and go back. Instead, she decides to get herself captured and provide them with a pim particle. Like, um, okay. That's interesting. Like, why didn't... You know when she's getting sucked up into the ship? I was like, use your thing. You Use the thing. Go back. Use the thing. What are you doing? And she just lets herself get captured. I don't mm. know why. Um, yeah, that know, was dumb. The Thor's Thor's timeline where he just goes and gets the uh the juice that worked out just fine mostly because the the logic of the film I'm assuming I could be getting this wrong is that if you return the stone the timeline goes back to normal as it was always supposed to. Hmm? Yeah, I, <laughs> I I I'm okay with that given a certain amount of margin of error, like you know the tesseract in and out of the box if no one's there to interact with it or if nobody's actions are influenced by it then i'm i could see how the timeline would quote unquote mend itself mm -hmm. um but that's one of those every situation is kind of its own kind of its own deal it's very contextual whether it would or not i mean it, it depends on how big the change is and yeah like if there's something we're missing by the way time travel wise it could very well be the case like are you guys all three of you are you are you following along or is there anything that we you think we've missed here I thought this is pretty much how they do it in the film. Yeah, I'm a little confused. So what exactly leads you to believe that there are actually multiple timelines? Uh, ancient oh. One saying that when you take a stone out, it makes a new timeline, and then they have to go back to that specific timeline and repair it, quote-unquote. Right, but before, you're also kind of assuming there's multiple timelines before they removed the stones. Oh, uh, it's as a result of moving the stones that the timelines are made, I'm assuming. So I just but put them the there ahead of time. the whole deal is that they put them back so that there aren't multiple timelines. Yes. So technically, as far as I'm aware... Well, so this is the other problem. If we go by Ancient One's logic, then you only get a new timeline when you take a stone out. But my question right. is, what is happening then if I... Thanos is dead in timeline four. Right. So doesn't that change everything? The timeline four to the point where it can't be timeline one? Yeah, it would. It has to be a new because one, right? One of the, because like the first thing that somebody mentions is um let's go back in time and kill baby Thanos. Right. And then Banner says that. That wouldn't change work. anything for us. It would for their timeline though, right? Yeah. Hmm. I mean be like, That's... That sounds logical, but I don't think the movie ever really puts that forward. Well, they, I think they don't. Sense. I think they don't do it because Banner says that it wouldn't change it for us. Um, and depending on how many timelines there were, I mean, there's potentially. I guess by the rule, the Avengers rules, there's only a timeline for how many stones there could be. Is that what the ancient one is kind of leading at here? Also, the reason or is I've... it just the time stone because she picks that one out specifically? To clarify for chat, the reason I've drawn it this way is because it's much easier to understand than if I drew a, a line and then lines going back to them and then splitting off depending on the events that happen. But yeah, these timelines only exist when they fucked them up. They, as far as I can tell from the movie, they slot back in with timeline one if everything goes to plan. But then you have the problem of, well, hey, so moving a stone makes a new timeline. Okay. Killing Tony Stark or Thanos or someone like that, surely that makes two timelines go, mm, okay. What about giving Tony Stark cardiac arrest? That would probably change at least a few things, right? And then you get to the point of, what about opening a door on some street where it wasn't before? You know, the whole butterfly effect idea? Um, well, yeah, and that's what it was, are, there, are there an infinite amount of timelines for every potential change that could ever possibly happen? Yeah. So yeah, I have to assume so. <laughs> I, yeah, like the like the infinite timeline thing is one of the, it's it's why Bioshock Infinite doesn't make sense. Oh fuck that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I um I don't get it. Uh, is the short vision of this, and from what I can tell, if I was to be getting it, is that it doesn't really make sense. Is everybody on that page? I'm fine yeah. with, yeah, I, at right. this They're point with me in time travel, it's almost like, uh, give me a few rules to work by that are big ones, and then 
it, we're, it's, it's, it might be the best you could do. Um, because there's always going to be an element of we couldn't possibly know or what really happens in some scenario. Again, so to clarify, so uh, Super APM said that's not what she suggested. Obviously, changing anything, regardless of the stones, will split the time stream. It's just that if they took the stones, then her uh, timeline would be left defenseless. Yeah, the, uh, check online. Loads of people interpret it as there's only a new timeline if you knock out a stone, which I think makes no sense. Uh, so if we treat it as there's always a new timeline, even if you change relatively small things, uh, the film doesn't work either way. Kind of the point. But I agree that you can't take the time stone away from Sorcerer Supreme before they fight Dormammu. That's not going to fucking work, is it? Yeah, but I think that um, I think it's I I do think from what someone in chat said, it's fair to say that they did create a lot of new timelines in this movie. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, which is almost like it makes you think: Are they going to use one of those potential timelines to be the timeline that the MCU carries on in? Mm -hmm. you don't know that's the thing i mean it, it it's always like their back door is there one of those timelines is the one that because it's those characters doing those things and a lot of this stuff happens it's a way for them to legitimately by their own rules at least or what they present as their own rules offer a potential continuity that doesn't get mixed up too much in the events of infinity war and endgame you got but the line you don't understand from the movie probably means you can't travel to your own past only to a parallel timeline. Again, I maybe. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. I think there's a, a lot of people trying to figure out exactly what happens in the film based on what people say and what we see. Um, and this encompasses what you would call the second act, by the way, and a lot of people are very uh, split on whether or not the second act was any good. Um, what, do, what, do you, what do you guys take on it as a whole? Basically all the time traveling. Uh, it really fucked up the movie for me. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm. It didn't fuck up the movie for me, but I I don't know. I mean, I'm 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 in the middle on it. Uh, it's it's. T I mean, time travel is just. It's weird. It's a weird one. I like you really have to plan that out well beforehand. Yeah. You can't just introduce it at the fucking very end of the series. And then there's, I don't think anyone can deny, so the, there's going to be discussions and arguments about whether or not the time travel makes sense, but I don't think anyone's denying the um, their choices, where they go back in time, is stupid compared to what they could have done. Someone in chat is saying, am I missing something? What about Loki's scepter not working in the Avengers on Tony Stark and Loki being surprised by it? What do you mean? That's, I'm just reading the comment. Plus, yeah, because Tony's like got a metal thing on it that's not connected to his skin, I guess. That's that's Avengers. That's not even this movie. Um. But I, <laughs> I think that's enough. I think that's enough time travel talk. Yeah, I sure. I so much resolution. To I liked uh, seeing all the the things in a very superficial way, but uh, I knew watching it, I was like, oh man, this is going to be talked about for so long for how, like, this is fucked up, or this is complete uh, sensical writing. I've already seen passionate takes on both every side of the argument. There's people out there who are like, this is the best time travel movie that exists, and then there's people who are like, this has ruined the MCU. So, if ever I was to make a video about that specifically, I'd have to fucking look into this for ages, because it's like, so many factors and assumptions you have to make. Um, uh, I like that they showed the Ancient One actually attacking shit, during the 2012, because I was actually wondering where the fuck they were during that. Um, so that was neat. Oh, that's something. So why didn't the Ancient One know that Hulk was going to walk up to her if she's looked into the future a billion times in her reality, if you know what I mean? That I was... didn't even think about it. <laughs> and uh, Some people have said, like, well, because that wasn't going to happen until he chose to do it. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like this is a problem with time travel. It's like, um... well, I guess with when it comes to maybe it's because um, she could only see so far, and Hulk exit the 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 point where Hulk comes back. That decision was made in a point that she couldn't see past. Because like we all agree, right? She's surprised to see him or surprised to deal with him. 
like it's not like it, surprised that... to learn about uh Doctor Strange. Well, it's yeah. No, she knew about Doctor Strange. No, yeah. She just well, was surprised to find it. yeah, that was it. He has to argue why she has to give him the stone. So she clearly didn't know this was going to happen. Cuz she wouldn't have done that. She'd have been like, "Here's the That would actually have been pretty cool if he turned up and she said, "Here's the stone." And he's like, "That easy, huh?" And she goes, "Just take it." It'd have been like, "Oh, she's aware of what's going to happen, I guess." But um Someone said she couldn't see past her death. This is five years before she died. <laughs> like, well, I'm saying that the point where Hulk decides to use time travel to come back was a decision that was made after the point where she could see, so she wouldn't see the repercussion of that decision being made? He, which makes sense why she wouldn't know that Doctor Strange would give the stone to Thanos, because that's after she that's dies. That's fine with me, because that happens in a different reality. From what I understand. Time travel! But why can't she see in her own reality that the Hulk came in? Because I don't think that was a, even a potential reality until Hulk makes that decision. And the setup for the, like, basically the prerequisite for that reality didn't happen until a point after she could see. So all of the potential realities that existed yet, because not everything's possible, Right, so he, like, like the time stone is unaware of this even being a thing, in a way, like. Um, maybe, maybe the time stone only, and we're getting a little bit hypothetical here because the extent of the time stone's capabilities aren't exactly hmm. known in full. But then, what about it's possible? Uh, what about the idea that she could then, as he tells her all this, she could be like, "Oh, give me a sec," and she looks into the future again just to see how everything turns out, or would that still not make sense? I guess. I guess if uh, the Hulk, the Hulk is the basically the prerequisite requirement that allows for the current reality to even become possible at all. Mm -hmm. So that means that when the Hulk does come back, this new sim uh, simply si that basically branches the timeline off where she is, and that makes her that makes the Time Stone at least aware that there's a new reality now or a new timeline. That it can, um, that it can see because of it. Maybe I don't know. It's, I'm getting <laughs> hypothetical. I'm getting hypothetical, but yeah, yeah. No, I think I think to. we'll only be hypothetical. For, like the things we say in this stream are probably going to be outdated even by tomorrow. Like who knows? Because this is a really complicated discussion. Um, I just saw someone yeah, in chat say that, that uh, doesn't see different branches. Someone in the chat said that Infinity War and Endgame take place after Doctor Strange, which is after her death, and she can't see past her death. It's like, but I'm talking about from her perspective in her reality. Um, and yeah, I guess that's, that's why I'm thinking the yeah. time stone only allows her to see the branches that exist that or that have the potential to exist because before during her lifetime, the 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 potential branch where the Hulk comes back it, it doesn't exist yet. It's not even possible yet. It will only become possible after the Hulk you know, initiates that event. Also, for clarification for people who are saying she didn't say that only a stone would do it, I'm pretty sure she, like, word for word says, if you take a stone, it'll create a branch that uh, may benefit your reality, like, you, your reality will be benefited, but ours will not, or something like that. Like, um, yeah. she does make it sound oh. like what I was saying, but again, I don't know someone, for sure. Please. Someone pointed yeah. out Doctor Strange does see past his death. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. that is an issue. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even uh, sure. Time travel. I don't even really understand. You know him looking into the future, like, what if he sees the 14 million potentials, he sees the one that works, how can he do anything to make that reality work outside of signaling to Tony Stark that he needs to kill himself? Do you know what I mean? Like, what else could Doctor Strange even affect um, that he wasn't going to pretty much do anyway, like bringing people into the fight, you know? Like, it wasn't well, like a... maybe that one... Well, of all the realities that didn't work, of all the potentials that didn't work... We saw the one who that knows did. How far, well, who, who knows how far along those potentials got before they failed? Like, how, how many of those potentials involved the events of Endgame playing out as they did um, until something didn't happen? Is that the point, that we just... All that happened was we saw the one that won, but there was shit tons that didn't. I assume so. Yeah, I, I, yeah, okay. I thought that's what to, I thought that's what we're supposed to be gleaned by. I'll I'll sell for that for now because I mean fucking hell, this is uh, 
<laughs> it'll just go on forever, probably. Uh, I liked the scene with Thor and his mum. I really like that scene. I like the message of it, and it makes me think about Thor as a whole, being that, um... The problem is Ragnarok essentially says Thor has finally become the leader, the king, the man he was supposed to be. And this film says he was never really that. That may have been who he's supposed to be, but that's never who he wanted to be, or who he is. So, thoughts? <laughs> um... Well, I wasn't I, a fan of that. I don't know. Thor has always... The... I don't have, like, an issue. I don't think it undermines Thor by not being king. Um, instead, he, he's much more of the, the free-spirited, adventurous type. But he doesn't you know, abandon things in, in an irresponsible way. Um, I guess it's Thor's, that's like the way of having Thor like break with what his destiny was supposed to be that he didn't want. And it, it implies, you know, a level of control that we have over our futures. Uh, um, what do you but think? I'm, he, uh... Yeah, I was just going to say, because you sound, you sound probably most against it. I just don't understand the point of it. I don't know what they were trying to go for. Um, it seems to be that they're saying that Thor is actually just a fun-loving dude. Rather than an important... Okay, I mean, uh, it does seem to undermine the at least the first movie for me. I mean, because that's kind of what he was and that's what he needed to kind of change to grow from that but now he can just you know toss it aside let this lady who i didn't even know because i didn't watch ragnarok be king yeah i just didn't really match up for me yeah and ragnarok was kind of a retcon of his character that's everything before that True, but not Seems in the like in the arc of becoming king sort of thing. I feel like Ragnarok was well, yeah, right yeah, in. yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, this is the thing. I, I I've even said to Fringy before. Like, I'm undecided on Thor. I really like Thor. Um, but I'm not sure what I think about them doing this to him. Uh, yeah, I'm a little like I don't have like a huge problem with it, but I I did expect for him to. Like, sort of, like, lead, you know, like, be basically, like, the mayor of Asgard or whatever it is. That's kind of what I expected. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't know what we got isn't... I don't think it's bad. Do you think that this happened because they wanted to make him um, jump into the Guardians franchise? And he can't do that if he's king of Asgard? I think so. I think that's a part of it. Yeah, seemed like that way. Because I think that would explain it, right? Because this is the thing I... um. I think everyone would agree. There's so many like video essays out there that talk about how his arc is, you know, becoming the man he was always meant to be. And then this movie kind of just <laughs> says, nah. <laughs> You're like, oh. I, I heard from a lot of people saying that they made him fat and kind of worthless to nerf him against Thanos. Mm -hmm. I don't know how accurate that is if you were to ask the same question to the Russos, but. I, I really didn't like what they did with him in this movie. And we'll get to that, because I actually feel like he was really fucking nerfed. Well, uh... But yeah, uh, I'd probably say I'm, I'm inching towards not happy versus happy, and it's I think it's mainly because of how I really got a sense of Thor being invested very much so in his people and leading them. Yeah, especially by the yeah. end of uh, Ragnarok. And this movie's kind of like, nah, you leave it to the girl. Like, oh wow, he's just, oh... Okay. That one, that thing, I didn't really. I wasn't really like I liked Valkyrie, but I'm like, oh, just like that, huh? And I feel like you just need loads of tweaks if you really want to run with that. Like you, you need that scene where she goes, you know, Thor, uh, a fight, another fight broke out in in the whatever council meetings for the whole society that's going on there, and he's just like doesn't care, and then she's like, and uh, 
I'll our supplies i'll take yeah care of it. our supplies are running low people are losing faith and he's just like can't you take care of it and then just leaves or something because he's depressed and then she does and you'd be like oh okay at least she's... but the film's yeah, just like she's better. a great leader you're like oh is she, like, is she? <laughs> like okay i i don't recall seeing this but yeah that was uh what i would call rushed i assume you guys would agree it's just also like, where did oof. she get the pegasus from pegasus land <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true i don't remember her having that and or she, she did have it in that flashback in Ragnarok. yeah yeah she but she don't, she don't have it no more mm. is there like a is there do they does new asgard farm pegasus pegasi, <laughs> pegasi. like wakanda farms rhinos yeah I, possibly it, 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 or it, like it. how thanos farms weird purple grape things <laughs> <laughs> the first time weird grape would be valid uh, <laughs> the I thought it was weird that when they port the Black Panther people in, there's like a huge army, and I was like, weren't all of them killed in the fight? Not the dust? And even if there was bringing back the dusted people, in Infinity War, they're like, oh, we don't have that many people because the Border Tribe didn't join us because of the events of Black Panther. So I was like, where'd you get all these people from? And, and how why is Shuri on the front lines? Yeah, we're gonna get to mm. that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the stupid Nebula thing allows Thanos old Thanos to come into the picture. Um, I don't know. Like, so, Rags, you didn't seem to have much of a problem with it. I consider it super contrived. Um, I, I'll say it's extremely... I mean, I, I can definitely see that there's a problem with it. And you might be like, well, what else would they do? And I'd be like, I don't think we should judge it by well, what else they can do. <laughs> I don't know. They're, I'm sure they could come up with something. Hmm. That's the thing. Like, surely they could have come up with something. Um, maybe if Nebula's... Maybe a lot of it is based off of how Nebula, the current Nebula, kind of, like, treats it and acts about it. You know, like, why didn't she, you know, war back in time during the... You know, while she's getting pulled into the spaceship and stuff like that. You get, like... So, if you were here, the... And you realize, oh, no, Thanos knows all the plan. My first concern is, damn, this universe is going to get Thanos earlier than normal. But I gotta go. Because, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to replace all the stones, he's going to try and collect them, endgame is going to happen for this universe much faster than it did for ours. I guess. Question mark is, again, I don't even fucking clearly understand exactly what is going on with the universes uh, being split exactly, but... You know well, what I, mean? I guess like, Thanos, when, when Thanos uses the Pym particle that he gets, he leaves his own timeline. It... So, does that timeline even get thanos at all well because he, that's, because he uh, goes that's after though timeline. that's after i'm just talking about in that moment uh why that's she okay. i don't know why she made her decisions like that she actually calls hawkeye i think she says like clint thanos knows and i'm just like what do you expect him to do exactly if the call went through if he picked it up he's like okay we're gonna get the stone and leave still do you know what I mean? I don't really understand what mm -hmm. what the decisions are. I'm just like, okay, that's happening now. And like I said, she could have teleported at any moment from the point of finding that out to the point of getting captured, and she just doesn't, and it, it just bugged me. Um, what, so... if, what if they went to where the Soul Stone was, and they just hid, and then before Thanos could throw Gamora down the pit, like Hawkeye just shot her with an arrow? That creates a new timeline. That doesn't solve their problem, I guess. Hooray. Uh, what the no, fuck was? He could, because then he could still chuck uh, Black Widow down the hole, and he could get the Soul Stone. Why bother with? Wait, what? If he's gonna do that anyway, then why bother with? Oh, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> so anyway, what was with uh, Ant Man and Iron Man's plan? Uh, to get the Tesseract. What was that? That that hardcore took me out of the movie when I realized their plan was Ant Man sneak inside Tony's heart thing and give him cardiac arrest and then kick me the briefcase and I'll leave with it. I was like, is that all you guys came up with? Are you kidding me? Like, yeah. Why didn't they just go to where it was being stored and they just had to wait, the... wait for it to go in a car, um, yeah. or whatever. Like I'm the assuming... lobby. What a place to steal it. I guess the problem is that Thor is holding the briefcase and he's going to take it back to Asgard. Like, okay. So we know that he has to go to the Avengers compound, according to Avengers, before he actually leaves. So, crazy idea. 
what if you actually, like, tried to reason with Thor, even? Or, uh, tell him that this is really important? Like, the idea that they, they had to do it here, the gas everybody, create a huge... Ex it, it's so lucky that, uh, nobody cares that the briefcase with the Tesseract gets kicked across the floor, you know what I mean? Outside of Loki, for some reason. I was just like, what a crazy plan. Definitely not a good time and place to have your little heist is in the lobby with everybody there and all these people and, you know, the, oh, and the shield fed guys. As, as Martin just suggested, why not just go to 97 to, to begin with? Uh, yeah, I, I go back. Send Cap and Iron Man to that one. Thor, uh, Hulk can get the, uh, the time stone. I mean, fuck, the time stone probably existed in 1970, thinking about it. Yeah. Ooh. I I did like the little um I did like I did like the Captain America Hail Hydra thing. Oh, that was awesome! Uh, I thought I like that was that. actually clever too. I thought that was clever. Um. Also, yeah, Hulk happening to hit him and and cause all this problem. I was just like, oh god, there's so many, so many conveniences and inconveniences. <laughs> it's like this film stacking them all up. It's like Hulk happened to open the door the moment Tony was trying to open it. It's like really okay, that's fine. This causes another half an hour of the film to happen. Um, thing. What else happens? It's like he fights himself. That was cool. Everybody thought that was okay. I can't remember. If I thought that was fine. Yeah, it makes sense that Cap, old Cap, would think that it's Loki. Yeah, and the fact yeah, that he says, um, that. "I could do this all day," and that he's like, "Yeah, I know." I, know. <laughs> yeah. I did. Uh, I did like that. I really did like that. How do you How do you feel about that? Yeah. I mean. Well, if we're going with this interpretation that there are multiple timelines, then yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming that timeline is permanently fucked because Loki escaped with the, the Tesseract, right? Yeah. So they just, yeah who knows, I I mean, so. knows what happens now? So, <laughs> I like the idea well, that's that the Cap... Thing, it changed. It's not fucked, but it's changed. Right. We don't know how... So it, who I'm... knows what exactly will happen as a result of that because you, this is this is a pre-ragnarok loki do you like um he said that is america's ass i thought it was funny you thought it was what funny <laughs> he said that i thought, is it, was I thought it was funny Oh, it's also a point out, quote unquote, connection, by the way. What do you guys think about this? It's like, oh, when i man flicked ad man onto tony uh, that's a reference to the fact he's played that flicking game at the beginning of the film. I was like, uh, uh, I guess you I don't could think, say that. No, I, <laughs> I don't know if that's a connection. I don't, I, is there, is, is every flicking thing that he does after that point <laughs> a callback to when he played the flicking game? And yes. is the flicking game a callback to when he flicked things earlier? Like, no, you could just, oh. People like flick every stuff. Step he take, every step he takes is a callback to a previous step that he played. Um, I think that's it for Act Two. I'm trying to think if this was anything else before it hits the fan. Um, um, I oh, the the, the scene where Cap, up. yeah, I was about to say, um, I really, really, really liked Tony interacting with his dad. Yeah, I thought that was amazing. Uh, the only thing is like the security for the Tesseract. He can just break Pretty it lax. out of that box, and there's no alarms or anything. Yeah. It's like okay, relax. All you needed but, is him um, to be like, Friday, disable, you know, alarms. Like, oh, there you go. Fine. Uh, but easy. yeah, Captain, uh, Captain America seeing Margaret. Yes, which will that nicely was, set up the finale. I was, oh yeah. Um, but I think that Tony talking with his dad was really something else. Yeah, I have to appreciate, Robert Downey Jr. is like, he seems stressed and like unable to actually put into words what the fuck to say and it's just like that's how it should be because his dad is yeah. probably the only person that can turn him into a kid it was really good i really liked it i really liked it um then yeah they get the stuff and oh i think oh and one thing i'm glad they didn't do what you, what do you think we should call him he's like uh tony <laughs> yeah that would have been awkward they didn't they, did, they didn't take it too far like Tony names himself. He's like, oh, okay. They knew when to stop, you know, they knew not to go too far with it. Uh, so, yeah, following up from that, um, the scene in which Black Widow dies. Yeah, why don't you go with that first? That was the best scene <laughs> by far. Loved it. Everything about it. 
I'm assuming you love specifically that she died. Uh, yeah, that's a huge part of it. Um, I, so to clarify, I'm assuming you don't like her, or <laughs> I'm not her biggest fan. I have to say. I mean, uh, of the female characters of the MCU, is there one that is actually better developed than she is at this point? I'm trying to think of like who I would even say. Mm. Captain Marvel, of course. No. <laughs> oh, well, I think I think that's why it works. Well, this is the thing. I don't know if I'm going to be taking the the weird road here, but I actually really like that scene. Like, unironically. I, I really did. No, I I liked it. Yeah, I liked them. I like that great. scene. I like the idea of them fighting over I, it. As soon as the scene took them there, I was like, yeah, they're going to have to try. And I thought they were going to take it to the degree where they nearly kill each other, because that's what you'd need to get one of them to be able to sacrifice themselves while the other one's still alive. It's like, because those two... As much as we don't get a lot of it, they've been pretty consistent across the MCU being, like, best buds. Yeah, and they set up earlier for Black Widow that basically the only family and everything she has is the Avengers. Yeah, and so she kills herself for and, them. I thought yeah, it was and great. Jeremy, you know, Hawkeye does have, like, the family and everything he's trying no, to save. And... I feel bad about this, because I keep criticizing this film over and over again, but I have to. Uh, what was with them using the same soundtrack and shot for Gamora's death, for Black Widow's death? Yeah, it, it seemed really lazy. I wouldn't Alan I wouldn't even, I'd say think, like distasteful, lazy. not lazy. I think it's like, what the hell are you doing? That was Gamora's death. Now you've made it Gamora and Black Widow's death, which is odd. I think I mean, what they were trying to do... Maybe not so do... much the shot. I was okay with the shot. I was more so bothered that they used the exact same score. Music, yeah. I think what they were trying to do was create a very direct parallel. Yeah. But I think it was not a good idea. Like, they should be distinct. Yeah, I feel like they need to be separated because those two characters' deaths are both quite impactful. They're, and, they're completely different characters. You shouldn't. Give and they them died the for different reasons, and now them. you've made it so the death is the exact same. But yeah, I just thought it was weird. I was like, why did you do that? That made it weird. Uh, but I love the whole way they do it, though. And then how when they come back and they're all like happy and then Hawkeye just goes on his knees. I was He's like, just, uh, yeah, good shit. Um, and that kills act two, finally. So there we go. <laughs> like A lot of people I've actually seen a lot of the takes be like, act one's OK. Act two is crap. Act three is where it's good. That sort of thing. Is that kind of how you feel, Wolf, or uh, not so much? Yeah, there were there were parts of Act Two that I liked, but it was mostly just the character stuff. The plot yeah, I think is a right fucking too. awful mess. But yeah, I'd say the movie for me, like what I came out of it remembering the most, was the third act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think Act Two was one of those. The plots like, eh, but the character stuff was really good for the most part. Okay, so there's a lot of things still. So like. They just oh, yeah. make a gauntlet that can hold the stones out of... Yeah, um, that was always one of those... And good thing that uh, uh, Iron Man made it so that the gauntlet could resize itself since yeah, they didn't decide annoying. who was going to wear it until Hulk was like, I'll do it. I guess the idea of nanomachines, but I'm just stuck at like, how the fuck does Earth material do this? I thought it was the whole point was like super amazing metal melted by a dying star directly. Like that's... That seems pretty powerful stuff, and it makes sense that that's what the gauntlet can be made by. It's like, no, Iron Man can make one. You're like, oh. Yeah, it's almost like you're expecting for there to be a whole scene about them acquiring a yeah. gauntlet of some kind, you know? Which would be cool. Or or sneak, or one of the things that they would need to do is sneak back in time to get a gauntlet from another timeline. Or do something different from a gauntlet. Does it or necessarily need to be a gauntlet? Does it have to be finger sense? snapping? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know if the, if this is a rule that you need to have a gauntlet. I don't know about it, but yeah, it seems I don't know why they would just do the exact same thing. I liked it when they pulled the gems in and Rocket went boom, and they all went what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like Rocket a lot. Rocket's awesome. It's kind of interesting that the idea, like they, you know, in the writers' room, they're just like, okay, most of the guardians die except one. Let's keep uh, Rocket. It's just like wow. That casual choice. We could have had Drax throughout the two movies, you know? Oh, well, one movie. We could have had, well, not Gamora. Could have had Peter. You know, it's just the idea that you um, casually just chose Rocket to me, and I'm just like, well, I liked him a lot, so it's all good. But it's just interesting how that happens. Um, 
Yeah, so it seemed seemed really fucking convenient that you could just make a gauntlet like that, but okay. Then they have to decide who's gonna use it, and um, this part upsets me. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but when Thor is like, slowly breaking down because he's like, I fucked up, I need to fix it, I need to be the one that does this because it's like important to me, that sort of thing. And then they just throw a cheese whiz joke in the middle of it. Yeah. That that was again the problem with the comedy is it really undercut a lot of the like serious moments of this movie. I remember specifically not laughing at the cheese whiz. I was annoyed. I was yeah. like, let Thor carry on, please. Shut the fuck up. Like he's a god. Wouldn't he be the safest bet anyway? Well, uh, see, this is kind of I wish they'd established this, but I always assumed that it was more than just physical. Physical's important, but that it's also a, a, an element of will. You know, character, heart, willpower. Um, sure, but again, we're talking about a god. No, of course. And so when when Tony says like you're you know, and he's trying to bring him down and be like, you're just not you're not all together. You're not all there. You don't you can't do this sort of thing. Like I I took it as mentally is just unsuitable. And it makes sense to me that Hulk would do it. Especially they have that little explanation where it's like it's gamma, so it, it's something that he should be able to put up with. I was just like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I felt like they damaged that it scene with been, the retarded joke. It would have been really nice to see Thor do it. Yeah, um, and you could even have killed him for it, which would have been something. Very interesting, yeah. I'm not sure how that would have changed the film and uh, everything resulting. Um, and then, okay, so this is a genuine question. How, um, how is it that you have a Pym particle and it thus allows Thanos to move his entire ship and army through to the machine? How does that work? And and when he brings it through the machine, how come it teleports way, way, way up instead of destroying the building with its presence? I suppose Nebula could have been like, make sure to propel up the second that you come through or whatever. I'm just still stuck at how that even makes any sense. I don't know. Maybe that's... I don't know, do they find a way to interface it with their ship or... Fuck, I don't know. And yeah, okay, so... Some people have already said it in chat, but some people are saying it online as well. It makes sense, because he, he would have the smartest, like, scientist to work it. And I'm just saying, they're like, uh, but... Mm. I'm sorry, Hank Pym had to invent the thing for them to be able to use it? Are you kidding me? Like, you understand how bullshit this is, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bullshit. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Um, and yeah, so... I'm just saying logistically now. Let's assume they know how to use it. Logistically, these characters need to put a suit around them then put a pin particle into like their waist or whatever, and it allows them to travel. So where is Thanos putting this pin particle? In a spaceship. Okay. In the microwave. <laughs> in the microwave. Oh wait, you Nebula... never put a pin particle in the microwave. A uh, KF. Ooh. Wait, maybe I got this wrong. KF KH fan said Nebula carried the shrunken ship. It grew out of the uh, the compound. Is that true? I thought she pulled them through the uh, the the time thing. I thought that was a joke that the whole carrying the ship thing, since, you know, the whole Captain Marvel carrying the ship. I thought that the comment was a joke. Oh, well, I don't know. Is that what happened? I don't know. Yeah. I, don't I know mean, I, I only remember it just coming from the teleporter and then shooting up. I thought that it came through from uh, the past or the other dimension. Is it that she actually carried it in her hand? I, I don't know. I'll have to watch the movie again. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but that would make far more sense. That would make like, way more sense to me, yeah. Oh, yeah. If that's, if yeah. that's what it is, that's, yeah. that's way that's better. If that's the case, then okay. We, we've seen this setup before, so all right. I'm down with it. Um, How'd she shrink it? John, well, with the pin particle? But, uh, but how do you do that? <laughs> like, you know, those, know. you know those discs Ant-Man has? They don't have those. They just... Help us, chat. Mm. <laughs> It's... Help us understand some of this movie's strangeness. Um, um hmm. Yeah, so M uh, Alton said you can clearly I see could, the ship I... going through the quantum realm. Does that mean... We didn't see her put it onto the platform or anything, though. We just see her accessing the... Console. Yeah, she put the wire shit in the fucking thing and then activated because the thingy and... I remember... You have the fucking um, movie pulled up, don't you? It comes... Um, I'll have a look now. It comes through the portal. I thought it comes through the portal like normal, and then like almost instantly it zooms upward. Yeah. I don't know now. I feel like chat is civil warring itself. 
Like, everyone's got a different idea of what exactly ah! happened. It traveled through time, she didn't shrink it. They used Thanos' chin. See, I, that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> Just add My water. Nebula does not carry the shit. She calls it and crashes through the roof. See, why can't every single one of you 4,944 people agree with each other? It makes it so difficult when everyone's not the Borg. Why can't you just Ugh. have one idea, guys? Jesus. Um, Alright, well, sh uh, let, uh, I think there's problems either way, so let's just, just move on, I guess, because it's just like, yeah, yeah, that's a thing that happened. Uh, a friend of mine thought it was super convenient that none of the Avengers died in the explosion. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. Especially Ant-Man. Uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ant-Man, thought... of all people, it blew up literally inches from I him. thought that was um, going to be he... his death scene. Yeah, I, I almost thought so that too, would be then... too, but I guess uh... he used his little tiny thingy. Hmm. Wouldn't that make so... him more susceptible to dying if he made himself I don't know. really small? Um, I don't know. Maybe that would keep him more stable. I'm not sure. But I guess, they're... I guess they use that as the explanation for how he survived. Yeah, because they, they just show him small. I think they can't, they didn't want to kill many people, I imagine, before the end shot, because they wanted to have as many heroes together at once, right? But it's just like, hmm. I think someone probably should have died in that explosion just to give it another sense of like, oh god, you know, like, this is I mean, not it was over. definitely an intense barrage by what they showed, I mean. I mean, they blew up literally the entire area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they were serious about it. Yeah, 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 because like, it, um, it, it, the post-explosion is almost like a Desolate wasteland. It's like fuck. Like a mushroom cloud. Uh, which I thought was really weird, but it, I guess it's gonna recover from that. It's like okay, okay. Someone pointed out Hawkeye of all out of all of them probably would have been the one that died. Yeah, at least. Yeah, Since doesn't, he doesn't exactly have a super come power. down right in front of him. Um, this is everywhere. I think that yeah, Ant one definitely came down right in front of Ant Man. I don't remember if one came down right in front of Hawkeye. Hmm. But either like, way, somebody to should a window? Die. Possibly. No, that, that was Ant-Man. Oh yeah, that was Ant-Man. Oh, that was Ant-Man? Yeah, oh, that was okay. Ant-Man. I thought okay. it was interesting that All right. there was enough damage that War Machine had to get out of his suit, but everyone else managed to, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's enough damage that the War Machine suit is blown open. Well, he has to take it off. It's just like, oh wow, but everyone else seemed to know. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Uh, which brings us to the... Uh, I guess what would what, what does anyone want to talk about? I guess it would be the fighting Thanos as um the three main dudes, right? Um. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thor got Thor got nerfed. Mm -hmm. But he was fat. Does that mean that but he is he now weaker? Fat. Well, he's. I guess his body muscle ratio is off a bit. Um. Well, let me ask you, how do you feel about Captain America and Mjolnir? Uh, oh, well, you know what, let's save that for a second. Because um, okay. we get Thanos immediately, so a lot of people feel like Thanos has been screwed over in this film. Uh, He's not the same Thanos, so the vengeful nature he has at the end doesn't make as much sense if it was the same one. Yeah. Do you guys feel like it's inconsistent? Yeah, I mean, I understand why it's like that, but I don't like it. It makes the impact not quite as impactful, I guess. <laughs> I probably could have worded that better. Um, um, go ahead. I mean, he's a... Why would he have that personal stake in it? Maybe it's because he's seen the future, the, the future that these people have done to him. Well, yeah, I, I think still... I think there's a valid explanation. I'm just not sure that it's what it's what was wanted. Because you can go loads of ways with it, right? You can you can take all kinds of directions with what you want to do with Thanos. But a lot of people are arguing like, oh, well, we're seeing a younger Thanos, a more angry Thanos, a uh, um, one that has been screwed over as well. He's seen his plan completed and then subverted, which would enrage him more than likely. So does it make sense that he is a basically a psychopath in this one versus the sort of um, and I say personally altruistic, like he thinks what he's doing is going to save the universe. While in this one, he's getting to the point where he's like, okay, we're going to restart the universe because you guys are stupid. Well, 
I mean, they have that line about, well, apparently what I did didn't work or didn't serve the purpose that I needed, so I need to go further. Yeah. Um, what do you reckon, Neo? Hmm. Uh, I just found it all incredibly lame that he's just fighting a bunch of strangers, basically, even if they did subvert his plan. It's just coming off of a big deal, Infinity though. War. It is a big deal, but coming off of a f Infinity War where, I don't know, just severed. I felt like it severed so much from that. Like, it's not the it guy that been... Iron Man knows better, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it literally is the guy. Yeah. So, it would have I been mean... far, far more impactful if it was the original Thanos who went through fighting all of them. Yeah. I think so, too. And that's just cut off, and I didn't, didn't really like that. I can definitely I see why people are upset, and I can definitely agree that I was a little bit like... I miss big stuff strong, altruistic, amazing quotes, Thanos, who would be kind to a lot of the people he killed. And I've seen the, the people will be like, oh yeah, he only did that because he was in a position of power, and this is the first time he's really experienced being vulnerable, and that's why he's much more blah blah blah. And I was like, yeah, but like, he's kind of an it's... asshole now. I, yeah. I don't know, I, I feel like the the desperation of a situation he finds himself in where he knows that these people have the capability to thwart his plan for mm -hmm. the first time i think that might change his, his the way that he behaves i think i agree it's just not necessarily what um what yeah. i personally wanted to see out of out of this sort of storyline so we get one shot right this is an interesting one for sure but um you know <laughs> as weird as this, it is to say i prefer 20, uh, 2019 Thanos to 2024 Thanos, or whatever the timelines are. Uh, <laughs> I find him more interesting. He's a little bit too just, I just want to fuck everything up. Um, but you know, it's fine. I still enjoyed him, but I know a lot of people feel like he was fucked up. Uh, it's hard to sort of... May maybe I'm just forgetting it, because it's been like a good year since I saw Infinity War. Um... Or maybe not that long, but where was this fucking giant double-bladed sword thing in the previous movie? I guess he didn't need it uh, when he had the gauntlet, hmm. right? I don't know. Sure, but it would have been kind of cool to see that. Yeah. It it seems, it, actually, I, I didn't I like the sword because I think it's a silly weapon. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, you mean like you would have preferred an actual sword versus this weird, like... Oh well, of... yeah, like this weird thing doesn't, like... You know, from a utilitarian perspective, it's a really shitty weapon. Mm -hmm. Could have been a lot of other I mean, things. It, looks, it seems to be magical to an extent. And... <laughs> no, yeah, I, I mean, I I like the sword. I just don't remember it being in Infinity War or Guardians, but I haven't seen Guardians in a long time, so I was just genuinely curious. Uh, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have it in Infinity War. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, Infinity is like what four or five years. Something could have happened to that thing over the many conquests. Good old Thanos has. So but that's past Thanos, isn't it? And uh, and as someone is yeah, I was oh saying, wait, yeah, that that's from the Guardians. Yeah, future so, uh, Thanos wouldn't have okay. it. Okay, um, yeah, like so. And and the Thanos that they fight at the end, this is a Thanos that hasn't lost Gamora. Uh, do you mean like he's not got an appreciation for loss as much? I'm, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm just I'm saying maybe mm -hmm. that's a big difference is that he hasn't you know. I guess maybe he, you know, that's a that's something that really changes him as a character, and he doesn't have that in this version that they find. <laughs> Someone Not said sure. it's a yeah. maybe blade. It's, it's perfectly balanced. <laughs> <laughs> that might actually sure. be why they chose to do it that way. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Um. Uh. So something that frustrates me. I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about this or chat or whatever. You got Thor with Mjolnir and Stormbreaker. Iron Man, what you could argue is probably his best suit, and Cap, uh, uh, potentially his best, especially when he has Mjolnir. They all lose pretty hardcore to Thanos without the gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Uh, yeah, I think they should have fucked them up. I think what should have happened is that they got to the point where he was about to be beaten, and he called in his army, and they prevented the Avengers, well, those three from finishing him off, and then, you know, they fuck him up. 
the point where all those portals open, blah blah happens. I just thought it, I was confused. I was like, how is Thanos just? And I, I've seen explanations. People are like, don't you get it? He's more of a battle-hardened warrior who's pissed. He's gonna be, and he's got this weapon. He's just gonna fuck him up. And I was just like, mm, mm, no. <laughs> Like, yeah, he had the gauntlet in Infinity War, and I and Man managed to make him bleed. Uh, yeah, I just, I feel like they just needed the fight to go on, and they needed stakes to be raised. So Thanos is more powerful now. Uh, you go, why? He beat up the Hulk without using stones. Yes, he did. Uh, well, then again, he had one stone at that point, right? The power one? You didn't use the power stone to beat him up, though, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, that's true. Um, hmm. So, but you get the Thor. Oh, I still feel like three of them. Yeah, like this. We're not dealing with like this is big. Those those three put together, especially Iron Man and Thor. Like, I just I don't really see how it was pretty easy for him to do. But I'll let it slide, I guess, because Thor was out of shape and Iron Man. Iron Man got like electrocuted at one point or something by Mjolnir. I thought that was weird. Cause he like he like falls over and there's loads of electric on him and then he gets knocked out. And I was like, oh. I don't really I need to watch it again to really figure out exactly what's going on there, but yeah. That, when did yeah. Iron Man set up that fucking thing where if Thor electrocutes him in the back, he has super well, weapons? That happens in Avengers, where Thor electrocutes oh, him. It does. And he gets superpower. Yeah, but it looks like he's actually created something to account for it now as well, which makes it better. But, I mean, fuck, it doesn't really do anything, does it? Yeah, I must have just forgotten mm -hmm. it. It's been a while since I saw Avengers. Um, I liked when Nebula killed herself. I do too. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was really, um, this will sound really gay, <laughs> but I thought that was a super good kind of visualization of her internal struggle with herself. And or I like, actually having to kill herself. I like that past Nebula clearly wants to change, but she's too afraid of Thanos to do it, because the change she gets from Guardians 1 and 2 is all because she's so far away from Thanos. And it's good shit. Yeah. What do you think, ER? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm all for them and heroing. Have you seen uh, the Guardians films? I've seen, yeah, both of them. Mm -hmm. I don't remember two very well. But yeah, maybe best that you don't remember two. Yeah, Aww. maybe. I mean, maybe. I like two. Why do you like? Why do you hate two, Wolf? The fuck? Age of Ultron? No, he's talking about Guardians. Guardians. No, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm retarded. I didn't like you say two. you like? Yeah, you like? <laughs> yeah, because I watched it with you the other day. <laughs> I, was, I was confused. No, I I was drawing a. Bl yeah, I'm sorry. Wolf I mean, I like the second Guardians more than the first. I actually like it more than the first as well, but I think the first one's better. But it's got more problems than the first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like it more than the first. Um, Alright, so there you go, Rags. Go nuts. Uh, Cap picking up Mjolnir. I liked it. <laughs> I, I imagine that's one of those uh, cinemas all over the world go nuts for that moment. I mean, oh, I, yeah, I, liked, I, I appreciated it because in one of the other Avengers movies, they kind of hint at the fact that Captain Age America of Ultron. Is, yeah, Age of Ultron. Mm -hmm. It's like Mjolnir, you know, it budges a little for Captain America. Now, I will say there, I mean, that's a big difference between, you know, it moving at all um, and him being able to use it, you know, in this potential. But I, I do think it's set up. Um, and I thought, I thought it was really, I just thought it was really cool. My a lot of theater went fucking ballistic over that scene. Well, my theater went ballistic over quite a few moments in the third act, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did it's you... like I was at a fucking football game. Did you see this in a theater, yeah? I did. Did you find it obnoxious? <laughs> Very much so. I can picture you being the kind of guy who's just like, shut the fuck up. Every when, yeah. <laughs> when uh, yeah. the portal started opening and Black Panther came out and everyone started cheering, I was like, why are you cheering for this one? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like of all the fucking Avengers, fucking Black Panther. But then they started cheering for literally every single person that was on screen. I mean, it was, was kind lucky. of a cool moment, but at the same time, I was like, can you guys just shut the fuck up, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we went pretty early in the day, so we got really good seats and we saw it in a, a, a mostly empty theater. So we really lucked out, but there were still some people. Um, 
like there was a kid next to me and i was almost like listen here you little shit <laughs> shut your fucking mouth all right like this actually is for adults <laughs> well i remember there was something that he said during the movie and i was just like oh you sweet summer child you don't understand why this is a great scene um like i, I it funny. was like it was it was just it was like a kid watching it and he and he's seen he made a comment about a scene like made i think he didn't like it but i thought it was really good because i remember it was set up in some way from a previous movie or something and i was almost like i was almost about to fucking explain this to this person next to me was like oh um but yeah i imagine if you saw oh i seeing this movie in a full theater fuck that oh shit. god I, I watched it on opening night so it was a full theater yeah mine was full but I was British, so most of them shut the fuck up. But you still got the, the, the average couple people. Where they're like, oh, Black Panther, what kind of forever, oh, girl power, <laughs> and stuff like that. And you're like, shut up, they can't hear you. No, you should say shut up, it was a bad movie. <laughs> That'll get them to, uh, to, to shut up, it'll be great. Um, yeah, I loved all of it, but I thought maybe he was a little bit too good with it. He was awfully good with that hammer. Like... I'm all for every movie does except lightning ones. I was like, isn't that Thor's thing? I thought Mjolnir was just a, you know, like an amplifier. I didn't realize it actually created lightning. Yeah, that seemed a little off to me. Like, how would he know how to summon the lightning if he's never used uh, the hammer before? And like, he, when he threw the shield and threw the hammer and it made a shockwave that actually like made Thanos go, what the fuck? I was like, oh, that's so awesome. And then he like summons light. I was like, whoa, are you the god of thunder now? <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes Thor a little more useless than he yeah, already apprentice was. Apprentice of Thunder. Mm. Uh, a cool moment, nonetheless. And then that brings in the whole fucking everybody arrives. So um, I have no idea how we should talk about this other than like... Um, everyone shows up. It's insane. I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, that's I, I'm, I, I didn't think that it'd be... I just thought it would be like the Avengers come through. Like the Avengers arrive somehow. Like, oh shit. I know what's happening. We have to go da 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 da. But then everybody shows up. And I'm like, whoa. I, I thought it was a really cool moment. It was just my theater was so obnoxious. It was like killing it for me. Mm -hmm. I, it's weird. But it that's not the fault of the surprise. movie. I was, I, was, I was into it, but it, totally superficially. I was just like, mm. yeah, I was, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm the same thing. I was like, I, I accepted it. I'm like, yeah, everyone gets to do their little thing at the end. They're like, okay, cool. You know, Spider-Man and Black Panther and Valkyrie and all these guys are doing their stuff. Yeah, I mean, um, when you think about it, it's like who went to fucking uh, new Asgard and was like, all right, everyone, we need you all to come here, get a Pegasus and everything. <laughs> I, where'd you get the fucking Pegasus from? Oh, Negabot said, in fairness, the, uh, the quote from Odin is, Whomsoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. So technically that's consistent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was all like, right. Oh, all right, yeah. All I'll right, fair enough. Take it, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, um, yeah there's, uh, everyone turns up at their best, is my confusion. Everyone's in their, like, element, you know? And it's like, when you guys all, like, what the fuck just happened? Um, but no, everyone, and, and fucking hell, Doctor Strange has a lot of students. I had no idea that was going on. I guess the whole college, the whole <laughs> everyone, I guess the whole fucking, ho all the Hogwarts showed up. Yeah, no, I just assumed it was like from all of the wizard temples. Are there, is someone still defending their sanctums? Oh, Mamu could turn up at any moment, guys. Could be cool. I don't know. I guess the immediate threat is, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, when they all run and fly together, I was just like, Jesus Christ. It's like such a... Insane. It's the of... biggest fan service moment yeah. I think I might have ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, eh, okay, all right. Let's just, I just strapped myself into the roller coaster. I'm like, okay, here we go. Everyone's um, going to do their thing. Here we uh, are. I feel like we're heading so far into subjective territory here, but there's somebody oh, yeah. like fucking ad man punching the, the space whale thing. I was just like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was really. That was really cool. Um, Drax <laughs> jumping on the back of the the big dude. It. <laughs> and I was like, oh, is that just straight up referencing Guardians 2? Or he's just like, rah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I liked seeing... Well, Drax is barely in this film. Yeah. So it's nice he got something. Um, seeing Tony and, and Pepper doing their respective Iron Man blasts at the same time, I was like, oh, that's neat. But, uh, in a perfect world, they would have probably... 
had a more uh, a through line, those two. If you look at Iron Man 1 through 3, it's very um, iffy. And like she drops out of the MCU for a bit. Like when Civil War happens, he's just like, eh, she's yeah. just not around. He's like, oh, but I think it works enough. <laughs> also, Thor being like, give me back my hammer. That shit was like, <laughs> you can have the small one. I do like that. There's yeah. plenty of, like, this is what I'm getting at. There's loads of payoffs in here that are just, like, a lot of fun that I think work. Um, I don't know if we need to develop it, but literally every fucking scene that has Peter and Iron Man in the shot, uh, I adored. Oh, when, dude, when, when Peter shows back up and Iron Man's looking at him, oh, my fucking heart. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, see, I'm, I'm, I am a big softy when it comes to like um like emotional stuff like this this movie for all of its objective issues that we've been highlighting so far mm -hmm. this movie oh my god i was in tears for like half this movie because <laughs> i'm just a massive faggot <laughs> but the there were so many hey, you can't call yourself a massive that's, that's fucked up, i gave myself the license i am massive but I was like, I was almost like on the point of being embarrassed that there were other people around and I didn't want them to see me with like <laughs> red teary eyes and everything. Like that's kind of how I was. So that's why I rate this movie so high, like subjectively, even though objectively it's got a lot of issues. But fucking hell, the character payoffs and the moments and Robert Downey Jr.'s acting and oh, fuck. Oh. Um, yeah, I, th I thought they were both amazing, and I was just like, what a perfect scene to have after all the shit that's happened for those two. It's just nailed. Um, what else is there? Yeah, yeah, like, Peter meeting up with blank Gamora, I guess, if you can call it that. Just, like, recognition that I guess that relationship is restarted. I don't know what they're doing with that exactly, because I don't know how many Guardians films there's going to be. I don't know what the plan is there. Um, and again, to sort of highlight how much I feel like... Th Hulk was thrown away in this film. He, you get one shot of him in the fight, I believe, where he's like... Yeah, I, I genuinely don't even remember him being in the fight. I don't I remember it either. It's it actually... It was like he <laughs> just disappeared for that whole segment until... He, like, uh... picks a guy up and throws him or whatever, and then he says, uh, we can't... Like, because someone's like, hey, get the stones out of here. And then he's like, no, we have to return them to, you know, their places or whatever. Which highlights something I was thinking about, and again, I could be wrong... But correct me if I'm wrong. Captain Marvel holding wrong. the gauntlet and going to jump into the quantum machine. What does that solve for the other timelines? Where does she even go? What does she does she have any idea what's about to happen when she does that? Um I don't know what they were doing. First off, why doesn't why doesn't she just snap her fingers right there when she's got it? Oh, well, yeah, you could definitely. I also, mean, someone someone pointed out I, I War Machine. This, if she, if if they made that happen, if Captain Marvel used the gauntlet, I would, I would have screamed <laughs> at this at the screen. That would have been unforgivable. Someone also pointed out War Machine just bullshits his way into getting new armor. Yeah, after he took I, it off. I meant to bring that up. Thought War Machine just has armor, and you're like, oh, it's like where'd you get that from? You I don't, I don't know why, just, you just, yeah, and I don't know why they couldn't just, all they needed to do was... Just don't make him get out of his armor in the first yeah, place. Uh, uh, or, well, he gets his new armor before that, because it looks different from the one he jumps out of, so just get him the new armor before that shit happens, and then have him helping the Hulk hold up something. And or at then, the very least, show him, like, calling the armor in, like Iron Man did in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, l genuine logistically, I don't understand what the fuck they were telling Captain Marvel to do. Go into the thing. It has to. She needs to go to like three different points in time, or even four. She has no idea where to even deliver these stones back to. Like, I don't even know what the hell they were thinking with that. Just hopefully she just goes away. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just thought it was really weird. I was like, you guys know that this isn't gonna solve the problems, but you know, luckily she doesn't make it anyway. But that brings us to um. You know, what did you guys think of the um, the shot with all of the whammon? Uh. That wasn't uh. forced as fuck. <laughs> you know, I think it's funny because a lot of people might be like, oh man, if he was fucking guys, you wouldn't be complaining. I was like, I would be if they literally just had all of the guys. 
<laughs> that they all... I clapped when I saw all the whammon. I clapped even harder when I saw Captain America's or Captain Marvel's fucking lesbian hair. Oh, right, yeah. So that's from the comics, apparently. So everyone criticizing it is wrong, apparently. What that's now? how that works. Yeah, if it's in the comics, it can't be dumb. Yeah, that's Wait, how that works. Captain Marvel's hair. Fuck that. Oh, I, I hear. I actually. I liked her better with longer hair because it would cover up more of her face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm, I mean, I don't think it, it makes sense that her hair is like, if I was a chick, my hair would be short, which is ironic because my hair is really long right now, but it just seems more battle, you know? Yeah. Like uh, appropriate. Uh, the the hair I mean, looks I mean, kind of silly to me, but fine. Armies have a, armies have a, you know, dress code for facial hair and, you know, hair and stuff, so... I mean, I'm, I was fine with it. I don't... Oh, wait, are we actually talking about Cat Marvel's haircut? Well, you... you that was a sideline. What we're actually... To, Rags, let me ask you. What did you think of the yeah. all-female shot? Uh... <laughs> I rolled my eyes. Because I, cause I, I saw it happening. I'm like, oh, like, these are for... Oh, there's... Oh, they're all... Oh. Do you know what? Um, I was definitely I'm... distracted, but what really took me out was the fact that Mantis is there. Yeah, it's yeah. like, hold on, why is Mantis, what has Mantis ever done aside from yeah. being a joke? Like, well, I like Mantis, Mantis but useful? what the hell is yeah, she doing she's, there? She's, oh, yeah, she's I mean, I like her too, but still. Development, but she's not like a, a warrior? Like, what does she do? Like, she's really good for character stuff. Emotional stuff, connection between people, very good for that. But what is she going to do in a fight? Like, even when she was with Ego. She's going to make she people feel bad. <laughs> she's going to put people to sleep, I guess. Oh, fuck it. She doesn't even do anything. She's just with them and then starts to run. And I was like, okay, I'm waiting for a Mantis payoff now. The same for Shuri, by the way, which makes more sense, but it's still kind it's of like, like what why the hell are you are, doing why here? Why is she in the front? Yeah. She is, like, supposed to be some bullshit brilliant scientist. And she's got, and like, she's gauntlets that push people away when she fires them. Like that's that's nice. <laughs> it's nice that you have that, but I don't. Um, and it was, and all the girls were here except Black Widow. Oh right, yeah. The that's the, so. I kind of this is kind of what I the bring one up, that like, has the best development. Well, I was gonna say like the the basically the only one I care about. She's the one. That I mean, I, I guess like. I kind of like Scarlet Witch. I like, yes, I like yes. Scarlet Witch. I like Valkyrie. I like Mantis, but Black Widow is. Ugh. So, it ugh, mm -hmm. made me miss Black Widow already. Um, so, there's a couple people out there who were like, that ruined it for me. And I'm like, it didn't ruin it for me. I just thought it was really silly. I just rolled, I just rolled my eyes and was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, I will say that Scarlet Witch and the Thanos little thing that they did was pretty nice. That was fucking awesome. The, the, I, like I, I kind of want to get a screenshot of when she's lifting up all the boulders at the same time, the pose she has, and how fucking, like, when, she looks like an evil person. Are, like, glowing. Yeah, she looks badass as hell. Yeah. You know, and, and I was just like, I don't know you, and she's like, you will. Did anyone else just get, like, a surge of satisfaction when Thanos just punched Captain Marvel in we the get, fucking yes. No, no, shush, shush, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> that needs a whole discussion. Um, but yeah, I like that he actually is defeated by Scarlet Witch without the gauntlet. I was like, finally, like, a power level that at least they're consistent with. Because the thing is, Scarlet Witch is what you would call a glass cannon, right? She's actually yeah. killable with a bullet, but she's still probably the most powerful Avenger. Not anymore, obviously, but she was up until Tism Hero did her Tisms. But so, uh, yeah. So we we get into that. So Thanos is a desperation move. Pulls in, uh, his ship to Change shoot everything. Close, basically, yeah. And everyone's like panicking, like, oh my god, oh my god. And then the ship moves every single cannon to fire on one target, and it fails miserably. And when that happened, I was like, no. Please, okay, no. Wait, before you go further, what I thought was going to happen was when all the cannons were pointing upwards, I thought it would be like um, all the people from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, the scrolls the, as well, maybe. Yeah, uh, not not the scrolls or the Kree. Ravagers. The, not the ra it, well, uh, the Ravagers and... Um, oh, you mean like the gold people? Yeah, Not the gold two. people. Why not? The people from the first Guardians that they save. Oh, you told me. Yeah, but Xandar's destroyed at this point, I think. 
Oh, but we mean, maybe, maybe oh. like all of uh, Yandu's buddies. Yeah, yeah I, fuck it. I was expecting for I like think... the Guardians ships to come in. I think you know, like Xandar, fleet of ships. Xandar's still actually around, I think, at that point. So the Nova Corps would be the ones. Yeah, yeah Nova Corps. Yeah. Also, yeah, sorry, my bad. The Ravagers were actually in the fight. Um, But that would be cool. The, the cosmic team, you know? Coming in yeah, like from the there's top. other planets and stuff going on, and they're like, "Oh, this Thanos guy is getting fought over here, and they're putting up a fight." Well, we're gonna help out because fuck Thanos. Yeah, you could have like a line, or you could have Captain Marvel leading them as much yeah. as they wanted to be there, and she's like, "I gathered them for this." I'd be like, "Okay," but it's literally yeah. just. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because what do you need after Captain Marvel? <sighs> And she destroys because his entire ship by walking right through it. And I was like, yeah. oh. Completely, effortlessly destroys the entire warship. No issue, no problem. Doesn't even break a sweat. Her hair is fucking perfect. And that's, that happens. Well, she, she like, gets oh, punched in the face. No, 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 we're getting there. <laughs> um, So, I, I think it kind of is really lame that she did that. I personally. think it's very lame too. It cheapens things so and much. A lot of people have been saying, Endgame is not ruined by Captain Marvel. She's barely in it. And I'm like, she deals damage for the time that she's here, for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, you don't have to fucking look at her smug, cunt face for very long. <laughs> but while you do, oh man, she makes use of the time she's in it. <sighs> but yeah, so she does that. There's the all female thing. Then I guess it comes down to like the final fight with Thanos and sort of the main three. Uh, until he backs them off, and then she starts like she's able to prevent him from closing the fist, and he head he headbutts her, and there's this shot. Do you guys remember it where he's like terrified? Like Thanos is scared because he headbutted her and it did fuck all. And I Which was is like, weird because he's like punched and kicked people and sent them back. And well, it I, just confirms she's like the most powerful thing on this fucking earth. On it, well, on earth, the universe. Her. I hate her so much. I hate Captain Marvel so much, Mahler. I hate her. So I, much. I, I hate her a lot too. And I and it doesn't even it doesn't come into whatever her character is at that point. Doesn't even matter. That power level. What are you doing? What the hell? <laughs> like, even Thanos is like, what? Like, this isn't right. I'm supposed to be the bad guy. Like, how are you doing this? And so he pulls the Power Stone out and fucking boops her with the other hand. Um, there was this, like, massive sigh of relief uh, from me in the cinema. I was on the edge of my seat like, please don't let her kill him. Please don't let her... I've never been so concerned for the life was... of a horrible villain. <laughs> yes, I was... Same with me. I was watching those two together. And I'm like, if she, if she just, oh, I'm, I was so relieved. Mm -hmm. I was so relieved because they could have done it. They could have, um, fuck, who knows? Disney might have told them you have to have this happen or some bullshit like that. But luckily it didn't get the, the, the blowing up the ship thing and her holding his hand open were, the, were that was the big stuff. Uh, her but, holding the hand open would have worked for me if the headbutt, dude, the headbutt, I was like, what the fuck? If he had headbutt her and she flew across the ground into a wall, I'd been like, cool. But she literally doesn't even flinch. She's just like, lol, you yeah. tried to head headbutt me. But then he punches her and she... <laughs> it's like, what is... What is... what? I don't even understand what she's supposed to be. It's like, she's selectively <laughs> God? Yes. I don't... I... <laughs> she, she's super OP, and I don't understand how they're going to deal with that uh, going forward exactly. Going to have to give her super OP enemies, I guess. I'm at least I'm at least I'm glad that even though she's in this universe still I my investment in the universe is far less like I can still almost assuredly enjoy the next Guardians movie and she'll never show her fucking face in it yes and almost assuredly she won't be in Spider-Man I hope you know it's it's like all the other Avenger stuff that they do in the future is going to have this, the, this, this awful specter of Captain Marvel hanging over it. <laughs> Ugh. Um, you don't like that Carol's only weakness being the greatest power in the universe? I mean, this is... So a lot of people said, like, in fairness, he wasn't able to close the gauntlet, and they kind of established that he can't use the gauntlet's power unless he can make a fist. So he's really just normal Thanos when he headbutts her and goes ow 
while the Power Stones have complete power over her, so isn't that okay? And I'm like, hmm. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense with the power levels. The fact that she pierced his ship is consistent with her movie. It's just Which like is lame like as how fuck. how bad it is. Yeah, that, that shit, it shouldn't have happened in her movie. The question is like, why didn't she just blast through the entire battlefield at light speed, killing all of the bad guys? <laughs> just go... Yeah. Why didn't she do that to Thanos? Why didn't she just fly right through his chest? Yeah, why didn't she just light speed through him? Why didn't, why didn't she use the gauntlet instead of Tony? She probably would have survived just fine, I don't know. I mean, she is the, she's the hyperspace jump of the MCU. It's like, what do you do now? Like, what do you do now? So, uh, moving forward, Tony snatches all of the, the gems out of the thing, and he, I guess, made a backup in his own suit that makes it work. So there's a question a lot of people have of, how the hell did he survive having those five stones? when uh, it's pretty much established that if you touch one as a human, it'll, like, obliterate you? I guess it's because he's not making direct contact, or... Um, I, guess, I guess it's established that if he could apparently make the first one, then, I don't know, I guess using it is the issue? Like, having them is one thing, but using their power is, an is another? I, th I think that the best ex explanation we'll have is that he did it quickly. I like, guess. He did it, he just did it quickly, and yeah. Uh, yeah, he didn't, like, hold on to it. and. I liked, by the way, that he was able to snatch the stones out of the thing, because it's all nanotech, so it would make sense that that's something he could do. And I like the idea that he created a fail-safe in his own suit to account for this, that he thought that's a possibility. Like, yeah, that's all yeah, stuff that, that I think like he'd do. He'd, yeah, yeah, that's something that Tony Stark would do. And then we come to a question. Did his snap send them all back to 2014 or kill them all? Kill all of the, um... Badman? All of the Chitauri and Thanos? Did he kill them or did he send them back from where they came? Why would it send them back rather than kill them? That is my question too, but a lot of people online seem to think that he sent them back and I was like, I'm pretty really? sure he murdered them. I think, well, yeah, wouldn't that, died, What would that fix? Because yeah, Captain America... Dust. Captain America has to go back and put all the fucking stones back. So what would that fix by just <laughs> sending them to the past? I mean, I just I don't I don't understand the motivation to send yeah, them he, back. I think he, yeah, he it, that, them, that, man. that doesn't make any fucking sense. So, Why yeah. would he? Do I just wanted to make kill? sure I mentioned it because a lot of people seem to think that's what happened. Uh, he sent them to Medea. <laughs> <laughs> um, Medea will take care of them. <laughs> yeah. So as far as I can tell, he killed them all. I think we're safe yeah, to assume that. Him, yeah. uh, I quite liked Thanos having his peaceful death, like the end of Infinity War, kind of mirrored that he was just like, oh, there's no way I can win now. Okay. Yeah, I like that he just sat down it's and was just like, like oh, he's soaking fuck. it up all in, just thinking about it. Yeah, he failed, um, right? And this is the thing, his character in the, the beginning of Infinity War talks about how like he's motivated entirely by the fact that he's failed previously, so this must be quite a sad moment for him, to be honest. He's like, well, I fucked it up again. For the last time. Oh, mm -hmm. I, the scene, though, I mean, just that line that, you know, Robert Downey Jr. says when he snaps his fingers. Oh, I am Iron Man, man right. Man. Yeah, I probably perfect. shouldn't have gone over that. Perfect. It was fucking great. Fucking, fucking perfect. Just fucking nailed it. Oh, hey, ER, this you is... must have liked that, right? Because you like Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, I did like it. Nice callback. Um, and it's like, it's not just like a character thing, but, you know, imagine Robert Downey Jr., his last yeah. lines... Um, he's been doing these movies for 10 years now. That's one of his big things is he, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. You know, yeah. that's the character that he portrays. So it's like he's, like the last lines he says is, you know, this is who I am. Oh, perfect. And the Love following so scene much. with between him and War Machine, him and Spider-Man and him and Pepper, I don't have a problem with any of it. It's sublime. It's everything I wanted. So it's up to you guys to criticize it. <laughs> like, I'm not doing it. It's perfect. Um, I don't have any criticisms of that. I was so into the film on that moment, and I think it's just oh, the fact that I feel like oh, I really have been invested since it. 2008. Love it so much. Um, and this is what 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 propel those moments propel it to the the subjective scale for me. Like so, when you're like, all oh, the time travel doesn't make sense, the choices people are making, and all that stuff, and I'm like, yep. 
all those things are problems, but uh, this is working. <laughs> this scene is working on me completely. Uh, and yeah, I think um, the fact that she says uh, go we're go we're gonna be fine. You can rest. Like I don't think there are better. This is a better send off. There's a better thing to say to his character. That's exactly what he wants. He's always wanted. No, there was no moment with. I don't think there was anything with Captain America though. I think it was just Spider Man, Pepper. No, yeah, they show Thor and Cap reacting to it. Nothing yeah, I wish for there Bucky. was almost like some kind of. Uh, we don't need Bucky. Oh wait, reacting. no, I, mean, right. I was thinking. <laughs> I was already thinking ahead to fucking um, Captain America. No. Yeah, uh, and this is the thing: you have Tony's best friend, Tony's girlfriend slash wife. Tony's surrogate child and Tony's two work buddies that are also best friends, all of them get their separate reaction shots, or at least what, most of them, like Tony and uh, Cap and Thor's is the same. And I was just thinking of the fact it's like, oh yeah, you checked them all off the list, that's how you do it, good. And then Ryan Johnson was like, how about we don't show Luke oh. reacting to Han? Doesn't that make it better though? And you're like, no. 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 It's like, oh, well, you guys can do it the cliche way. Like, we already... I've, have you seen... I, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this on EFAP, but people have actually said, like, why show the scene of, of Luke reacting to Han when we already know he's going to be upset? Did this argument? Does anyone want to... I haven't... People I haven't, have that haven't. position? Yes. Ironically? Yes. Are they retarded? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those arguments that feels like it counters itself. You're like, I don't even need I, to I say mean, anything. It's the most self-evident fucking thing. <laughs> I don't have to. I don't have to go to. Um, it, it, it's almost like your parents are gonna die, and they want you to be there at their deathbed, and you're like, yeah, I, I, they they know I love. <laughs> <laughs> they know I'm sad. <laughs> they know I'm sad. Uh. So a bunch of people have been talking about the whole, like, I'm just trying to go chronologically here. I think you see Spider-Man going back to high school, and Ned is the same age as him. So, and assuming Far From Home happens the way it does in the trailer, I guess everybody who's significant to Peter's life all got snapped along with him. Otherwise, continuity-wise, that's fucked. I guess certainly a lot of people must have. Yeah, I think we just have to call a convenience on that one. It's like, yep, they just ended up that they were all snapped. That's uh, the all back. It's all good. Yeah, it would be nice to. It would be nice that there is going to be a line that explains, or should have been, where you know, I guess you know, I guess Iron Man or I guess Tony da 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 with his snap, you know. Um. Oh yeah, and I. Uh, I guess the funeral for Tony was like perfect to me. I don't know what you guys reckon. <laughs> I mean, I'm. It, I I was down with it. Yeah. I was totally with it. The fact that they pan through basically all of the franchises once they pan from Iron Man, I was just like, oh man, that's like a like a meta way of celebrating what that movie did and how it's going to be, you know, what what's comes after it as a result, as well as it being like an in-universe sort of thank you for killing yourself for everybody's lives sort of thing. I liked it a now, lot. Now, I already know the answer because I had to look it up. Um... Of of the three of you, when during that funeral scene, when it panned through him, you saw that one kid just standing around. Who was he? I I know the answer, Mahler. Do you know? Yes. Er. I do not. Um. Well, for you two, it was the kid from Iron Man Three. Apparently, nobody fucking knew who he was. Kid In fantasy, he doesn't look a lot Man like 3. he did. No, he <laughs> doesn't. Which is like, why would you even include him? Well, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I'm not against including him. Um, him and Tony spent a decent amount of time together, and Tony gave him a bunch of shit at the end of the movie. They had a connection. I hate Iron Man 3, I really do, but I'm the kind of person that's like, okay, we should probably... You can't just, like, if you're going to try and make a continuity like the MCU, you can't just go, nah, not this film, though. And you could say they've done that with Hulk, but I don't know what they could have taken from Hulk anyway. They took Ross, so... Do you... Do you think that they should have had something for Black Widow? Uh, well, they yeah. technically did. They had Hawkeye. Yeah, they, they did have that that uh that talk on the fucking. Yeah, that talk. was for Widow and Vision. They both yeah, remembered. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I was just wondering if you think they should have done more. 
I quite liked as well. You said, I wish she just knew, and then she says that I think they both they, do. They both know, yeah. Nice. The Scarlet Witch says that. Um, yeah. Um, um. <laughs> so, if we ignore, because we kind of been over it, the whole how the fuck does Cap get all that shit back to its places, just put it to a side a second. Uh, well, how does everyone feel about Cap's ending? I don't like it. Right. Um, I don't like that fucking Bucky wouldn't go up and talk to him. Yeah, yeah. I, I that my biggest issue with it is Bucky. I, I, I like th Bucky, and I, I like feel like him. he's never used enough. Um, I, mean, I was, ex yeah, I honestly when I. I thought that they would look out and there'd be like two graves and they'd be buried next to each other or something like that. Um, yeah, they would do something along that line. But I was almost like, what? Bucky is right there. I really like Bucky. He's, um, he's standing there. Why is he not? What we like, needed. Falcon is one thing. I'm like, okay, but Bucky, though. We needed a scene where those two got to talk about everything and concluded everything. And then the scene ends with Cap going, one more thing I need you to do. Then it cuts. And then we come to the part in the movie where it's happening, and that's why Bucky says, hey, go talk to him, to Thingy. Because, fucking hell, where was Cap's goodbye to his longtime best friend? Like, I mean, shit. the movie even drew attention to it earlier when Cap had to tell Cap, like, Bucky's alive, and that shocked him enough to yeah. win the fight. Yeah. Um, but then he just doesn't have a goodbye with his and best friend. To clarify, there was a, a whole of, fucking movie about this. People are pointing out. It really um, pissed me off. I just want to make sure everyone knows. Yes, we. It's clear that Winter Soldier knew that Cap wasn't coming back, so they had a talk. The problem is we didn't see that talk. <laughs> That's. Yeah, you got it. We just talked about how you need to show shit like this. You know, like these is. This is we need it for the story. You can't I mean, just. I... Would you have pref would you have preferred that Bucky's the next Captain America? Um. So the problem for Falcon is that he's not a super soldier. So give yeah, him a shield. A it's he just has like gadgets. I think that yeah, he's, he's better really off. Cool. I like Falcon, but he's <laughs> yeah. got his wings and his gadgets and his cool shit. And I love the, the idea that the Winter thing. Soldier is known as a villain, and so he takes on Captain America to try and right his wrongs, quote unquote. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would have yeah. preferred that, but I guess there's one good thing in that we get to call him Captain Falcon now. <laughs> well, it's almost it. <laughs> I mean, I've I've seen a lot of people saying like, "Oh, we got Valkyrie King, and you know she's uh she's super diverse," and oh, now Captain America is super diverse, and like, okay, that's what I got from it too. Um, and I was like, yeah, oh, I don't like I was, it. I was I was like, mm, Bucky though, Bucky is a kid. we. Mm, this makes so much hey, less sense than Bucky. I was irritated with the fact they didn't have enough Cap and Bucky in this movie. Yeah, I think. I mean, true. I understand like not coming. He doesn't come back till the end, but we needed that talk with them. Mm -hmm. After everything they've been through, it was bullshit that they wouldn't have Bucky talk to him, or at least if they did, show it. Yeah, it looks like we totally agreed on this. <laughs> um. Also, but, doesn't him going back in time and then living out his days kind of fuck with the time travel thing even more? Uh, I, I guess if he if he doesn't interact with anything else, then it should be okay. The idea, from what I've seen, is that he would have kept his identity secret and he wouldn't have involved himself in anything else, and Peggy would have understood what he's talking about, and she would have kept it a secret too. And they would, you know, she's got Pullet Shield. She could give him a new identity. He could just get a job at some retail place and. Just know have his life with her i guess yeah but then who takes over captain america's place throughout all the rest of the movies at that point through that timeline i don't know if i don't know i don't know i haven't thought enough well, about how it works like <laughs> well i think the regular captain america the, the original would have played out like normal there just would have been another captain america out there basically just being a regular person um it does seem a bit weird but I don't know. I was a sucker for the fact that he got his dance. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it because I think Captain America would just like done the I, secret identity thing, stayed off the grid, just lived a normal life because he knew that his other self would be around to make all the events happen. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really good that he finally got that thing that mm -hmm. he really wanted. Um, yeah, what did you think of Captain America? 
I'm going to have to go against the grain a little bit. Ooh. Uh, didn't really like that he basically abandoned his post. I agree with Captain that. Captain America. Hmm. It, I it mean, I kind I, of against his character in a way. I I I I get wanting to go back for your girl. I mean, but it just did not seem in character. I have to agree with Wolf there. I I think that if he did his Captain America stuff, then he would know because he knew that things would work out a certain way. And if he became Captain America, then he knew there would be a time where another Captain America is you know brought into the world. Yeah. And that would cause serious issues. Wait. <laughs> People are saying Cap let 9 11 happen. <laughs> <laughs> you could have stopped it, Cap. That's actually, yeah, he probably could have done it and he wouldn't have fucked anything. Well, but a well, fact, he... right? Oh, okay. Yeah, the, I think 9 11 is a, a pretty serious thing. They got That got a lot of stuff in the world happening. Um. Yeah, no, that's interesting as a take. Uh, I've not really thought about whether or not it's in character because obviously he loves her and he wants to be with her, but how much would he want to... His whole thing is a man out of time, a man in a constant war, like he needs a war to continue. That's his whole thing. And uh, right. super altruistic, always wants to save lives and make lives better and protect the world. And it's just like, so what changed? What made him decide, well, you guess, know what, we're done? Well, I guess we don't know if he didn't do that during his 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 go-through. Like, did he... I mean, is there going to be, um, it, it's not stated that he didn't do those things. Do what things? Just, you know, save yeah. people and do be, be like a superhero. Um, I don't know. Maybe that he... he wasn't like Captain America, but I doubt that it didn't influence his life in some way. And he didn't oh, like he became some form of a vigilante, but stayed under the it, radar. It's, it's possible. I mean, we, well, I don't think we have anything to go by to say yes or no. Mm. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, but if he's going back, he has to lay low, doesn't he? Kind of. Yeah, he has to, in the sense that, yeah, he could lay low, but he wouldn't necessarily have to interact with extremely big, you know, world-altering events. He might need plastic surgery, though, because his face, for at least 10 years or so, is going to be really easy to recognize. At least from... Unless he grows out that beard again. That'll do it. We're a hat. Should have shaved off in the first place. Um, yeah. Okay. It seems like people are torn on that. I, from what I can tell, no one's unhappy with Iron Man's story. Um, a lot of people are unhappy with Thor's. I was about to say, like, yeah, he passes it off. He passes Asgard off to Valkyrie, which really didn't sit well with me at all. Yeah, I didn't. I uh, was like, no, no, no. We haven't earned this. You need a movie for that, honestly. Yeah, you need a movie for this. this she was big. only through like half of Thor Ragnarok and then hasn't shown up until now. So yeah. we're told like, what Odin think? We're told that she's a decent leader for the past five years. Like uh, I mean, I, I heard that and I was like, it wasn't the first time we ever saw her, she was drunk off her ass and fell off a ship. Yeah, apparently yeah. she's gone through a whole arc we didn't see. <laughs> oh great. Yeah, I know, right? Um uh, but yeah, Thor ended up with the Guardians. Great potential, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I think that at least we can walk away saying I'm super ready to see a Guardians with Thor in it. Just this come at expense of what I would consider to be... Yeah. I think it's against his character. Uh, do something like that. I mean, that, it's one hey. thing if he doesn't want to be king, if he just doesn't... He feels like it's not the thing for him, that there's stuff out there that he needs to do or that he's been given... Like, what about the other Asgards out there and things like that? That's one thing. But what if you just have it be so casually passed off to somebody? Like, he made her a ward for, um, or like a, a steward of, of Guardians, and he's like, I need time. I need to find myself. I need to figure things out. And he goes with the Guardians. So at least we could be like, oh, yeah. maybe we will get. Like, like, it's not done, you know? Yeah. Something, I don't know. And. Yeah, it looks like him and Peter are going to be uh, back and forth in, I guess, but... Uh, you know what's funny? The reality stone is a stone. So, is Cap going to go back in time and make Natalie Portman swallow it or something? How do you, how do you get... <laughs> uh, oh my... 
I, I need you to eat this rock. <laughs> Just do it. Don't ask questions. It's a magic rock. Do it. Because I thought it was weird that they didn't account for that. The briefcase thing that Cap has. I was like, shouldn't one of those be a liquid or whatever? Because you gotta inject it or whatever. Okay, whatever. How awkward would that be? Cap travels to Asgard and he's like, okay, I need to find Natalie Portman in Asgard. I hope no one sees me and I need to inject her with this. I'm just like, God, that's a whole film right there. Cap <laughs> trying to inject her with the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh god, that sounds kind of rapey. She wakes up and like, I feel so real. Question. <laughs> How... What are the machines for? The time-traveling machines. machines. What are they for? What are for? the time-traveling machines for? Yeah, and I'm, I'm waiting for you to give me an answer so that I can provide a problem. Wait, when you say time-traveling or... machines... Yeah, what do you mean? Th those, the platforms they step on before time-traveling. Cap does it at the end and they do it obviously in the uh, Avengers compound. I guess it's to give travel? like a tether. An anchor point, yeah. yeah. Like an anchor point, a tether. Because they even say that the little things on their arm, they're like GPSs. But they're able so maybe to... maybe that's the reference that the, G that the GPS uses. Well, I mean, it's weird if that's all they are, because they do like all kinds of weird, crazy shit, right? Like the, the ceiling of it all moves. It's all like moving pieces of metal and glass or whatever. I, I was just watching, just like it's... It seems like it's probably doing stuff. I don't know. Either way. Well, because they do they do the time travel with Ant-Man at the beginning and tests and stuff, mm -hmm. and they don't have the platform. They just have the truck. I guess the truck functions as that platform? I don't know. Maybe. I guess they just, in order, because they did it three times, it took tests. Either they way. They wanted to make it certain. Because you've got a couple of answers in chat, like, it allows access to the quantum realm. It'll act as a, a place to you know, have time and place, a, a, an easy place to come back to science-y stuff. Um, either way, they managed to travel back in time from 2012 to 1970s without any kind of machine. So I was just curious if... It, you know what I mean? Like, I just have a... What was the machine even really for? I guess it was to be like the... Is it just an anchor point? The focal point for the... Yeah, for them to be able to go back to... For it to... I'll have to, I, I, just, I guess I'll have to just concede on it being an anchor point, because I don't see it being anything else, really. I mean, that's what I, I would assume. Either that or in because of the tests that they did, once they figured out the right one, they were like, all right, this is what we need to do and to make sure there's no issues, we build a machine. It's like, if, it, if it's like a waypoint, then why does it need all of the crazy tisms around it, you know, that are doing all kinds of weird things? It's like, wouldn't it just okay, be a... Okay, tell, <laughs> tell me how the time machine work, technology works. Um... Well, apparently it doesn't have anything to do with the machine, it just has to do with their suits and the pin particles. Well, I think the pin particles and the suits, I mean, I think it makes sense that the suits would be, would have some connection to the anchor point machine. Possibly? But then Thanos doesn't do anything like that, well, he just comes through onto the platform. Yeah. Um, I don't know, there's probably some weird things going on there. I just, it didn't quite, I was just like, I figured that what they were trying to say was the machines are needed to travel back and forth. Someone, someone's saying established and maintains the bridge to the quantum realm? Boss? Yeah? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know, I guess that works. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the film. So, um, what, anyone else got anything they kind of want to say about it, or? Um, yeah. About the time travel machine? Well, just about the film now. So, um, for example, um, has anybody's ratings or feelings changed on it while talking about the I mean, definitely a lot of objective issues. Mm hmm But I still feel like there is enough. I still love it. I think my... I think I'll bump down my objective from a six to a f a what? I don't know. I'm thinking oh. uh, low, maybe like a. I might put it as a four to five, four or five, maybe. Four point five. Yeah, objectively, yeah. Well, then now that I think about it, there's a lot of weird stuff that I can't really definitively say is bad or not because it's all weird time travel stuff. Yeah, there's a lot I need to understand before um, I can say it's bad, I guess. It's like it's like a rival in a way. It's like it's so ambiguous and can be interpreted in multiple ways. And even the people who say that we're wrong disagree with each other. So 
Um, I leave it as a five because there's definitely issues. Definitely issues. I was gonna say I'm pretty but much stable on five before I find more out about the film. Yeah, but in, in subjectively, I'm still gonna. I still think the strengths just make up for all of the the weaknesses. Oh, that was yours. I was changing. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. I didn't change it. Um, Wolf. Uh, yeah, I I'm safe with saying five objectively. Uh, I guess I never was really as invested in the MCU in general, so I can't really change subjectively over like a seven. Mm -hmm. I still really like it though, yeah. even though it has like a lot of really big issues. Yeah, oh, was there a post credit scene? No, no. Okay, I don't think so. Because the people, the the people in the theater said, because the the ushers for the theater were telling folks, "Don't worry, there's not a there's yeah. not an end credit scene, so <laughs> yeah. they could fucking clean the theater for the next the, showing." Because it was just doing like nonstop in game runs. They making so much fucking, fucking money from this movie, dude. Oh Jesus Christ! Um, My theater has been packed pretty much all hours of the day for the past three days. Their I opening mean, when, has when made one point two um, billion. Holy fuck! What yeah, this is, this is destroying records, this movie. 1.2 billion is their opening... It was referred to as their opening Jesus weekend. 1.2 billion for an opening in the In the weekend. That's insane. Weekend. Holy shit. It's the only movie that has a chance to knock Avatar off its throne. <laughs> wow. I hope it does. It's way better than Avatar. I can't remember much of Avatar, but I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> Let's watch it again for EFAP movie! <laughs> we could. We could. I'd be okay with that. Pocahontas in space. Um, but yeah, ER is your ratings are they the same? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a huge Marvel guy, so subjectively, eh, I mean, I understand that the fan service is pretty on point. I thought, but it doesn't affect me as much. Yeah, I think that makes about as much sense. Uh, this is, I guess I'll leave it to chat for a few minutes. Just at me if there's something in the film you feel like we didn't talk about. We'll do our best to try and uh, cover it quickly before we move on. So I saw one of them was um, uh, Cap returning the Soul Stone. Is like, for one, how do you <laughs> even do that? And two, yeah. wouldn't it have been cool to see him see Red Skull? <laughs> Be like, oh, dude. This uh, is hey, where you up? up. <laughs> like, Hi, I've been fucking here. How would that like, conversation go down? Like they just like stare I, at each other and be like, well, we hate each other. Well, Captain would have been like, this is what you deserve to be stuck here forever. Cap's like, so you're a Nazgul now. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Like, yeah, I got to keep my red face, though. I float. Um, got a robe. I just shit in it. Yeah, I heard the, the take as well that um, the reason why it's a curse for him to be there is because the... The stone requires you to sacrifice something you love, and he never loved anything. I was like, okay, one, even if he did love anything, he can't sacrifice it because he's on his own. What was he going to do? Sacrifice his cloak? Did he love it? I don't, think it's not I don't know. Like maybe a... maybe it's I, his I only know. clothing, so probably. Yeah, it's all that he has is his cloak, so he develops <laughs> an actual real love for it. He throws we can make it a whole movie cloak. out of that. Then you see Naked Red Skull floating around with his <laughs> soul stone. Uh, we can have like a castaway in space, but with <laughs> Red like... Skull. I really like this soul stone, but I wish I had my cloak back. <laughs> We've um, been through so much. Oh, you forgot to change Rag's rating from 6 to 5. Uh, I mean, it's not too big of a deal. He said it. I'm not going to keep these. I'm just going to delete the notepad anyway. Hulk arm regeneration. I mean, Hulk stayed in like an arm thing throughout the whole movie, didn't he? Yeah, he was in a cast during the funeral. Mm -hmm. um, we covered the Fortnite thing. Uh, how long till we get big brain videos about how objectively Endgame was terrible? Oh, um... I will say I really liked the rock dude with Thor. I liked seeing him again. I really liked him in Ragnarok. It was nice to see him again. Yeah. Um, it's just that it's a bit clouded by how I feel about Thor as a whole, you know? Yeah. And the fucking the Fortnite thing. Bit... Yeah, and the Fortnite thing. Uh, uh, I forgot to mention, he says something like, I'm going to stick something up your butt. And I was like, butt? He couldn't say ass. But he had to say butt. I'm disappointed that nick fury didn't get one line yeah where he, he shows plot. up at the very end and he's like where have you been did you have you could have helped uh sort of like done something or for the battle could you have called somebody or done something or oh i, I just wanted to hear him say fuck one time in the <laughs> mcu that was literally it like, tony stark <laughs> was one bad motherfucker like like of all the things all the movies that he should have said it 
it should have been this one or Infinity War. Imagine how stupid it would have been if he had turned up in the final fight, just running forward and shooting his pistol. <laughs> it would have been like, yeah. why are you here? Uh, Gamora got back snapped to, by uh, Tony. Hold up, back to uh, wait the the this the super chat. What was the super chat? I, I'm not doing them yet, but unless it's one you wanted to. <laughs> well, the one to. that it, was before, you know, I said something. I don't. I don't know. Scroll up. Yeah, go find it. Well, oh, you have the list. Mine only goes back so far. I have no idea. There's a few of them, Rags. <laughs> you, real, you realize, Rags, there's been like 300 Super Chats. I, I don't know which one you're referring to. Well, what, whatever we were reading before I said something. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I have no what idea. We don't know. You read it. How is that your... How is that I wasn't reading Super Chats. I was reading questions. Then read... What was the question? Which one? I've read four. The one that you were saying right before I said something that we didn't really answer. Uh, the one. Oh, so how long until we get big brain videos about how objectively Endgame was terrible? Thus, TLJ was amazing and objectively better than Endgame. Jab at videos oh, at more. Oh fuck! You know that's gonna happen. See, you see, it wasn't that hard to just get the question and read it again. I had no idea what you were referring you said to. Super chat. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I thought we were. That's what we were doing. No. Oh, so you made a mistake. That's okay. We're, we're, no, we're that chat right was along. really super. Uh. Yeah, the, well, the thing is, objectively speaking, it still ranks higher than TLJ because it actually takes care of a decent chunk of characters. Um, it gives the protagonist of the MCU probably the best ending you can give him, so... Yeah. Like, I don't understand how you could possibly argue. Like, compare Luke's journey to Iron Man's, oh and it's... Oh my god. It's Different planes of existence <laughs> yeah. in terms of quality. Um, but yeah, Gamora got snapped by Tony. Uh, we don't... We don't know for sure that happened. No. She did? I don't... Well, the theory would be that Tony snapped all of the bad men, and maybe Gamora counted, because she was still in the... I don't know. I would assume that she's not snapped, and that Guardians 3 will be about trying to find her. I don't know. Alright, then. Uh, did you guys talk about the rat? Yeah, we did. Um, the women, yep. Nebula live when she killed part of his- how does Nebula live when she killed her past self? She killed an alternate timeline version of herself. That is- that is it, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Supposedly. Um, how does Cap return the Tesseract back to the box? I have no idea. Well, how the way he returns to all of these things, I don't know how it all goes. Um... Got a couple of tweet stuff to go through as well. Uh... Ba -ba -da -ba. What happened to Peggy's children and husband? Uh, I guess the idea is that her husband the whole time was Cap, unless he's literally just invaded it and now erased those. And then there's the question of did he kiss his own niece or whatever? Sharon Carter? How does that work? And I guess he didn't care about Sharon Carter, really. Are there? Did he make super soldier babies? That's another thing that, you know, that works. <laughs> Oh, he did. That's gonna be a quite the delivery. Um, Avengers Assemble was pretty cool. What he said that? Yep, this is cool. Yeah. Uh, parallel between Peter and Tony's deaths. I suppose you could you could definitely draw that they have the reverse both scenes. I guess. Would you marry Brie Larson? Hmm. Rags, would you like to answer oh, that? No. Oh God, no! She sounds like a terrible person. There you go. Like out of out of the movie, she seemed like Brie Larson seems like an awful person. You're just sexist, dude. You wouldn't that. say that if it was Thor. I'd rather marry Nebula. She'd probably yeah. kill me, but at least it wouldn't be annoying. In a Twitter and prep as well. Oh, so many things to do, guys. Up with the things. Uh, even if time travel makes sense, it's still bad because it's shittily explained. I mean, this is kind of my conclusion on it right now, is that, um, this, the, it, it, it's so hard to follow in the movie as well, that it's just like, ooh, we're in trouble. Um, what about the Tony Stark Axe Body Spray product placement? Actually, highly recommend it. Oh, I didn't. Oh, um, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the. That's weird. I didn't see it as product placement. I was just like, yeah, I, I, he seems like the type who would... Yeah, because you, know, you notice it on people. Mm -hmm. Like, if it was a product placement, then why would they maybe be making fun of it? Oh, yeah, Howard the Duck was in the fight. Did you guys see that? I didn't. 
He was? He had a gun and everything. Yay! <laughs> I don't remember this. Howard the Duck movie when? Was, oh, I can't he... wait for him to be in Guardians 3. Was he in the background, or...? Yeah, he's just he's easy to miss, I think. Uh, okay. I've seen screenshots where he's, uh... Howard! Uh, do you talk about how Thor's friends are still alive, even though Thanos blew up Thor's ship in Infinity War? He blew up half of their ship. The other half somehow made it to Earth. We did talk about that, though. Yeah, it's not explained. Loki's obviously... Loki's gonna get a TV show to explain what happened to him, I think. Um... Oh yeah, I love you 3000 and cheeseburgers. I liked both of those things. I'm oh god, fuck great. yeah. Yeah, the cheeseburgers. Oh my cheeseburgers god, I love you 3000. I fucking bawled like a small <laughs> child. Oh my god. I love you. Jesus <laughs> it, fucking Christ, this movie. But were you crying as hard as the guy who cried over the episode 9 trailer? Mm. No. I kept myself together. Like, I kept composed, but my face was a mess. Uh, was and like, yeah. this, this, there was a child sitting next to me. And he just, he couldn't, he doesn't understand Speaking how much of, this means uh, to me. I thought that the kids' reactions to Tony, I was quite sad with as well. She looks, she looked, she had the right face on of, like, sad face. Concerned, and it was just like, oh man. Even though we only saw those two for very brief, it was just like the idea of it all. Very, uh, very sad. Um, but yeah, I th think we've pretty much covered most of this, so I'm gonna skip on ahead to the next thing we're supposed to be doing here. Um, yeah, so there's just two Infinity War things. One I thought was amusing, the other one um, uh, is just a take from somebody that I didn't expect. So, is everybody in the watch together? Yeah. Yep. yep. Exciting. Um, Sorry, I, let, me, let me close <laughs> my Interstellar Marines tab. <laughs> <laughs> you still had that up? It was uh, it was just a, a tab on Hello? Chrome that I hadn't closed yet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> this isn't what I wanted to see. Oh my god! Is that what he looks like? Oh my god! Oh he my looks goodness. even worse without the beard. I think. Yeah. I think it might have been a compensation beard, like because oh, this, this is the duh. word. Duh. This is even, oh, oh my god, Quentin! I can't believe I'm saying this. Grow the beard back out, man. This I, is a really oh, fugly man. look for you. I oh. think he said he was going to. Ugh. Um, oh, I mean, of course he look is. At look him. at that. <laughs> oh, this is horrifying. Oh, so, I thought this was going to be a meme. And then well, no, there's well, something he, he kind of says a... that I thought was really funny. So <laughs> he hasn't seen. I, he's like got a fucking weed. Right now. He hasn't seen Captain Marvel, uh, apparently. Oh. And so this is his take on Captain Marvel from this movie. And I just thought this was amusing. It's like. Also, I don't want to be mean, and I, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. But in Captain Marvel's standalone movie, is she like. Uh, interesting or funny or <laughs> cool or uh, fun to be around. <laughs> she ain't any of that in this movie. Neither like, are you, know, I'm not trying to not Amazing. trying to be a downer, but it's just like I watched her scenes and she has this mansplainy vibe. That's the only way I can explain it. It's uh -oh. like a mansplain. She has a mansplainy vibe. I, uh, what, I what, interesting way to put it. I what agree. What the fuck is a mansplaining I vibe? I, I agree with Quentin. She does have a mansplaining vibe. What does that mean, though? What does that mean? <laughs> you know how the women who bitch Captain Marvel's whole movie was essentially, um, at least her backstory, you know, was men were putting her down and saying she couldn't do stuff and trying to keep her down and all that stuff. There was a lot of the old girl power stuff. Mansplaining is one of those things that like women say all the time like bitchy women all always say and she puts out that bitch vibe do in a way that i think is is accurate to say she puts out a mansplaining vibe do you mean like condescending or uh... yeah 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 that's what yeah mansplaining is extremely condescending i just uh, i don't know why people are using the word it isn't mansplaining just when a man explains something <laughs> like that's well, what no, it was. Man, it's the the people who use mansplaining at all. Like if somebody legitimately uses mansplaining as an actual term of a thing that happens, you know what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> hmm. nice wolf. Uh, okay, and then so the the other take is a Twitter one that I thought was amusing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this is... I'll send you all through uh, the chat, and then, obviously, people will see it. 
Yeah. The H. Palmer guy was <laughs> talking about how the plot doesn't make sense with Sean on Twitter, and he said, uh, in response to people, no, but it's actually very deep that the character motivations make no sense, was the defense of Thanos in the last movie, so I assume you can slot that one in here, whatever, it's a film for small children, I hope they enjoy it. He, uh, he got blasted for this, uh, by his fan base. I thought it was really funny, because I was like, oh man, <laughs> I thought he was on, you know, not this team. The whole, everything's, like, you, everyone can enjoy everything, but he ended up deleting this tweet. Um because I guess the people didn't take That's it very well. people don't have any consistency, and they just say smug shit to be all like, mm, I have to put other people down. And he followed up with this. I don't know if you want to read this out, Rax. Hello, I am Film Discourse Dog. I have a diploma in talking about films. Using my smart boy brain, I have discovered that it is okay to like a film, but also, also okay for people to criticize problems with it, and no one is a bad person for doing either of those things. I love you. That's our thing. I thought that was our thing, yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. How come we're villains for it? And when he says it, it's like... I... Okay. And then he follows up with uh, the next one, if you can see it. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll just read it. Well, it's... Just, here we go. I have seen many fellow scholars repeat the notion hating a popular thing doesn't make you cool. And while this is true, I find that it is more useful to either take people's criticism seriously instead of being dismissive like this or just move on with your life. Mainstream things deserve criticism. Okay. Yeah. Are, I was so confused. I was like, um, all right. I guess I agree with this. Yeah. But I thought that What's... he disagreed with this. <laughs> so it's like, all right. I think these are slimy people who don't have consistency. Yeah, confusing to say the least, but... Um... That's why he deletes tweets people don't like and then substitutes them with shit that they will. Um, and so next up is just a cavalcade of, of uh, memes for us to, to, right. to get through. These are going to be relatively amusing, I suppose. I would hope... But um, this is one, this is a guy who's trying to draw, I think, pictures, like, per stream, and he started doing them, so this is this is just one of them. I like that I have long arms. Um, <laughs> detail. Long bad. Then, Rag is with his eyes. <laughs> 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 then, Wolf, you just, I think you're just gonna eat something. I don't know why they didn't put a pizza in there, but I mean. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it, the pizza's implied. I think he already ate the pizza. I showed pizza. Fringy this, and he liked it, but I thought this was pretty cool. Froggled croak. Not today, sir. <laughs> it's good shit. I think it's... Froggled. This one's really weird. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know what to all make right. of it. It was on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Wolf. No, I will never watch The Lord of the Rings. Not as long as I have milk to be squeezed through my rhino nips. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's straight. Uh, okay. hmm. All right. I I don't know what to make of Jay's head coming out of the tusk <laughs> or the horn, rather. Fuck. Um, that's an odd one. The... <laughs> all right. This is the next one, which again is quite an interesting one for details. I see you're taking inter. What does that say? Intercultural. Inter cultural. Oh, intercultural communications. Uh, fuck. Branding, branding, brandings, and marketing, luxury, and French. Yes, sir. And you are also a follower of tonalism in the milk, <laughs> milk Islamic faith. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm assuming the first and last comments are from us as a board, and then the middle ones from him. Then you got uh, Blessed Pipeman has his donuts. You have your pizza. Jay has a copy <laughs> of Arrival. Next to him and Lord of the Rings is stacked, but I'm assuming that's for, for uh Wolf, for Wolf. and his pizza. Yeah. And then Rags has got the holy meme ball, the New Testament. Am I drunk? I think yeah, so. Yeah, that's your that's your hand. <laughs> you're you're coming from the floor grabbing another beer. I'm not an alcoholic. Uh, there have been a couple moments in previous streams. People have assumed you... it, Rags. How how could they? I am I am definitely not an alcoholic. I believe Beowin made this one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is different from uh, the usual. 
oh, you get tits and you get tits. You all get tits. Bayo, and what the fuck is it with you and tits? Er, uh, nothing. That's, that would be it. <laughs> <laughs> we all get tits. The, uh, the same guy who did the first one, I guess. <laughs> Still Longman? No. No. Rise of Skywalker. Uh, this was actually being used for like reactions on Twitter. I've seen it a couple of times. I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> then um, someone made a stage on, I guess, the new Super Smash Brothers. Let me cut EFAP. We have such uh, such such passionate fans. Our fans nice have too much time on their hands. Just a platform. <laughs> That's a lot of milk. <laughs> oh my uh, god, he's like uh you know how in Far Cry there's those traveling dudes uh that you can buy shit from. Oh yeah, I got one of these. Seems like yeah. This one's gas a masks. gas mask variant for CJ Rags and Wolf, I would assume. Now we Hooray. can all be gas masks. Gasman. Gasman. Exactly. So this is You need a gasman. You need a gas mask if you're a part of the toxic brood. I believe the artist Absolutely. is intending to make anime versions of us. That is Raggins. <laughs> Fashionably <laughs> a woman again. What does my caller say? Hmm? Art by oh, okay. Oh yeah, the uh, the credit. I think. Everyone else is a man except for me. <laughs> uh. This just in from Twitter. I thought it was funny. They said I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is an improvement, at least. Um, Fucking hell! Discord won't let me change my profile picture back. I'm stuck as Quentin. <laughs> Go away. But yeah, Wolf. They've doubled for you as well. I guess I'm next. Oh, uh, oh so we're all oh. women. We're all the women's. At least I'm attractive. That's Mine, nice. What, do you, what, what are you does that about? say? Wow, you're saying Rags is ugly? Oh, wow. Okay, I got it. Uh, Sorry, Rags, you're kind of ugly. My dog lady is fucking super hot. Yeah. So she's got shitty hair. Um. No, you, they, you're you've got shitty hair. I oh. got better hair than you. I want no, you to, oh, mine's great. I want you to see this without context. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. <laughs> Why are you being strangled by a pineapple man? So, uh, Jay put out a tweet saying he thinks that pineapple on pizza is, like, only hated for the meme, and that's not really hated that much for any particular reason. And then I said that, um... Fuck, I'll try and find my tweet. Come on, Twitter, work with me. How do I have to, I don't know, just scroll? Oh, yeah, there you go. I said I was attacked by a pineapple in 03. He told me he needed help moving a piano, and he sim I simply believed him. I never will. <laughs> so <laughs> they drew that, I guess. <laughs> um, we got we got a good old normal fucking meme here. This is rare. We get like a movie poster, but you know, makes sense. I like that the, the the fucking. I don't know if they did it on purpose, but the names being out of order is like. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how the original poster actually goes. So. I hate when they do that. Fucking Bilbo. Oh yeah, this was the, uh, I guess this would have tied with the super chat, but you already knew, but hey. Yeah. The good detail. I gotcha. Um, oh. <laughs> I love that he fucking censored the tits with Mahler. <laughs> <laughs> this one's awesome. Mahler's everywhere. Oh yeah, I love this one. In my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> love that, like, Jay is the manager of EFAP. <laughs> <laughs> I love this so much. Um, this is so good. Yeah, like, everyone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all um, so good. <laughs> This is just. Oh, I think Rags will like this one as well. Yeah, this one's great. No one's ever really. Oh, good <laughs> fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Uh. <laughs> and then this is just a neat drawing. You know why not throw it into the rotation? I like it. It's cool. Yeah. Who knows where that one will go? 
Um, this one, see, I've forgotten the context behind them because I just want to make sure I collect and show them. Um, but holy shit, you know, it's like, oh wow. <laughs> What's going it's on? Like, he's autistic. It's like he's my gardener and I'm looking at him through the window. Mm hmm. He's taking a, taking a deserved break, a refreshment. Good God. This is intimidating. Mm hmm. <laughs> um, that this one, I actually looked at this for a while because I was trying to figure it out. It is, uh, Wolf's Pizza Drone. And the <laughs> schematic for I got a it. fucking pizza drone now. <laughs> it's like schematics. So you have the box, and then in the next stage, is that like, is the box opening up, or is the pizza taken out of the box and put into something? I'm trying to figure it out exactly. I think that no, the pizza know. lifts up from the top, and the bottom of the box separates from the top of the box. Uh huh. It yeah. forms a table. Oh my god. And then it like the has, final a, it has a crown a as well. Someone make this for me, please. I think then it's I won't possible. have to go buy my pizza. Or, it has no milk to. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> fucking lord. It's the crying dude from the, <laughs> the video. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does he got that big fucking weird blotch on his face still. I <laughs> think so, yeah. Tears. Yeah, he does. See the little thing on his... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we... he does. Now we just gotta imagine that his wife's getting railed behind him. As as is law. Oh, shit. This one's really good. I forgot about this one. So it's like uh, a representation. So I was on CJ and, and oh, the Great British Podcast, and we joked about how once we get oh, the fuck. crossover, we'll have Britain versus America. Being that I would join their team. <laughs> God so. save the queen. Extra chromosome fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like the spiders foretold. Oh, you are. You're even in there. Yeah. You rag. And look, what he's trying to chocolate? tempt you to eat him, and he's putting chocolate on it. He's trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> and yeah, you gotta love the ER caveat. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what they're implying with the. Uh... Fuck, I guess you just don't like CJ. That makes... America. Fuck yeah. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> Someone drew this. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know the context. It's just funny. It's great. Bless um, him, Yeah, and so this is the other, uh, 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 another artist interested in doing an anime vision, I guess. Jesus got, Christ. Um, god damn, I look good. Rags me fringy. Um, trying to picture who is that, is that Jay in the bottom right? I think so. The... Yeah, but what's different? <laughs> <laughs> um, we got so who are the ones up top? I'm not, I entirely guess, top sure. right is Wolf. I guess, top right is I Wolf. Think, mm -hmm. I think top middle is CJ. Oh, Pizza Man. I'm oh, going to hug yeah. Pizza Man. Would and Pipeman top be top left? left then? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Might be Pipeman. Maybe. Is the the way she's dressed? The white hair. Yeah. Maybe. I think it's Pipeman. Um. And then because art comes in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea because I'm pretty sure it's the paper you, you'd use in maths, right? Like that's graph paper. Yeah. yeah it's so, graph paper. Uh. They drew that in class and took a picture of it, and they sent it. I can't remember if Rags saw this or not yet, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep trying to defend that Epic Games story, guys. <laughs> 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 oh, Steve has Medea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh. can I zoom in? Steve has Cloud saved his files. The Steam has Medea, just like Medea at the end. Tis a quality list. I have seen it, and I really like it. Yeah, that's I awesome. Like that. So, this <laughs> happened. I'm assuming all three of you are aware of it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, He pissed <laughs> off so many fans of the sequel trilogy. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, fuck what sequel trilogy fans think. <laughs> what Holy should moly. have been, oh my god. Um... 
What a take. I, honestly, though, if I was, like, in Mark's house when he did it, I'd be like, dude, you realize what you're doing when you put that up, right? Like, I know how he feels about all this shit, but holy moly, Mark like... Mark is just screaming inside, and he just had to do this. <laughs> so many people, like, uh, got pissed at him. I'm pretty sure he put out, like, a partial like... apology, or at least, like, a recognition that didn't mean... I'm sorry, my idea is better. <laughs> I saw, uh, I think it was, like, the top comment. I don't know if it still is the top comment. Um... Where it was like, you know, this is just gaslighting for the alt right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the the black man driving the ship is. That's where the we're at, guys. For the alt right. That's where we're at. But this is this is this is directly connected to the alt right. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, that's something. Mark that, is um, one of us. I've oh, come... actually, um, before before we forget, we have to ask ER. That's what Star I was about Wars to question. say. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, ER, who do you think, because I know you're incredibly invested in Star Wars and that you cannot wait to oh, see episode yeah. 9, who do you think is the character that will be the most inconsistent with everything that's come before um, in episode 9? Uh, but apart from Lando and Kylo, because we feel like those two are too obvious as choices. Uh, hmm. Can I not go with Palpatine? Oh, you can definitely go with Palpatine. We were unaware that was a choice, but now it is, so... Well, there you go. Since yeah. I have no idea where they're going with that. You could say, say Palpatine, you could say General Grievous, Count Dooku... Oh, wait, are we supposed Fuck to disqualify... Yeah. Should we disqualify no Palpatine? Really gone. No, go for it, if but that's we, what you want to say. But the, we, we disqualified Lando because we didn't factor him in, if you know what I mean. So technically, because, to be honest with you guys, I probably would have voted Palpy if I... Hmm. What do you reckon? <laughs> I, I would have chose Palpatine if I knew. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Okay, so apart from Kylo, Lando, and Palpy. Mm. Uh, well, who does that really even leave? So... You get Finn, Poe, Hux, Ray, Luke, BB-8, R2-D2, Leia, <laughs> D-3PO. Uh, well, okay, then Luke. Because yeah. I have no idea what they would do with him. From this point forward. You're in good company. You've got Weekend Warrior and Metal and Ren Reviews voted for Luke. There you go. All right. The, who's going to, who, what's how that's going to turn? Um, but yeah, I thought this was <clears throat> just overall hilarious and that everyone went nuts over it. And he actually, I believe he apologized. He put out something to sort of, uh, rectify it quote unquote get mark oh, no, hamill no. on efap i mean i'd be on board if he... we can finally get him to tell us the truth about the last jedi go so back to the um i i'm hoping you guys have seen this video but it doesn't matter we're totally gonna watch it go back and watch together this is this is star wars related um this is oh, a, this is a thing that happened and i know that the second no? i set it up you guys are gonna be like oh I, you might know what it is so the guy who voices Akbar now. Um, oh, I've seen this. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking during the Star Wars celebration, and he may have said some stuff that uh, was not appreciated. Oh, I think he showed the. There we go. Um. So here it is. Akbar now. I've been Akbar for about six years, and uh, so I said, "The forest mode of Endor, woman. It's a trap." I'm probably gonna have to pause it every once in a while as well. But yeah, yeah. You know, all power to the forward shield. <laughs> and I was. <laughs> I like the idea that someone else is just like, yeah, they fucked you over, didn't they? But it was, <laughs> carry on. I was not really thrilled about how they blew him out the side of the ship. I'm like, I'm like, I, who's this Holdo woman? Nobody. <laughs> 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 Knows this. She, there's no, no one's invested in that. Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Akbar. <laughs> oh, I know, man. I know exactly what that feel. When it's just like, oh god, shut him up. <laughs> He's going off script. <laughs> I, I think he the... does shut him up. Yeah, he definitely does. If anyone's right, gonna right. save the fleet, it'd be oh, no. oh, all right. Let's, let's so <laughs> <laughs> let's not talk shit about <laughs> look, look at his fucking face right there. He oh, looks yeah. like he's like, how do I go from this? He's like, I shouldn't have let this happen. <laughs> uh, Akbar knows what's up. Let's, let's just real quick, let's talk about Clone Wars. I like that people, <laughs> let's talk about Clone Wars. I, I, I love that people were fucking clapping too. 
Hell yeah. Hmm. Yeah, people. Yeah, let's stop talking about your character. Let's <laughs> talk about something completely unrelated. Um. Oh yeah, I just thought that was glorious. I guess. Um, We're the legend. You don't give a fuck. Since you're here, do you want to? What's your take on anything in relation to episode nine? ER? I'm assuming you're not looking forward to it. Uh, well, I mean, I'm looking forward to it in the sense that it'll be the last one that I'm gonna have to watch. Mm -hmm. Are you like us? Where we're like, I'm like curious. Yeah. I just yeah. want to see the dumpster fire. Well, there's a yeah. part of me that's legitimately interested in what exactly he's going to do. Akbar. No, uh, Palpatine. Palpatine's back. Yeah. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I can't wait for Ray to fucking kill Palpatine. Yay. She was the chosen one all along. If the, see, this is the thing. You jump to that. It's like that's not gonna happen. That I'm like, oh, it they've might done happen. just as bad. So, like, <laughs> they go as far as her being like, Anakin wasn't powerful enough to defeat you, but I am. Oh, <laughs> no. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they better call him Sheev at least once in the movie. Creamy Sheev, I think, is the way to go. Someone better like scream Sheev at the top of their lungs Sheev! as he dies. Shave Palhaplatine. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I you know it'll be fun to see how much of a disaster it is. But you're hoping to just fuck off after that. I'm assuming you don't want to watch any other Star Wars. Yes. Um, what I'm if the some... same way after Episode Nine? It's like fuck Star Wars. I don't want anything more to do with it. What if they Pretty like much. had Episode Ten? And they were like the the original cast is coming back. <laughs> No, no, they, they've already fucked it up enough. Like, Han and Luke will be re- It's like, oh my god, what? <laughs> you have Carrie Fisher on, like, strings. <laughs> they, they literally uh. dig out her corpse. Yeah, they prop her up. They just they just put cocaine into her corpse. <laughs> the animator. I don't blame you, though. Like, Star Wars is a disaster. But I have oh. to see how it ends. I'm so... It's such an interesting uh, comparison to Endgame, because it's like... Oh, I have to see how it ends, versus I have to see how it ends. Yeah. Fucking good stuff. Um, well, it's like Endgame left me all, almost, I mean, really satisfied, because they could have, oh god, they could have fucked it up so much, but well, Star Wars? Kind of did. Star Wars is like, well, I mean, can you make this good at all? Um, Endgame, it's the like, answer is no. It. But this one is, can you make it good? <laughs> We could just have a scene where Palpatine kills all of the sequel trilogy characters, and that would make me a little happier. Um, yeah, I'd be on board if if Palpatine kills somebody. That that would make me much more. Um, oh, you are my apprentice. No, Ray. Ray needs to die. Let Ooh. everyone else survive except for Ray. They're not going to give us Kill that, dude. They're not going to give us that. I know they're not, but it's it's something I can dream of. So this is something that um. Uh, you guys know Filthy Frank at all? I love him. <laughs> yeah. So, someone made an edit where, like, he's doing characters, and they've put labels on them to represent the people from EFAP, I guess, so, um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, see what God. you think? Oh. Oh. Would you like more teas and biscuits with that? Hold on to your knickers! There was nothing like tea and a good book! <laughs> 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 I don't even get it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, a fucking retard. I don't the magic to cap it. <laughs> you know? Won't sing Matilda. Won't sing Matilda. You know, I might have just fucked the kangaroo. Still free. <laughs> Apple pie. Wrestling. Hello, governor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that Sargon's just not even there. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm got some singles in my area. <laughs> this one, this one equals six. What kind of music are you listening to? Have you ever heard of a band called? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pray tonight. <laughs> <laughs> one plus one equals six. One plus one equals six. <laughs> Look at these ten crazy tattoos. You won't believe number six. <laughs>
Mas era só. <risos> <laughs> At least he didn't say math. <laughs> wait, wait, what did the chat say? Um, hey, you don't remind it a bit. Hey, boss. Hey, bitch, you want to get a load of this topic? <laughs> <laughs> Insane. I love it. Amazing. Um, so then we move on to uh, oh, th there's a stream good. where uh, good. a certain story of Goliath was. <laughs> created. I'm gonna release a video for EFAP so that the fads of EFAP can get caught up, but if you missed this stream, this won't make much sense, but we're gonna like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cosmic chicken. Yeah, this is, um... Is it Harry this Potter? This was on Jay's channel. Yeah, this is the third Harry one, Potter. I think? I think so. The shittiest one? They're all shitty. I think a lot of people love that movie. You're gonna... Well, careful, you'll piss everyone off. No, try, take it travel, off though. That's fine. <laughs> I think Rags is gonna piss more people off than I did. That's Look, probably I'm sorry true. That, I'm sorry that these movies are bad. <gasps> make them. That's fair enough. I'm just observing. 500 XP bounty on Cynic's name. <laughs> 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 that was a fun stream. It was. Yeah. This is, uh, by the way, this is made, this is made by Bayo and, and someone else, I believe. There's two people... But together, I'm not 100% sure on it. Northern There's a few Bay of them. Goliath has moved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on Goliath. Eyes on Goliath. <laughs> Eyes on Goliath. Goliath. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <the family. laughs> <laughs> what a strange coincidence that the exact moment I try to defend myself, it all goes wrong. Artificial barriers and blockage. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I can't believe you said artificial barriers and blockage. <laughs> Oh, total! Yeah. I love you. For reference, oh uh, ER Total is doing a film, a game review, and there's a wall, <laughs> and he says there's many ba artificial barriers of blockage. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Total what is just—he's on another plane of intelligence than the rest oh, of us. Clearly. One day, I only hope to be half as wise as Total. <laughs> Total, please come on the show. We would love it. Everyone would love it. Tonald has forgotten more than any of us could ever remember. <laughs> uh, so this is this is it speaks for itself. Um, you're gonna be able to see a lot of Bayo in art at once. Er, good luck oh, with your eyes on this. Right. I mean, this may sound so you a little. Just have him sitting in a room going. <laughs> no, he's he's reacting to EFAP memes is what he's doing. And you oh God, EFAP someone. Memes. Speaking someone of which, Er, have you seen this video of this dude? Crying? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen. And you hate it because you can't capture that same oh, wonder God. that that poor man does, and you shouldn't. Don't criticize the poor man. He's all out of jealousy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Like, someone, <laughs> someone, make that video. <laughs> make that video. It's just a just a Bioin art <laughs> compilation. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, I guess this is the guy who does the videos. I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Medetheus, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. 
thou hast the right to like the last Jedi. I, uh, that's probably one of my favorites for just like, hey, yeah, can you guess the context for a John Adams spider <laughs> writing in the Bill of Rights or whatever with the with the Palantir for the hate monger of the toxic? It's 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 an art. It's an art. I, I, yeah, I can't even begin. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I think that was the first bit of Beowin art we ever yeah. saw. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was fucking praying in that picture. <laughs> Pirate tool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Emperor Tonald? It's possible. Unreasonable. <laughs> Emperor Tonald. Oh my god. Can you... Oh my god. <laughs> Beowen, you might need to make an Emperor Tonald now. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, 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 how do they make this more and more epic? <laughs> how do they make this more and more epic every time? I mean, good. <laughs> there you go. It's an actual real representative. I'm oh. sure the chat are happy. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck is it with you and Tits? Well, <laughs> that is a question, but I'm really afraid to know the answer, but I feel like I have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Oh, this one is is called orphans. I can't even remember what this one. I mean, this is so <laughs> god. Uh. Oh, I feel bad for any orphans that might be watching this. I don't. I don't know. Know. Dude, I'm, I've checked out demographics on YouTube. EFAB is like majority orphan content. Oh, god. oh that's great. Does, to does be the, fair, they're getting the a lot of representation. Of artists sending us things. Yeah, orphans must be one of the most best represented minorities in the media. Yeah, easily. Do you think? Mostly, yeah, mostly. Do you think Beowin's an orphan? Yes. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> is. <laughs> yes, everyone. <laughs> It's okay, Beowin, we'll adopt you. We can't love you, but we yes. will adopt you. I think that actually might be the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this song copyrighted, by the way? The Because I hear it everywhere. Um, I don't know. Let's hope not, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, again from Beowin. Should you choose EFAP? Now, this is the one that. Oh God! Is this the one with the fucking school? Certainly requested this one. I chose EFAP because they had a wide variety of classes that I found interesting. And also, <laughs> my was the art at EFAP is very unique. It's something that you really <laughs> that is true. And I think that's the special part. <laughs> Thing that you wouldn't be able to feel anywhere else, and I think it's a way to cool express myself. <laughs> I enjoyed this experience 100%. It's more than I could have expected, and the people here at EFAP are so welcoming and extremely helpful, and I would recommend it to every single person that wanted to come here. There you go, this is an ad for EFAP, it's perfect. Oh wait, did I have a cover on that whole time? No, I didn't. We're good. But yeah, um... These are all Quality nice and quick. Stuff. These are good. This is Mauler's Bizarre Adventure, Torture of a Massive, from Blevich. <laughs> Torture of a Massive? <laughs> I believe it's anime. Ah. Uh, so ER, what anime is this? Jojo. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I have no yeah, idea. Of course. Um, Apparently I'm a trap in several animes. I, I don't know if you can translate, because I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I cannot. I have not watched this far. Oh. 
Spoilers. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't seen JoJo. I haven't seen a lot of animes. I'm pretty much on Rags' level. I've seen like six, seven, something like that. I saw all the good ones they made ten years ago, and nothing since. Is it gonna be the lore now that I'm a trap? Um... <laughs> <it'd probably> be... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know if I want to understand what's happening. You seem to be targeting Joseph Anderson. Apparently Joseph Anderson's on DMT. The funny thing is, it's like this actually would have taken time to actually edit, so... <laughs> <laughs> the snacks the fellowship of the street we'll be pausing through this one a bunch as well i imagine oh boy oh god i think i know what this is going to be now is this good is it balrog is goliath that's my assumption <laughs> it's gotta be <laughs> 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 Hey, I'm Aragorn. <laughs> I figured they'd make you Aragorn. <laughs> I'm the best one. Go, oh, that's Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good stream. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for the super cut. This foe is beyond any of Run! <laughs> Shut up, dog. <laughs> respect Goliath. Yes, no, no, that's respect Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to be Gandalf. That's cool with me. Oh, that's got so good. That stream so was so good with Goliath <laughs> in the alleyway and the dogs barking. <laughs> I like, we were all inside of our cozy first world home, out there in an alleyway, surrounded by dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's he's fighting for his life. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a weird one. Uh, we haven't done this in a while. I mean, the last one I think was Robot Head, but um, there's a video I found that I really like. And I'm pretty much just going to play the whole thing. It's only four minutes, but I'm pretty sure all of us are going to like this, especially chat. Uh with how things are going. Channel called JREG. I'll do um channel link in the chat once we've watched the video. This video is called <clears throat> uh This is a video essay. Um Woohoo. So yeah, uh enjoy. This is a video essay. It has all the intellectual satisfaction as an actual academic essay, but without any of that tough thinking stuff you normally need to do when parsing a difficult argument. And this is where I make my opening point. <laughs> Reminds me of Leafy. I separate my points with title yeah. cards that last about three seconds longer than they should. But Although I think that was uh, much, but... the content cop intro song. Yeah, that's content cop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it probably reminds me of Leafy because, yeah, that makes sense actually. <laughs> Cause yeah, because he, he did one it. on Leafy. 
excerpt of the song whose artist I didn't ask permission to use while the title card was on the screen. Never mind that you already lost interest in what I was saying. Ask What's this essay about? Song Who cares? Is. I'm speaking to you informally. Doesn't this feel intimate? Doesn't this feel personal? Doesn't this trick your brain into thinking you finally have a friend? Because you do have a friend now. I'm that cool, wise, funny friend you've always wanted in your life, but never found because you spent all your time watching video essays. Look at this editing. Fluid. Precise. Oh wait, this is just footage of a nerdwriter video, but you don't care, <laughs> and neither does YouTube. Here's some stock footage. I got it from looking up stock footage on Google. Look, here's some people walking around. Here's a bird. A giraffe. Who shot this? Who cares? Some of the footage is licensed and requires credit, but the only copyright YouTube cares about is songs and full videos, so you can steal as many of these smaller videos as you want and give no credit to them whatsoever. Who cares about how ethical the media you consume is? It makes the entertainment neurons fire in your brain. I could have stolen this footage off a man whose entire life was spent culminating into this one beautiful shot, and all he ever wanted was a credit link to his Instagram page in the description of this YouTube video, and I won't give it to him. Why? Because I'm a sadistic YouTuber who only cares about that sweet, sweet you count. Like and subscribe, bitches! I feel like that's probably copyright. Right. You'll notice my second point isn't really that different from my first point if you think hard enough about it, but I'm not concerned with that because first of all, you won't think hard enough, and second, because these overly long title cards will make you assume I'm arguing entirely different points between these sections, when in reality, I just didn't organize my thoughts very well at all, and then put these title cards up to make you think that I had. Here's some data. In an academic essay, I would be citing my sources here so you could fact check what I'm saying, but I think I'll just leave it up to you to decide whether I'm lying or not. But if anyone calls me out on this, I think I'll just... <laughs> say I was misremembering the data? What, what are people gonna do? Give me a failing grade? The worst I'll get is a comment on the video saying that I was lying, and who's gonna see that? 15 people? Most people don't consume content intellectually. We don't have time to fact check everything that's said, so we end up believing a bunch of garbage. We prize entertainment over information because that's what we've come to expect from the things we consume. No wonder when we get into arguments, we end up using a bunch of faulty information we half remember from some video we were barely paying attention to five months ago. I need a girl <laughs> My thread <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> I made a typo in that slide. I don't care. You don't care. Here's some shots of that anime you like. Oh yeah! I know you like these visuals. I didn't do any work for them, and I'm not even directly commenting on them, but they just thematically go with what I'm saying, you know? But now it's time for the bridge of this video essay, where I address straw man counter arguments only an idiot would say, and then expertly rebuke them, <laughs> even though I brought those points up myself, proving that I'm an all-knowing, all-powerful intellectual force. One might ask, are video essays really the worst thing ever created in the history of mankind? No, they can actually help to illustrate complex points visually and can make topics appeal to those <coughs> that would normally be inaccessible through a regular essay. I don't read academic essays, but I regularly consume video essays. They are really only as lazy as the people making them. But watching a video essay doesn't make you smart. Most are poorly researched. Most win you over with visuals over actual facts. And the sounds and visuals are often stolen without credit. A lot aren't even that well edited and way too many focus on the analysis of the same dang things. Now I've reached my conclusion. You don't fully understand how I got to this conclusion, but your brain is telling you that you understand my argument? You might even repeat this argument to others, confident you know what the fuck you're talking about. You will think that you're somewhere even close to grasping the full complexity of whatever I just dumbed down into this five minute video. You're wrong, but you don't care. You just feel like you're right. And that's what's important. Because at the end of the day, this isn't a textbook. This isn't an academic paper. This is a neatly packaged idea to make you feel smart. This is a video essay. <laughs> I think it pretty much sums it up. Oh, yeah, yeah man. <clears throat> this guy, get this guy on EFAP. <laughs> <laughs> he probably hates them as much as we do, but who knows if he actually thinks that some of the stuff that we do isn't very good. You know, that could be a thing. You never know. Um, oh, yeah. Just wait until he does one on us. We're all video essayists, right? Are we? I don't know. Count as video essay. Guys, help. I don't think so. The essay's implied. <gasps> um, oh, the essay's implied. Yeah, so this is a link I'm going to put in, this, in, the, in the chat. Go check out his channel if you thought that was uh, interesting and eye-opening as toward a, a video essay. Say hi from EFAP on his video as well if you want, so that he doesn't feel like we're, uh, um, you know, bullying or something. Because, you know, things just, you know, things. Oh, I like that. Yeah, bully man um, bad. It.
Now, um, I figured since you know, we're, we're pretty much, there's only one last thing that I was really thinking of showing to, uh, to, to people here today. Um, it's an, it's an age-old question, I think, that we've all considered. I know that, um, I know that, that yeah, I just, I'm just going to come out with it. I, I, Cora is better than Aang, wouldn't you guys agree? <laughs> and so I wanted to prove you guys that that's true with uh with a video essay. <laughs> God, it is a real video. Oh man. <laughs> I half thought you were kidding. Why Korra is better is a better avatar than Aang, the legend of Korra. All right. I'm excited. Oh boy. Woohoo. More often than not, if you ask someone which is better, Avatar The Last Airbender or The Legend of Korra, they'll immediately say The Last Airbender. Or they'll just slap you yes. in the face for even asking such a question. How yes. dare you even ask me that? I mean, what's the comparison, right? The Last Airbender beautifully handles multiple themes from acceptance and forgiveness to rage and vengeance. Well, I'm here to tell you that The Legend of Korra is no pushover. I might even go as far as to say mm. that Korra is a better Avatar than Aang. You might. Okay, well, you've gone a little too far then, haven't you? <laughs> Hold on, I can already see you smashing the dislike button. Just give me yeah. a minute to explain. Yeah, ER, yeah, give a minute. <laughs> Jesus, okay, God. Okay. Explain. All right. Or a few minutes, depending on how long the video is. Personality appeal is completely subjective. Chances are you grew up on The Last Airbender, and it helped you understand complicated sure. concepts through Aang's eyes, so you feel comfortable with his behavior. Therefore, I can see why anyone would hate Korra. She's blunt, aggressive, and headstrong. The complete antithesis of Aang. But there's something yeah, you should... What do you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think about that? <laughs> I think he's being a little generous, but, you know, I'm going to give him a chance. Mm -hmm. Just a slight chance. Had a beer. Understand. <laughs> She's written that way on purpose. It would be redundant to make a secret. I just accidentally <laughs> write her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's written that way on purpose. <laughs> Oh, I didn't man. just accidentally write a character. <laughs> He's like, whoops, turns out our character's headstrong. I guess that's how it's going to be. No, he just accidentally wrote her that way. Yeah, no, that makes, <laughs> totally makes what sense. What were these words I was writing? That shares all the elements of their predecessor. Korra has mastery of multiple elements at a young age. Aang has to learn each element. She shouldn't. No, it makes sense because it, she was written to be that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Over a period of time. Korra has no aptitude for spirituality. From birth, Aang is raised as a monk, and meditation is embedded into his core being. Korra is one of many girls from the Water Tribe. Aang is a young boy, and the last living airbender. The creators even went as far as altering the attention given to their relationship with their respective animal companion, Appa and Naga. Appa is seen as a staple in Team Avatar, both physically and yeah. mentally. Each member has a set purpose. The three benders deter any enemy combatants. Sokka is the tactician and Appa is their mode of transportation and support. The Fire Nation has an ever-expanded grip on the world we're introduced to, branching from private islands to public transportation. Uh, for the entirety of- <laughs> you okay? This is such surface level shit. Uh, yeah. He's like, just there's totally nothing substantive. Uh, okay. Not a thing, I mean, what? Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. It's like the characters okay. are different. Okay. Yeah. I'm, right. I'm waiting for what he brings in Korra, if he's gonna like. It makes sense because this is this and this. And, and I haven't seen either of these, so this is like... Yeah, me and, me and Rags I'm, are judging this from an yeah, outsider's perspective. Yeah, I'm just absorbing it. Yeah. Constantly. Appa provides this. There uh -huh. are various instances where Team Avatar is outnumbered and overpowered, so they need to escape. Aang wants to run from Zuko? Hop on Appa. Aang wants to run from Azula? Hop on Appa. This is why the absence <laughs> of Appa not only cripples the team mentally, but physically. What? Instead of riding him for an effortless trip to Ba Sing Se, they have to take hazardous and unreliable detours. Korra, on the other hand, is a no medium. Uh, yeah, right? I guess. I mean, yeah, that makes sense that they would do that. Danger. <laughs> so here being the only one of her enemies that tried to detain her. With that being said, there's no need for Naga's presence to be as essential as Appa's. Not to mention the yeah. massive technological. This is a strange. Why is he focusing on their um, their um? I don't know if they both animal companion. Animal yeah. companion. Yeah, it seems. Like, focusing right. on them, but okay. Animal companion. Yeah, it's a little, little strange. I guess he's just starting out with them. Mm -hmm. Well, Korra it's doesn't have Momo, so she's objectively worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. In the passing years, if Korra were in dire need of transportation, she could steal a car or airship and flee the area. This difference may seem inconsequential, but it has far-reaching ripple effects in the story. 
on an emotional it's true. level. true. Just how you think. People are attached. Being some of the last remnants of the air nomad civilization, they comfort each other. For Aang especially, Appa's presence is a necessity. Since multiple air temples were attacked and destroyed, Aang treasures the few mementos he has of his people. This is presented no clearer than when he is arguing why Korra's better, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Um, okay then. Like, how is- uh... I'm following his argument and concluding that <laughs> Aang is better. I'm just I'm confused. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess we'll let him so carry So far, Korra can just steal a car. Mm -hmm. Korra's better. What is that kid now, she can throw a car into a building and cause a lot of destruction. And Good on you, Korra. That is nothing. That is called <sighs> likability, Wolf. Aang treasures yeah, Wolf. the few mementos Wolf. he has of his people. This is presented no clearer than when he threatens the sandbedders that kidnapped Appa, becoming consumed with rage and entering the Avatar state. At this point in the story, Aang has no control over the Avatar state, only entering it in hostile environments or for survival purposes. Roku himself tells Aang that the Avatar state is a defense mechanism, gifted only to the Avatar. It can then be inferred that Aang cherishes Appa's existence so much that he internalizes an attack against Appa as an attack against himself. Korra's relationship with Naga doesn't have nearly okay. as much significance. All right, yeah, seriously, <laughs> he's, he's okay. done a why, why great. Why is he focusing on this part? Like, I'm very convinced that uh, Aang is better at this point. <laughs> There's some strong arguments in favor of him. Korra has multiple sources to return to for reference about her heritage. Not only are her parents still at her disposal, but the entire idea of the Southern Water Tribe. This dilutes the importance of Korra and Naga's relationship. Oh. Naga's her animal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Korra's better by diluting her. I... Okay. <laughs> All right then. Is this is this is this video gonna end with him saying? Yeah, so Korra is absolutely worse. Is this a bait? Yeah, it seems like it. I could believe it if it's a bait. Nothing more. If she wants to revisit her water tribe roots, she can simply go home. The misconception here is that there's a problem with their difference in sentimentality. Aang links Appa's presence oh, to that. Oh, he has some, no she has none? No, I was about to say, that could be interpreted <laughs> as a problem, I suppose. <laughs> because he has no other point of reference. While Korra can't look at Naga as anything more than an animal companion because of the existence of all her other cultural references. The writers want you to view the world from a different perspective. In MathWiz 97's video about why people hate Boruto, Oh my god, he's doing the fucking topic. video essay thing we just saw. Yeah, it's Who's pretty Boruto? funny. I don't know, but... So, the logic is... You see it as better in with Aang and, and um, the Animal Companion because... We're shown a different perspective in Korra in that there isn't really a connection. But it totally makes sense narratively why there isn't one, therefore it's... I don't... That's just an argument for why it happened, not an argument for why it's good. Yeah, I really don't get what he's going for. Like, if someone preferred to watch Avengers Endgame than a video of me eating cereal in my house for two hours, I'd be like, well, I was hungry. It must be if you were eating cereal <laughs> for two hours. I was just a slow eater, but yeah, so I'm just like, it makes sense, but it doesn't mean it's entertaining, I don't fucking know. People hate Boruto because he's not a new version of Naruto. Never considering that maybe he isn't supposed to be. Being pre Is that why to they the hate him? Oh shit, is he doing the TLJ argument where he's like, you didn't get what you wanted, you wanted fan service, you wanted to see Luke well, jumping around. He's like, a, he's asserting something that is the reason for something else, and I have no idea, I don't know Naruto or Boruto. Yeah, I have no idea about Boruto. So I'm like, okay, I'll just take I assume for it, I guess. He's just drawing this like, the fucking viewers, they always want to see the same thing again, but this was a new thing. It's like, so has no because new things fuck. can't be shit. Mm hmm. Has been through, therefore he acts how a neglected child would, and being isolated from the outside world from a young age makes Korra ignorant to how much he still needs to learn as the Avatar. Many viewers see Korra's actions as baffling mm -hmm. because she has been the clean slate that Aang does. Aang was stuck in a big fucking ice cube for a hundred years. Yeah, he's even got a little I bit that. of a. I think he's got American. a little bit more of a you know isolation issue than Korra does. Yeah, a little more reason to be a gigantic cunt. <laughs> but, uh, no, that's what strong female the... characters are. They're fucking cunts. Yeah. yeah Captain right. Marvel's nailing it. Like, it's the model, okay? As the Avatar. Many viewers see Korra's actions as baffling because she hasn't given the clean slate that Aang does. Even though her achievements. Aang are doesn't have a clean slate! I'm confused as to what he means by clean uh, slate. Me too. I, I can't even. <laughs> I just can't even. For instance. To both take actions that affect the world on a global scale with tremendous outcomes. Aang stops the Hundred Year War, 
He defeats Ozai during Sojin's combat against insurmountable odds, breaking Spoiler. the Fire Nation's tyrannical hold on the world <laughs> and returning it to a relative era. If ever I watch these shows, I think I'm going to forget about all these things, so it'll be fine. ...of peace. Likewise, Korra also ushers in a new era of harmony by merging the human and the spirit world, stopping Unalak uh, and Ah, except it wasn't very harmonious, now was it? Mm, but, okay. I mean, I wouldn't sure. know. How is it not harmonious? Yeah. Well, I mean, it only just starts... It's too much to go into, but basically, yeah, too much to go into. It's not harmonious. Let's mm -hmm. just put it like that. Oh my god, I forgot about the fucking carpet spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, is that what these two are? The well, it's what the red one is. Basically, the red one is the dark spirit Batu. Oh, that's the carpet, dude? <laughs> yeah. Why does he and look like I... that instead of a carpet? Because, because the writer is the dark the avatar. Oh. It is the just goofiest thing imaginable. I just mm. anyway. <laughs> From spreading chaos and reinventing the status quo of their society. In this sense, they both achieved the avatar's core goal of maintaining peace. With that being said, while their achievements are no small feat, I do think the amount of obstacles Korra encounters opposed to Aang are vastly understated. After being freed from the iceberg, Aang is the prophesied savior the world has been waiting for, making he and his team welcome in the homes of those oppressed by the Fire Nation's tyranny. On various occasions, he's expected to intervene and solve discrepancies only on the sole notion of being the Avatar. His judgment is seen as infallible, or a force beyond one's own understanding. Being able to retain his autonomy allows Aang to avoid jumping through hurdles when wanting to get something done. That's not to say there aren't a few times where government authority ignores his perspective, but there might not be. How's it in that? Like all the pressure on the world on his shoulder is making Same. it out like this is, you know, helpful. I don't know. Kind of want to hear that in again. a way. That argument was yeah. strange. Intervene and solve discrepancies only on the sole notion of being the avatar. His judgment is seen as infallible or a force beyond one's own understanding. Mm. Being able to retain his autonomy allows Aang to avoid jumping through hurdles when wanting to get something done. He doesn't have to jump through hurdles when he wants something done because everybody sees him as infallible outside of when they do. And that's not even really true. I mean, people, like, there are plenty of characters that view him as kind of like a traitor because he's disappeared for a hundred years while this war has raged on. Mm -hmm. So... If... Does he find himself making difficult choices? Because, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess... Because I mean, does everyone do what he says, basically? Because that's kind of what's implied by what he just well, said. No, not really, no. Hmm. That's not to say there aren't a few times where government authority ignores his perspective, but they're minute compared to the vast number of times someone says this. I'm here with the Avatar, and he's the bridge between our worlds. He'll vouch for me. Uh, the, uh, the owl wasn't really on board with that, but okay. <laughs> what, are you saying he cut context to make his point better? We've never a experienced bit. that. But once they find out I'm the Avatar, I don't normally play this card, but I'm the Avatar. Conversely, Korra <laughs> is stonewalled time and time again by uncooperative institutions or unreasonable governments. She doesn't manage to get... Isn't she pretty consistently wrong, though? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's true that they put up a lot of cunts against her country, but... Mm -hmm. Ugh by on the sole merit of just being the avatar. Some may say this skepticism is warranted, a result of her young age and impulsive nature, but still, being a chosen one, so to speak, should offer some leeway. She is further restrained by a complacent general public causing unfavorable poll numbers, something that veers off from what an avatar's duty is supposed to be, maintaining peace. Korra has to converse with different personalities to find a common solution, whereas Aang simply swoops in to save the day knowing his goal is to simply tear down an oppressive government. This is how Korra you agree with that? <laughs> uh, he's being extremely generous here. He's going straight to book three, the book that people like to make his points. Is, uh, is it better than what came before, from your perspective? Uh, not from my perspective, but I think from most people's perspective, it is. So yeah, the first couple of seasons are the ones that are largely disliked. Even oh, is it, is it, it a book is a season? Is that how that works? Yeah. Well, actually, Kinda. technically, no. I mean, not not a whole lot of people know this, but it's just two seasons, each comprised of two books. So mm. the book three would be the start of season two. Oh. 
I mean, even the co-creators mess this point up all the time. They just refer to the books of seasons as well. So I don't blame people for not knowing that. Yeah, fair enough. Or learns to be more nuanced with her interactions often being with political leaders. Still, the complications concerning the Avatar's autonomy is only one of the punches Korra has to learn to roll with. As we're introduced to her in the beginning of the series, she already has no affinity for spirituality. Without the vital information her past lives possesses at her disposal, this causes some issues that should be easily rectified to quickly escalate from micro level to macro level. During her fight with Unalak, Korra's connection with the past lives is severed, sealing off any hopes of her turning to them for advice or wisdom. She yeah. not open- Does that never get fixed? It never gets fixed. It, because it never needs to be fixed. She never needs them. I was going to say, isn't it more insulting that the idea that they're lost? Like, for the audience, it doesn't matter if she can talk to them or not. It's more for the fact that their memory is dead. <laughs> yeah. She's the only connection. To, oh, yeah. It only has to make <sighs> peace with this, but the fact that the avatar that comes after her when she's gone will only be able to look to her for wisdom. Aang, however, refers oh. to his past lives persistently. Often when he's faced with a more dilemma or needs historical context, he calls on them for a reliable perspective. This resource can't be undervalued as it aids the Avatar in resolving various issues. How terrible. Without this essential- mm. This just sounds so much better. I don't- <laughs> <laughs> He's doing what a really bad say, job of arguing that Korra is better than Aang. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting pretty convinced if, from like a relatively neutral standpoint here, I was like, okay. I should be watching one show over the other here, for sure. Ability, <sighs> Korra spends the rest of her life at an unprecedented disadvantage, forced to resolve any obstacles she faces on her own, or with the help of those who are readily available. Oh, Never like Aang. Rest- yeah. I'm confused. I mean, yeah. Aang doesn't really turn to the uh, past afters all that often. He mostly did that in book three before the final battle, didn't he? Yeah. Because he was yeah, asking like a lot of different spirits for advice and they all had different perspectives on it. Yeah. So she faces on her own or with the help of those who are readily available. Nevertheless, this doesn't impede the results she produces, managing to overcome this disadvantage and settle most of her discrepancies without involving her. I like her disadvantage of losing her powers and then gaining them all again. Yeah. Cool. Really interesting. Her past lives. Their flexibility in handling these obstacles is what draws the fine line of what they're capable of. I think this is where Aang falls short and Korra excels. Aang has to stop the ever-looming threat of totalitarianism. The Fire Lord is wrong and has no redeemable qualities as far as motivation and perspective, so Aang stopping him should be evident. Korra is never presented with such a blatant right and wrong scenario. None of the goals of her adversaries are inherently bad. Uh, Do you agree with that? That's just not fucking true. Doesn't the villains are villains. The evil carpet isn't a good guy, right? <laughs> yeah, the dark avatar isn't the most clear cut example of bad guy there ever was. I just. I thought he was like evil and caught it. <laughs> that yes, was the point of it. Literally, darkness. It's just. Ugh. What is, what is evil carpet's motivation? He is the incarnation of chaos. And he wants to destroy light, I guess. 10,000 years of darkness. I like that motivation. Yeah. In depth. Uh, it's just, okay. But rather the means by which they try to achieve them. Amon strives to establish equality, but only widens the social rift between them. Um. But he doesn't really. And that's something, that's a whole other thing to get into. <laughs> Amon he's gonna, wanted equality. He's gonna the like, real guy. He's gonna rush not. through the villains of Korra and give him a really generous probably conclusion right that's probably what this is yeah and the benders and non-benders unalak wants to reinstate balance but his misguided effort to create harmony nearly creates chaos zaheer attempts to provide liberty for the world but instead forms a power vacuum in the earth kingdom and while kuvir desires order for the earth kingdom order quickly becomes perverted to fashion so yeah she's Aura, a totalitarian or superior because her villains have better motivation than ang's that's not even uh, really an argument for why she would be superior to Aang. Yeah. Uh, this, I mean, this is so basic. People like the villains of Korra so much. That's why. Uh, that's clearly why he's going. But it doesn't really explain why she's any better than Aang. I don't. Fascism. When confronting these opponents, Korra has to not only defeat them from a physical standpoint, but also from a philosophical one. 
dismantling their beliefs and finding a middle ground that can be the foundation for future progress. She acknowledges the disconnect between uh, benders and non-benders, decides no, that Unlock was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that just never happens. But okay. Well, he said it did, so he didn't have to prove it. Right about merging the human and spirit world, admits to the flaws in the current government mm. systems, and forgives Kavira on the basis that she reflects some of past impulsive traits. It would be Rags rocking that potato internet. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Rags will return. Simply defeat her enemies and disregard their idealistic goals. Cora learns from her foes to gain a more well-rounded perspective in the future. Aang's dilemma is more one-dimensional. The Fire Lord wants world domination, which can impede on global. I'm assuming Aang has to deal with more than just the Fire Lord. So. Yeah. Uh, significantly more. Yeah, I mean, he's mainly dealing with his son for the majority of the show, who has a much more complicated arc than any of the villains could even, and Korra could even hope. Sounds convenient to ignore that guy then. <laughs> to this yeah. Moment. Yeah, let's ignore Zuko. Only like one of the best characters in the show. Peace. Yeah. The Avatar's purpose is the preservation of peace. Thus, the actions Aang must take are clear. The only dispute being that he has to put aside his personal values to fulfill his duty. This shines a light on his more stubborn Which nature. Was lame, Aang but... is naive even thinking he can find a way around killing Ozai, even after his predecessors tell him otherwise. Such a clear-cut decision is juxtaposed to Korra, who has to contemplate ideologies with more moral ambiguity. What did Amon want? Equality for all. Unalak? He brought back- what? It wasn't a mon. Wait, 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 no. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's there's a twist at the end of book one where he turns out to be some waterbender who's just got something with his dad and he just went off his fucking rocker, I guess. It's serious. Yeah. And Zaheer believed in freedom. Okay, so I could be like fucking Obadiah Stane from Iron Man 1, I could be like, he believed in a support for the world to provide an arsenal for all factions, an equality of opportunity as well as to be able to capitalize upon it. And you'd be like, that's pretty generous considering everything he does in the movie. I'd be like, well, that's your opinion. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I guess. Legend of <laughs> that's a response, I guess. I guess. Wow. <laughs> Uh-huh. Korra is misunderstood because it debates these complex concepts. And so does Korra. She isn't a better avatar than Aang because she's stronger or smarter. But rather her examination of she's these things make her more... I like that he said it as if that's some point someone was making. That Aang is better because he's smarter and stronger. It's like... Well... Smarter though, for sure. <laughs> her world test. Yeah. Her trials and tribulations far surpassing his, resulting in her mindset what? reaching on <laughs> Trials and tribulations <laughs> far surpassing his. I love that we established that. <laughs> he had to stop a fucking world dominating nation that had nearly conquered everything in a hundred years. Oh, yeah. Now, I never. I guess the incarnation of chaos is a big deal. You know, I never finished Korra because it made me want to die inside. But uh, I don't remember her ever getting electrocuted and being cut off from the Avatar state for a good long while. I guess she got hit with some water whips and permanently she cut off. She got amnesia, the dude. Which oh, amnesia right. from? Yeah, amnesia. What did that happen? Uh so uh, she was out on a little boat ride after breaking up with her boyfriend, and a dark spirit attacked her and. Uh, be lost and she just washed up on a beach and she didn't have her memories anymore. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That totally. is a trial and a tribulation right there. Right Very there, yes. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's <Okay>. seriously it? <laughs> All right. That was such a uh, weird ending. All right, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. I feel like... Uh, thoroughly convinced. Yep, Cora is definitely better than Aang. I don't know what I've been thinking all these years. I don't know how I could have been so misguided for this long. <laughs> oh, really, honestly, if I had watched that on my own, I would have been like, I don't know. Seems like Ag is better. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he tried. Thing. He tried. I mean, it must be tough being a fan of Korra, right? It really must be. I don't understand how anyone does it. Gotta um, be strong. Yeah, I was thinking. Before reading Super Chats, considering your 
not often on live shows. Would you be willing to just let chat ask you some questions? Sure, why not? So do do at more, I guess. Cause I'll be able to pick them out. Or oh, I guess you could do at ER and you can pick the questions. Have you got chat up? Oh, I can. You just do that, and then if you can, you can just choose whichever ones you want. If they or uh, your oh, name. Oh man, he's gonna do bass. Mm -hmm. I had to steal Rag's soul to stay awake. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first one is is El racist. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's not in doubt. El becomes alive when he hates. Yeah, that's what I needed. Will you be a guest more often? Maybe Homecoming. Thoughts on Spider-Man Homecoming? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's not my well i mean i like the villain I, th I like the world building in it it's nice that you know there are actual repercussions for new york and they show it and it mm -hmm. affects the world I, but my big thing with it is i just kind of don't like how iron man tony stark he's at fault for basically everything in that movie and then he has the gall to kind of turn on poor little peter and be like you should have behaved better even though i ignored you well you sent the fbi kinda... in yeah but clearly that uh... i mean i understand where peter's coming from he yeah. has no idea about any of this yeah and he thinks that his yeah. home's in you know peril Hello? That's true. Oh, it's just that, um, hey Rex, it's just that, uh, he, if he had told Iron Man that, it probably would have been fine, but he told Tony that he was on, like, a, or a, a school trip or whatever. And he, yeah, but that's after being ignored. What's, how, um... How long? Oh, your video's done? Alright, so is Korra better than, um... <laughs> yeah, indisputably. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, because, like, I'm, I mean, unabashedly, I'm a pretty big fan of Homecoming. Um... Rags, what do you think? I really Homecoming? like Homecoming. I Wolf. loved it. I and thought it was Wolf, great. You, I believe, liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, yeah. A lot of I, I found a lot of people were unhappy that Iron Man was even in the film. You're more unhappy with his role in the film, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they they create a some conflict there that's so manufactured to me. What kind a little of contrived? That. So, these, what's the, what's the bad guy's name again? I forget. Vulture. Vulture. Yeah. And he is causing so many problems for Peter and the city. And Tony gets on his case for wanting to try to resolve it. It's not, it's not wanting to try to resolve it. It's that he or, tried to resolve it and then almost created even worse things. Yeah, while Tony was trying to take care of it. Yeah. But there's this, uh, it just feels so contrived there, miscommunication to me. I mean, I don't remember the movie all that well, mm -hmm. so I can't really, I um, can't really put forward my position. Yeah, it's all well. good, man. Uh, so you, you're just, you, you kind of like it, kind of not, is sort of how you feel. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and grab another question. Uh, all right, Let's I went too far. Did it, is L a better avatar than Aang? It's, well, uh, maybe original L. If light were the Fire Lord, uh, follow up on my. Oh man, I missed so many questions. Apparently. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> You'll never be able to grab them all. Oh no! I zip by three hundred bajillion. Oh my god. <laughs> You've been like the oh. most requested guest ever on this show. Yeah. Oh my Jesus Christ! Every single one is a quite. Oh. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go up. Well, uh, okay. Well, here's a super chat. Is ER aware of Alpha of Alcapax core series? Yes, I am. It's very good. Everyone should check that out. Better than mine. Um. Let's see. Is ER racist? I already <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Very clear that answer. What is your opinion on Attack on Titan? It's, I mean, 
it's good. Everyone, most people would have fun with it. I recommend it. Sounds like, like he's it. high. Yeah, that's probably how I sound all the time. He's, he's been airbending, is what you're saying? High on the clouds. Why do people wife Cora? You know, brown waifu. With muscles. Some people are into that. Not me. Because I'm a, a racist, I guess. <laughs> He's racist against muscles. Yeah, clearly. He only likes the skinnies. Are traps gay? Yes. Your appearance <laughs> is the best birthday gift for me. Oh, thank you. Uh, how do you feel about people calling you a Nazi? I mean, they see what they see. Were you surprised when Thanos said the end were an end game? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the Thanos way. Uh, what are your genuine thoughts on the Jewish question? Well, clearly, they need to be stopped. <laughs> are you planning a video on us? Uh, maybe. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we actually talked about that. Us was really yeah, bad. Yeah, <laughs> a little back and forth smaller on that one. Not a great movie. Yeah, you, say. I leave that one to you, so you can destroy it if you Well, I mean, if you're not going to, someone has to. I can, I, <laughs> if I go for that one after Black Panther, my reputation is <laughs> <That's done>. true. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Favorite JoJo? I haven't watched enough JoJo. Like, I didn't know the meme from earlier. I'm that far behind. Best avatar waifu, Katara. What is your opinion on Pewds throwing you under the bus? I don't think he did that. I mean, he said he would distance himself from the edge lordiness. I'm a bit edgy. That's fine. Is you a Nazi? Ugh. <laughs> oh. uh, if you ask ER if he disavows his anti Jewish remarks. <laughs> no. <laughs> the shoes have to be done away with. Is ER really black? Yes. Will ER marry me? Sath wishes. Depends. Uh, thoughts on Kill a Kill? Uh, you all know what Kill a Kill is? It's, I've I know seen it's an the anime. first. I've seen the first like three episodes of it. Yeah. Ah, uh, actually, there's a. Good video by the late Demolition D. He died? Well, functionally. Oh, is, <laughs> is the YouTube channel done, is it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I don't think he's ever returning, which is such a shame. Such a shame. But he did a great video on it. I basically agree with everything he says in it. Was it like means... negative or positive or in the it middle? It was probably leaning more toward negative. Hmm. That it had a, a good concept, just didn't execute it perfectly. Yeah, it was pretty goofy. Yeah. Is Ray or Captain Marvel stronger? Ooh, that's a tough one. Because, I mean, immovable force. In... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because, like, as, as much as. Marvel's powerful. Couldn't Rage use the force to like snap something in Captain Marvel's brain and kill her? Captain Marvel doesn't have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's actually a genuine question for all. Well, for all four of us, I guess. Who's actually a better character, like in terms of writing, Ray or Captain Marvel? I mean, I think, I think it's mm. Ray because at least Ray has like something as tiny as it is. I, think it, I don't know, actually. I think that Captain Marvel actually goes on a character journey. It's just completely fucked. As in, there's an actual template there, but Ray doesn't do anything, really. Like, I can't really... I'm honestly yeah, not yeah, sure who's Marvel, worse. Yeah, at least yeah. Marvel... Well, they both care about things for mysterious reasons. Mm. Um... <laughs> hmm... I'm going to defer to you guys because I haven't watched Captain Marvel. It's oh, so bad, so. Wolf. It's so, it's so bad. I know. I've heard nothing good about it, so I'm just not going to watch it. I, yeah, so I got nothing. Um, I, I think they're both awful. 
Yeah, I can't tell you. Perfectly <laughs> balanced, let's say. <laughs> Okay, any hints on what your next video is? Uh, well, it might have something to do with our brown waifu from earlier, again. Oh boy. What do you do for a living when not being an anti-gem mic? Well, I mean, that's full-time for me. <laughs> new mic when? New upload when? Uh, this is a new mic, actually. Oh, it's really? Not perfectly set up yet. New upload, you know, whenever I get to it. Uh, what are ER's favorite books? That is, that's a tough one. Um, if anyone knows what the Broken Empire trilogy is, that's pretty good. I've heard of it. I would is recommend that a Star that. Wars thing? No, that is a fantasy, kind of a grim, dark fantasy book series thing. Hmm. Uh, very edge lordy, so it appeals to me. Uh, space. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Aaron Eos's show on Netflix? That would be The Dragon Prince. I have not finished season two. I can't say I'm thrilled with it. Heard Maybe. the animation's kind of eh. Yeah, it does that reduced frame rate CG thing to make it look more, I guess, 2D traditionally animated and it doesn't look great are you fat in real life no not quite thoughts on hunter hunter there was a meme with that earlier actually it's very good everyone should watch it even though it's 148 episodes that's like the one time i'll say that you should uh is there a gem amongst your current cast? Blink three times if yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, blink, blink. Uh, let's see. MCU needs to end. I think it has. Mm, kind of. The game's ended. Uh, did you watch Steven Universe's season's finale? Ah, uh, I guess. I did. If this is the final season, I don't know if Steven Universe is still going, actually. I never got into it. Jay likes it. <laughs> he does. Well, Jay. <laughs> Very interesting taste. Is ER dead inside completely? Good to ER get sounds like he's barely awake. That's just me being dead inside. <laughs> Did you ever stream live in your own channel? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. This is proof of concept. You can actually respond to people. Fine. Uh, favorite color? Hmm. It ain't black. White. Of. Yep. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> White. What are your feelings on juice? Uh, orange is the best. Oh, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Would you recommend a mob cycle one? Yes, I would recommend it to anyone. Uh, if you you like One Punch Man, right, Muller? Mm -hmm. Same author. Very good. Possibly better, in my opinion. Oh well. Does ER mean easy rape? <laughs> <laughs> Close in concept, maybe. Uh, let's see. Thoughts on the greatest story never told? Should be told more. <laughs> Your Steven Universe video is the funniest thing. Okay, well, funniest thing I've seen in long time. Thank you. Do you speak Ebonics? Uh, I guess when I have to. Don't need to among my white men here. <laughs> <laughs> We can translate it. A favorite more to hate on? Don't understand that question. Favorite more to hate on? I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is your pick from? This one is um, from Fallout New Vegas, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. How does that work exactly? 
That's uh, oh, what the fuck is his name? Is it Mr. Ma what is his name? The the main uh, antagonist in Mr. House? Vegas. Mr. House. There you go. That's just me superimposed over it. Someone kindly made that for me. But normally that guy would be Shiro from Log Horizon. Another anime that everyone should watch. Uh, Steins Gate video when? Uh, you know, when I guess. Uh, is the success of Endgame good or bad for the movie industry? I think it's good. Um, complicated, because when you get so many people trying to copy it, and they do terrible, we just get shit tons of terrible shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. that too. Yeah, I guess it remains to be seen. Yeah. My boy, are you a true blacker? <laughs> of course. <laughs> a true blacker. Do you like JoJo? I like the first season. I need to continue watching. Did you get some coffee? You sound like you need some coffee. I could use some coffee, but I don't drink coffee. Me neither. Never yeah, liked the taste. Yeah, never All did. All four of us are non-coffers. Uh, wow. Some repeat questions here. Thoughts on Shield Hero? Uh, whew. good concept. Good beginning. But it's kind of gotten a little generic. With the, the waifu harem and all that. Do you think pineapples go on pizza? No, and it's not just a meme. It just doesn't happen. It shouldn't happen. <laughs> the correct take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Favorite dinosaur? Mmm. I mm. I guess I'll just go with Velociraptor. Clever girls, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the. Let's see. Have you read or watched Ashido no Joe and Nisekoi? I watched Nisekoi. I don't know what the other one is, actually. Nisekoi was, uh, you know, if you're into romance, go for it. Not quite my thing. It was just super chat said, why does E.R. sound so depressed? It makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> Dead inside, like I said. Mm -hmm. It makes sense, guys. We ever talk about video? I don't actually play a lot of video. So probably not. Or at least not very often. So are you saying you're a Sith? Ah. Uh, did I imply that earlier? I mean, if you have to choose between Sith or Jedi, I'm pretty sure you go with Sith, right? Yeah. I mean, if they get a that bit makes more freedom. me Nazi. Well, that's just a bonus thing they get. Have you red pilled Mauler on one two yet? On what? One Punch Man season two. Oh, uh, I've only seen episode one. I'm waiting for the rest to come out first. Don't pill me on Probably anything smart. if I haven't seen it. I guess but I can't warn you. It's a little. It's a little something. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. But have you watched Black Lagoon and is Revy a Mary Sue? She's too psychotic to be a Mary Sue. But yes, I have watched Black Lagoon. It's pretty good. Have you debated ER on Civil War yet? Technically, we have a DM. <laughs> we, we did, yeah, sort of. I... I, 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 it's we, we don't want to get into that unless you like rewatch it because I, I will never give up. It's like my, my baby. Yeah, movie. yeah. Well, I guess our positions I, were. Uh, you thought, I thought Captain America was completely right in every way. Yeah, and my take is that he's morally right, but uh, Iron Man is pragmatic and realistic. Yeah, I think I was arguing that those. Was character i think i don't remember i would have to rewatch it actually um i argued with ymas about it too 
I've, I'm, I'll take it. Oh, I, yeah. I, I will literally take every famous YouTube film critic on. Civil War is like <laughs> amazing. Rags, back me up because I can't stand on it's my, my own. It's my, it's my favorite MCU movie. It all holds <laughs> together. The character interactions are consistent. Everybody behaves in a way that makes sense. It's there's a lot of details and a lot of the fights that are really nifty to see. I think Wolf is closer to your take, ER. He's not a huge fan. You, you're like okay with it, right, Wolf? I'm like okay with it, but I, I guess part of it is I, I was just never really invested in a lot of the characters, so I walked out of it kind of just bored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's, um, I guess kind of the same there. Let's all four of us rewatch it sometime about it <laughs> yeah sure all right uh let's see do you promote pewdiepie well he, he put out a depressing video today about the ending the subscribe to pewdiepie meme oh really so i guess we can't promote him in that way yeah is it to do with the the things that have happened or is it something else yeah kind of yeah he it mainly focused around the Christchurch situation mm -hmm. that's really shitty so yeah that was that's why i sound so depressed that uh, is depressing yeah. <laughs> short <laughs> like shorter from uh, rags muller what's it like being right about civil war <laughs> you realize good. there's loads of people who hate civil war this is not a position I that's no i have no idea why i honestly do not see why people We'll have, like to, we'll have to. I'll have to cover so it someday in some way. Like find some videos that because there's a lot of videos that break it down. Somebody who wants to guess on EFAP has a video about how bad Civil War is. So we'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, okay, let's see. Are semis ever going to be a thing again? Well, I like to take my time on things. Apparently, so maybe, but. Maybe not. You never know. What are your thoughts on Woke Jax? I don't know what that means. Oh, so you know anything about Mortal Kombat 11? Oh, well, not really, but now I kind of i have seen so, the memes. I believe, from what I understand in the narrative, if you beat the ladder with a character, they get the ability to time travel, and Jax decides he wants to go back in time to end slavery. <sighs> Right, yeah. <laughs> Which is super awkward in the Mortal Kombat universe because it's like this this is an ongoing thing. It's a completely different world, but Earth exists alongside like six or seven other realms. It's the most bizarre, like it it's just okay. Alright, yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't know why he would want to make America a white ethno state. That's really strange. <laughs> Fuck it, right? Jax is black. He wants to go back to. He wants to keep everyone in separate places. Um, but I don't, maybe he's gonna do the do the Killmonger thing. Maybe he'll like attack America with the people of Africa, and and that'll and, work out well. I think he has to. What did Killmonger want to do? Kill every person in power who isn't black and their children. That was that was this glorious <laughs> villain's plan. Who everyone celebrates as being a great MCU villain. Yeah. I don't know. Because remember, everyone who is black thinks the same as all other blacks, and yep. all the non-blacks think exactly the same. They, they skirt around that in the movie. He says stuff like, people who look like us. Are you, are you saying blacks. black people? Or are you yeah, saying, like, people. what are you saying? <laughs> black so people, does he yeah, they're stop here. All the, the black African people are the yeah, sure. slave traders? All the, you will know, they don't count. Oh, okay. I don't you can't you enslave know. your own That's race, right. of course. Yeah, it's just right. surprise, uh, it's surprise uh, employment. <laughs> Without pay. Without pay for the rest of your life. Did you see Black Panther? Yeah. I saw half of it. Really bad. <laughs> I had to rewatch it in prep for an uh, Ed game. Uh, bad that I, I was just like, God, Panther's so shit. Yeah, the moment I think I quit when they killed Spiegel. Whatever is I don't know. Oh, the right, guy's yeah. name that. Um Claw, I guess his name. Yeah, I, I kinda I was half half into it for him. 
the moment they got rid of him, I was just done. Yeah, I felt kind of similar, actually. I thought he was actually interesting. Yeah. But, well... Uh, is ER... Ugh, black? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man, you're looking that. at a picture of him right now. That's what, that explains black. the red lips. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And the huge eyes. Exactly. How far do you want to take this joke, considering the purple background? <laughs> he likes well, that's just complimentary colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. grape drink. Grape juice is good, guys. Y'all's is racist. Is. Not as great as, like, fried chicken and watermelon, but, you know. Yeah. It's a good complimentary. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's, uh, people really wanted me to talk about Ashido no Joe. I've never heard of it. Ashido no Joe. Are you caught up with the manga? Attack on Titan? No, I have not read I have. It gets fucky. I bet. Um, but all are please ask ER. It's genuine thoughts on the Jewish question. I would love it if you'd ask him that. <laughs> Don't forget to ask him the orphan question as well. What's the orphan question? Oh, oh boy. Um, as a rule, people will love biological children more than adopted children. Yes or no? I yeah. I th well, I mean, this is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess my take would be absolutely no, because to make a rule, you'd need to have, you can't have that many exceptions, of which there's well, like you, thousands. Well, you can't have a exception. Well, appa yeah, apparently you're allowed an exception um, with a rule, but this one oh. is fucking... Oh, I think that's bullshit anyway, but the, 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 the idea that, say you just have a mother, she adopts a kid, she has a biological kid, and you're like, eh, she's, you know, she, that's a rule, she'll love the adopted one less. And I'm, I'm just sitting there like, you have no fucking clue. <laughs> there's, so, there's so many things that will change what, what happens, that's just, yeah. it's, it's almost I mean, irrelevant I, I data. Can, I can understand, like, it, say your house was on fire, you had to choose between your adopted kid and your biological kid. I could totally understand you choosing the biological kid first every time. Not every, well, maybe not every time, but I could totally understand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's the thing. That's what I would do if I, I was could understand the reverse. It's just the I just don't understand like why this is even an important question or why anyone gives half a fuck about it. Because it's a trap. Mm -hmm. It is a trap. Well, yeah. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over that one. To be honest with you. <laughs> I love how many questions he's answered. And that's the one that he's gonna talk. To. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, what got you invested in Steven Universe to begin with? Uh, a friend really likes it. And I basically made that Steven Universe video just to fuck with them. It was never intended to be seen by so many people. Which is why... Was that video taken down? Um, I'm not even sure about it now because so many things have happened to it. I think it's just blocked in like every country at the moment. That's so fucked up. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that's what you get for putting a Hitler propaganda video at the end of it. Apparently there's a YouTuber who's made an endgame review and says that I'm going to have a field day ripping this one apart. I'm just like, oh, we just, we just did. <laughs> yes, it's for all three history. hours. <laughs> you go watch it. Uh, let's see. Uh, ER and Co. Thoughts on the upcoming Godzilla film, The Monsterverse? I have really no opinion because I've never watched a Godzilla movie in my life. Godzilla! Uh, there's some questions here that would be too long to answer. Like, if you could write a pilot episode for Avatar's continuation, what would you do? I wouldn't do it, actually. Short and sweet, that. Let's see. Don't be sad. Trump 2020 is on the horizon. 
Sure, if you say so. I think we got some actual competition this time. Um, opinion on Aquaman, the movie? I've never, I, I haven't seen it. A, a musical. <laughs> well, if you recommend watching it, right? No, no, I don't. Not even remotely. No. Oh no. Um, well. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't like that, that movie. I mean, if you want like a good laugh, then <laughs> watch Dracula Untold. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, have you watched that one? Watch which one? Dracula Untold. Dracula Untold. No. <laughs> I showed a uh, Mauler and Rags. Uh, it's like one of my favorite bad movies. Of time. It's it's fucking wonderful. Dracula Untold. Okay. That'll give you a real good laugh. Oh, Specific I'll moment. Laugh. Laugh. Oh yeah. Uh, any anger toward mother's basement. Nah, not really. Uh, he he just seems funny to me. I kind of like him, to be honest. Uh, let's see. It's okay to be wrong, my child. About what? I don't know. Who knows? Have you... Okay, what kind, what kind of video do you like to play? But, well, lately I've been playing the Persona games. It's been taking me forever. Let's see, thoughts on FMA Brotherhood? Excellent. Everyone should watch that. Were you radically groomed by Jim? Uh, I've picked up his uh, scheduling. Oh, like never <laughs> releasing? <laughs> yeah. Can't be helped. Lost my place. Oh, he said he meant it's okay to be wrong about civil war. Mm, but am I though? <laughs> <laughs> to be but continued. Uh, we'll see. Uh, do you think Disney intentionally is killing Star Wars? In my no. I mean, at the very least, they don't think so. They're making bucket loads of money off of it. Yeah, that's true. They could probably make more. If they were doing things differently. And if you were to stealth kill it, I feel like this is probably the way you'd do it. But I think they're incompetent rather than sabotaging. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh my god, there are just so many questions. Gracious. I mean, you don't have to answer them all. You can pick whenever you're, uh, <laughs> you're satisfied. <laughs> Yeah, sorry folks, I'm going to skip over a couple of them. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, I think this guy is repeating this one. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Actually, I haven't seen it. I hear it's very good. So I will eventually get to it. Um, but, 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 have you and or the seen the late 90s HBO animated series based on Spawn? No. Have you guys? No, nope. I don't know anything about Spawn. Yeah, no idea. Um, let's see. Is it true when you go black, you never go back? <laughs> I'm pretty no. sure that's true, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I started black and you never went white. <laughs> Can't say I've ever gone to anything else. Are you Asian? No, clearly not. Uh, <laughs> which race is the largest hive mind mentality? Japanese, blacks, or Jews? Uh -huh. Happy to help. <laughs> Getting all the good <laughs> questions today. Well, I'm such a contrarian, and I'm, so they can't be. The high mind there. So there's either Japanese or Jews. Take your pick. What do you think of Goblin Slayer anime? Very good. Well, yeah, it's pretty good. Manga is very good. You should go for the manga. 
how much better is Avatar than Naruto? In my opinion, very much better. Um, whew, so many questions. Is ER gray? Clearly not. Starving black child ER. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, ER is great confirmed. You know something I don't. Do a video on Ruby? I won't, but I know someone who is doing one. And whenever he gets that done, willing to shill it out. That'd be good shit. Um, let's see. Do you want a threesome with the two doggos? I don't quite swing the furry way. God, At least it wasn't because we were dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Not bigoted like that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Who is best waifu? Mm. These are the tough questions. Let's go with, I mean, objectively, a Mary Sue has to be the best wife, right? Um, you would automatically love them, and they'd be the best at everything. So yeah, makes sense. So I guess it's a, it's again the question between Ray and Captain Marvel. I think more people dislike Captain Marvel than Ray. I would go for Ray personally. But Captain Marvel can like carry you through. Does that? Mm. Mm. He can protect you from really Thanos. Any... That's true. But I'm I'm pretty all right with the purple folk. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> uh da da da. I am pissed off that you said grape drink. Why would you be? I don't know if that's sincere. I'm well or not. within my rights. Uh, da, 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 da. I know you're excited for Simon. Final. I actually haven't finished it yet because I'm like halfway through and I'm not thrilled with it. And it's kind of ruining my. Steins Gate as a whole. Not great, in my opinion, so far. Uh, da, da, da. Don't you think that the ending of Soul Eater's anime shit? Yeah, I love the anime, though. But the ending is bullshit, yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Favorite racial slur? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More tough questions. Uh... Hmm. So cruel to make you pick one. Right? No. So many options. Um, yeah, I, c I couldn't just pick one. That's like choosing your favorite child. I don't... <laughs> Were any of them adopted? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if they're not black, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> da, 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 da. Do you know you'll have many more questions directed at you once? I guess that's true, isn't it? Wait, what was? Uh, what did they say? They said there will be more questions directed. Chats. Maybe I should start breezing through these a lot faster. I mean, there's a few yeah. super chats with them in there as well. So just let me know when you want it, because this is going to take at least two hours. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. Well. Okay. I'll. I'll go through a few. Oh, lost my place. Uh, the, the, any, any thoughts on Science Gate visual novels? Very good. If you're into visual novels, if you're not, definitely probably not going to like it. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Correct answer. Do you think we should farm rhinos? 
apparently <laughs> people have a real big thing for their milk. So I suppose so. What is best in life, ER? Hmm. Hating on Korra. What was the best Marvel movie? Iron Man 1, in my opinion. Got some Civil War fans in here, though. So. <laughs> uh, do you enjoy So Bad It's Good? You know what? Not really, for the most part. I'm trying to think of exceptions to that for me, though. Room? The room. I like the memes, but having to sit through the whole movie. A little tough for me. Um, I'll do three more questions. How's that sound? Go for it. Uh, yeah. What are FBI crime statistics? <laughs> well you'll find that on fbi.gov i believe go ahead and check them out interesting stuff um gosh why is Toph so small because she's 12 and blind <laughs> that <laughs> Does blindness uh, dictate height? Yes. Okay. I guess so. She's she blind, was... so she's fearless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she's fearless because she's blind. Truth. Uh, da -da. What do you think was at fault for the two best friends breakup? Uh, YouTube. Uh, here, I'll do one more. Try to find a really good one. Da, 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 da. Uh, not that one. <laughs> uh, oh, here's a great one. How many people died in the Holocaust? <laughs> I mean, just to round it off, I guess. Six million and never question that. So there you go. All right. Um, two more memeroos that I'm going to put on. I think Rags and Wolf will definitely. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. I like how its eyes are like <laughs> galaxy <laughs> eyes. I, I like that the, the galaxy is shaped like an egg. It is the cosmic egg, after all. From the cosmic chicken. I have an artist rendering of Goliath, I suppose. <laughs> wow. What, what, is that a fucking eye? In the, in the brick, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> sure. It's a dark place. Ah. Uh. This was said to me, and I just, I don't know. I think it's pretty funny. Um, but I don't know if it has anything to do with EFAP. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Luck. Bloop. <laughs> then obviously, a wonderful celebration. Beautiful <laughs> action picture. Gorgeous. Lovely. Which brings me to Super Chats. So, uh... You know, anyone is welcome to do whatever they want. This is going to take a very long time, and it's uh, it's going to be great. So. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna bug out. I gotta head up a good half hour north to watch Game uh, of Thrones with friends. <laughs> oh yeah, north, 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 north. Hmm? Which south. means I'm gonna have to not collect all the fucking questions for you. <laughs> yeah, you can send them to me. Oh, right. Uh, tomorrow on Blessed Southpaw's channel, I'll be streaming with him and another guy. There you Don't go. know when. Sometime in the late afternoon. Let me find a Blessed Southpaw uh, channel so I can actually Pretty link sure and chat. 
I'm pretty sure his channel is just called Blessed South Paw, isn't it? Oh, that's how Blessed I found it. South. But people people can be dumb and they like links. I, uh, did I say that? I meant people can be smart. <laughs> so yeah, I'll pop a link in chat. Well, y'all can fucking use that shit to go find the... Yeah, well, it's going to be on there tomorrow, you say, yes? Yeah, sometime in the late afternoon. Uh, South Paw didn't give me an actual time, but at some point tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, ER, it was cool having you on the show. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry oh. Wolf was here while, while I invited yeah. you on. I'm <laughs> sorry I ruined the whole thing. I tend to do that a lot. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about Game of Thrones tomorrow, okay? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'll see you guys later. Hey, see ya. Later. Bye-bye. All right, then. Oh, I guess I should put Southport's channel in, in the description now so that I'm gonna put Wolf is debate. Uh, what was he? S I guess he's talking on there. Wolf is guesting here tomorrow. There we go. People will make total sense of that. Um, I'm not even sure what, exactly what they're doing, but hey, you know, all fun. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna read these out, and we'll do our best to respond and acknowledge one of them. Holy shit! You actually got him. Yeah, I told you you were elusive. People don't believe you actually come on to, like, live. Me, elusive? I've been begging to come on. I don't been believe brushing that. brushing me off in the DMs. Don't tell people that. <laughs> You're so harsh. <laughs> I don't know why you suddenly changed your mind, but... I, I you know what? You're right. You N-words got ER. Yeah, see, people were just shocked that you even w were here to begin with. Um... <laughs> Love you guys, but I haven't seen Endgame yet. Take my money, you glorious man. I must run from the spoilers. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people who haven't seen it yet, so this will just be on Moolah. Hopefully it doesn't get hit with copyright thingies. I'd like this one to be up so people actually know what we think of it, finally. <laughs> um, all of our lords are here. God smiles this day. That is true. Screw Endgame, we got ER. You got both. <laughs> Fucking Yay. both. We'll have to watch this tomorrow, but have my money. I hope you're all okay, especially Wolf and Rago. Oh, there you go. Special mentions. They don't care about me and you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, oh wow. Oh, we know why they show up. Hello, my. I'm the, ta I'm the talent. <laughs> oh, that, that, I feel like that reference is perfect, and that people need to understand where it comes from. Hello, <laughs> mine furia. Glad to finally see you're on. Yeah. Thanos kills Dumbledore. Damn. I, didn't, I shouldn't have read that out. They've just essentially spoiled all of Harry Potter now. Is ER on EFAP the most ambitious crossover of all time? What did you all think of Thanos saying the N-word when he killed Black Panther for a second time in Endgame? Um, I thought it was controversial. But they make bold choices a lot in the MCU. I feel like it's probably the most creative movies have ever been in their entire existence. So. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta make choices that um, may not work out. Thor got I daddy. <laughs> Thor got daddy thick. On a serious note, I like that they made him funny again, like from Ragnarok, but I don't think they made him dumb. I don't like that they made him dumb for some reason. Eh, he's funny, sure, but like like I said earlier, it's like it kind of felt like we were laughing at him rather than with him. Yeah. Like, look at the funny fat idiot. It's like, uh... Hmm. I don't think Bilbo Baggins actually said this. Uh, I'm pretty sure he said every single... I believe so. Catching this on the road back home. Love you all so much. Also, Muller, I finally got around to watching your Amnesia Soma series. It's incredible. Here's to a great stream. Thank you, sir. Chicken flipper. Very kind. Uh, Drax should have bombed the girl power moment and then said something Drax-like. Oh, that would be amazing. If the camera, like, padded no. over and Drax was standing there and he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would have liked it a bit more if that happened. Uh, is everyone excited for Star Wars Episode Nine: The Emperor's New Groove? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Kronk. And for this episode of ER Fap. That's yeah, that's a good way to, to combine it, I suppose. Thanos' ship should have been shot down by a shield helicarrier commanded by Nick Fury. Changed my mind. Um I would have preferred anything than Captain Marvel running in and destroying it. I was just like, oh. Anything yeah, is basically. the less Captain rule of thumb, <laughs> the less Captain Marvel the better. Unless she's getting murdered. <laughs> like, Unless she's oh. getting murdered, in which case, the more murder, the better. 
I have a running theory that Thanos is an orphan. Since orphans can't be loved, they just want to watch the world burn. Thus, Thanos is an orphan. I think that probably makes enough sense. That's probably going to be in his prequel movie. Which is why he saved the biological kids. Mm-hmm. They think he cut 50%, but nobody actually counted. They just assumed. <laughs> guys are all awesome. Yeah, that is a little weird. What? The, but we, that doesn't... The, that he snaps half the life out of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. So would that really exactly translate to half of life? Oh, no, it could have been all of life on Earth for all we know. Yeah, but I think at the near the beginning, they say something about a census. Yeah. And it looks like it was exactly half or something like that. Oh, I didn't see a number, but yeah, it would be ridiculous if it was down to the singular person, a 50-50 split. I think they imply that it's... I don't think they confirm it, but they imply that it's half. That would be just silly. A little weird, but okay. Mm. You guys are all awesome. Love your channels. Not bad. 1300 in a few minutes. I mean, people people want to see Mr. ER, I believe. Do you know that people watch your stuff? Are you aware of this? I have a vague idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very vague. <laughs> Holy shit, ER. What's good, my dude? Uh, That's a super chat. <laughs> uh, Avatar. Everyone watch it. All right. Uh, hello, E. Fap. I loved it when Thanos got sliced and diced, but the movie overall was no Infinity War. I I feel similar. to said statement. Why didn't they go past to go to past New York City, get the Time Stone, and rewind the fried gauntlet to bring back the stones the way Thanos did with Vision's Mind Stone? There's a lot of things they could have done that would have made everything easier for them, but they didn't because they did the things that made for what people would assume would be the funnest thing to see? Question mark, I guess. Yeah. Uh, a lot of tweaks would be made if I was looking at it, I guess. Thank you for bringing ER onto EFAP. No problemo. Hello, all my with lords. I don't get it either. Hello, yep. all my N-word space chickens. Now that one, I make that makes sense. Ooh. Hulk dabs cosmic. and Thor plays Fortnite against Noob Slayer sixty nine. Yeah, see if if you said that to someone like ten years ago, you'd be like, "What?" Hulk play five years ago, probably would be smaller. Like, hmm, a lot of things happen in this movie. Are very odd. No one is ever really massive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, are any of you guys into Pikmin? I have played the first and second one fully. I've played the second one a bit. I have I never liked played it. One. It was fine. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, ER is here. I don't even have anything substantial to say, right? I just need to support this with money. <laughs> From Creamy Sheev, Tony deserved to die because he's an orphan. <laughs> oh, that's so unfair. He didn't get snapped by Thanos, so yeah, continuity wise, that's just. That doesn't even make ER, thoughts on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I think I've already answered that. First oh. season, pretty good. Liked it. Still need to watch the rest. At Mola Wolf Rags, holy mastiffs, just got home from five days of Endgame. Day five, double feature finale, and now ER Fap. What a time to be alive. You've watched Endgame and Infinity War five times in a row for five days? Wow. That's dedication. All right. I'm... Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, EFAP, we've decided to inform you that yes, you are adopted, but I wanted to tell you that this doesn't change how much Medea and I love you. Aww. Jojo is like Kono... Konosuba? Castlevania and LSD had a baby. Watch it, Wolf. I have to write that down. They want... They, they, Wolf has to watch Jojo. There we go. I'm sure you'll have a really good answer to that. It's gonna be worth it. By the way, Mola, please say... No, 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 no. That's embarrassing. I saw ER in the title and I thought I might have broken my clicker. All jokes aside, <laughs> the all female scene with Brie in focus, I thought I was going to hail. Seems like, uh, so I've got a friend who's like not, um, pretty on board with stuff like that. And even they said they felt like it was really stupid because, um, all of the the end moment is supposed to be about bringing every character together as a team, and then it suddenly just goes, "These guys are a team." And you're like, "Oh, yeah." And he felt like it kind of 
took it just it just added an interruption to what was a big celebratory like good guys versus bad guys moment and i was like wow even the people who yeah. like that stuff ain't liking that stuff um i know i know that like a lot of people do like it i'm pretty sure boogie said that he thought that the all-female scene was pretty good or something and i was just he also kept calling Falcon Hawk. It was really funny to watch. He just, I don't know where he got that from exactly. Uh, finally, a movie to beat 12 Angry Men on IMDb. I always thought 12 Angry Men is overrated. It won't beat 12 Angry Men on IMDb. I think that Endgame will end up with like a 7 on IMDb probably. Give it a like a year. I don't know. Because uh, the initial ratings are always really high because fans like to ratings but then once everybody gets to put their ratings in it tends to go lower and there's a lot of people who hate the MCU um, I wonder if Endgame will be the first one to get an Oscar though because the Oscars are going to get pressured to probably recognize it in some way shape or form and since the Oscars isn't about quality it's about fucking responding to what people demand to get an Oscar maybe but if Black Panther didn't get it I mean I mean I got three for different things right I guess that's true. They yeah. can say Black Panther got three Oscars. That's something. Oof. Um, so now that ER is here, I must ask you guys, who are your waifus and which one is the m official mascot of EFAP? Hmm. Official mascot of EFAP is probably Tonald, simultaneously a waifu. As for the previous yeah. question, that's a pretty tough one. You guys have answered? Uh, there's no way that I don't get in trouble. All right then, because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was because I'm thinking like Avatar pick like a that they're all underaged, mm. so then I get in trouble. Well, then they wouldn't be at this point, right? That's how that works. That's true. You can you can so, put as an asterisk once they are of age. So yeah, Katara in her twenties. Let's go with that. There you go. What, what, what uh, rags did you? Oh no no no! I, I'm I'm I was I was thinking about something else. <laughs> have to be these. Wait, what was the question? Uh, who's your wife? Who I guess. Um. Can I... Does it have to be a woman? No. <laughs> it could be anyone, I guess. Oh, wait. What are the rules of waifus? Can a, can a waifu be... If it's a lady... Um, hmm. I don't know. I act, I'd actually have to think about it. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't thought about it before, so I can't really come up with a good answer. Uh, this is the end game of EFAPs. Hopefully EFAP doesn't get bad progressively from here, but I can't say that won't happen to the MCU. I don't know. Hey ER, I loved your Captain Marvel Alita video. Please upload more. I will try. Notice me, Senpai. Notice me. That was from Aiden Paladin. I believe you know Aiden Paladin, Rags, do you? Yeah, I like her. Hello. You have been noticed. Hello, Aiden Paladin. There are more hey. movies Jay hasn't seen than Particles in the Universe. Bilbo, Dadass Baggins. Hashtag I was <laughs> Holy crap, you all glad to see you pop your EFAP cherry. Thank you. Long time coming. AER loved your Fallout 76 book, Wolf Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Creepy Sheev as well. Uh, Anyone else feel like they've treated Brie Larson the way Thor treats Quill at the end of Endgame? Fucking lovely. Um, a lot of people feel like Endgame shits on Brie Larson. I don't really get why. It doesn't? Uh, um, yeah. It just doesn't Does show a bunch of her? Yeah, like, she wasn't in it for much, but she's, it's not like she didn't have a huge effect. She saved Tony Stark, she destroyed Thanos' ship, and she prevented him from snapping. And he headbutted her in fear. <laughs> like these are things that are pretty significant, even if she was already in the film for like less than five minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. she puts that scream time to use. Mm hmm. Blessed Weeb is here, and all the alt right jokes and scenarios to the EFAB lore. Also, great Captain Marvel Alita video, Mister ER. Thank you. EFAB is too short. Elbow raggins. 
Loved Endgame, but I didn't understand the part where Mike Wazowski made out with Thanos. Yeah, that was weird. He's not even, you know, he's Disney, I guess, but you don't, he just doesn't feel like Mike Wazowski should be Endgame. Weird cameo. Um, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you need to do some MCU Unbridled Rage videos. I want to do Iron Man 3, but um, I'm not sure which other, which other ones I'd want to do. Because, like, everyone thinks Thor The Dark World is, like, the worst in the MCU. It's like, what do you even complain about outside of it being a relatively meh... Like, it's like, a, not, not much happens. Like, they, they discover the creepy red juice, they go to... Uh, Asgard, the Dark Elves attack it, and then they try and bait the Dark Elves that Thor has lost his hand, but he hasn't, and then he electrocutes Chris Frackleston, and then, and then they go through some weird portals and throw a stick at him and he dies. I don't know, it, the, I, I remember the film being so just self-contained and strange, but nothing that I felt like, how do you make like an entertaining video out of sort of breaking down Thor the Dark World? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Because, like, Thor's character's fine in that film. And then, who else even is there? Everyone really cares about Jane Foster, right? The uh, Natalie Portman's character, <laughs> she was a favorite. Uh, yeah. There's just a super chat that says, Endgame sucked. Yeah, I'll come out of your 1,000-year-old slumber already. I mean, you put out the, the Marvel video was relatively recent. Jeez. Love the movie, but yeah, the more I think about the ending, the more of a total dick Cap becomes in order to have his happy ending. Kinda. Cap is just like, I yeah. hope you guys don't have any more problems to deal with. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. Found it a little weird. Pulling JJ Jar Jar is funnier than Juju. Well, that's like subjective. Yeah, but everyone's already done Jar Jar, you know? Mm -hmm. Yo, Muller, I'm asking you to play Will War Z. Uh oh, that's that um, came out recently, right? It is. I uh, yeah, I believe it's an is it an epic exclusive? Oh, <laughs> in that case, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> let me check Steam just to make sure. But I think it's an epic exclusive, and if that's the case, I ain't touching it. Um, um let me look. World War Z. No. No, doesn't look like it's on here. There we go. ER we'll play no Far North Z instead. There, there is a super chat asking that you two say welcome to the cum zone in the most provocative way possible. I'm giving you the right to deny that. Then denied. What about you, Rags? You denying it? Welcome to the cum zone. And there you go, you got half. <laughs> Take my free $2 chat for having YouTube Remium. Oh, Remium? That sounds suggestive, I don't know. Yay for finally getting ER on. Too bad Pewds threw you under the bus, man. He kinda had to. Well, you did address that earlier, so it's all good. Bring yeah. on the spoilers, but were you guys bored on repeat viewings, Lon Manfrey? I haven't actually seen it more than once. Um, I'm assuming you guys haven't either. Which one? Endgame. Oh, I've only seen it the once, yeah. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the film sort of does over time for like payoffs and stuff, but I doubt the ending for Tony Stark is ever going to be like not great for me on a on a personal level. Rag is good job on Captain Marvel video. Keep it up. Thanks. I really hate that movie. <laughs> Question <laughs> for Ridges is why do I ugly cry when I poop? <laughs> why do you only cry when you poop? Ugly cry. Why do you ugly cry when you poop? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that means. You might have to ask a follow-up. Just go to the doctor at that point. Make Why sure. do you ugly cry when you poop? You shouldn't cry when you poop at all. Pooping should be a blissful and peaceful experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It shouldn't be one full, full of pain and torment. <laughs> I would suggest eating more salads and cutting back on the meat. And fiber. Fiber will get them... The, them engines running, yeah. you know? The meat will make them cleaner, but tougher to get out. Mm-hmm. Best part of Endgame is when Thanos domes Captain Marvel with a power stone. It seems like a lot of people really like that moment. <laughs> just... It's, it's, it's so, it's just... It symbolizes the patriarchy, and you, it's disgusting you guys enjoy it, honestly. 
have money for rent and time to study for finals or EFAP. Easy fucking choice. Also, ER, I know this may seem random, but what's your stance on adoption? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, can I deny this one too? Yes, you get you have you have ten thousand denials ready. Like, that's the maximum, right. though. So, the movie went from eight to ten when Thanos knocked Captain Marvel the duck out. Not only did Thanos knock her out, sorry, not only did Thanos knock her out, he outthought her. Sure. Yeah, that must be tough. I, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Holy fuck, Endgame was amazing. See, this is interesting. We're getting such a mixed bag of like... I really feel that Endgame has split a lot of people. Not in the same way that DLJ did. It's like a different sort of like... Endgame's payoffs were fine, it's just that it didn't make sense. That seems to be the negative take, you know? Mm, yeah. Uh, most heart string pulling scene? Asking to make sure it's answered. For me, Hawkeye versus Black Widow. Friends fighting each other to save each other. Oh, it was Tony's death for me. That was my... uh. I peek like, holy fuck, this is sad. Um, I think for me it was Tony talking to his dad. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm not sure though. I was balling half of half the damn movie. <laughs> what the fuck ever. What about you, Eon? Mm, trying to think. Uh, God, I don't know. I don't have as much of a emotional attachment. Was a heart string I mean, even fiddled with at any point? A heart string you fiddled with? Not that I really recall. To be totally honest. But I guess I did like Tony Stark with his dad. I mean, mm -hmm. the paternal stuff was nice. So I'll go with that. Chris Evans willingly went back to the 1950s. Keck. <laughs> Okay, Brie really wanna... pulled me out of it during both of her. It was. Yeah, during both of her ex machinas, I was prepared to leave the cinema because I feared they'd screw it up. Um, yeah, this is what I mean about she. She definitely dealt damage to the script. We don't even know how she arrived in both of those scenarios. Is definitely con considered as an ex machina, and it's not hard to explain it. But they didn't have even a line. It's just like, oh, okay, she's just there. She does. That's what she does. Yeah. Outline for EFAP novel is 3,500 words. There's going to be over a three hour long story, I think. I have no idea where you're going with that, but okay. <laughs> EFAP novel. Uh, they were in Guardians of the Galaxy ship, and Rocket probably has a tracker. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think that would make sense, but I don't think there was a line in the movie for that at all. Weird. I just joined. Does this mean we can talk spoilers without the Doge ban hammer coming down? I guess. Actually. I suppose. What would our position be a week later if we were doing a stream rags? Would people be allowed to spoil it, or would we be... A week? Yeah. Like, a, a week from now, if we're doing another stream, would it be okay to have endgame spoilers? I would still, I'm, I'd still definitely say spoilers, because for some people, you, you never know with some people, maybe it's just a matter of if they gotta work late nights, or they gotta shift at a certain time, or could they've people, had a bunch of stuff pop up. I mean, we I, we'll still in chat say be banned? Um... I would say not to spoil it in chat. They do? Oh, then they're fucking dicks. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> um, but it only takes a moment to say spoilers. Is this where ER and Wolf fight about Alita? They disagree on it? Oh, we never got to talk about that, I guess. Um, I think a Wolf hated Alita more than you, ER. Did he? That's a shame. We should have brought that up. Damn. Missed opportunity. Uh, my favorite part of the movie was when Thanos punched that sparkly space dyke into the dirt. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, she's like the sentry now. Go, girl. Captain Marvel is what feminists think they are. Doubt, doubt that uh, they think they... I didn't say, I, you know, just... Film didn't earn Tony's death. One in 14 million turned out to be BS. Final fight was a Snyder clusterfuck. Thor ruined. Cap's canonically a massive cunt. And now and no moments with Tony and Bucky. Um, I don't disagree entirely with that statement. I don't really understand what the 1 in 40 million really refers to, other than we saw the universe where it worked. I don't, other than that, you know. And yeah, it would have been cool to get... I don't think we needed a scene for Tony and Cap once Tony had died. I just wish they'd done a reconciliation scene with those two that was better than, hey man, I don't want to hate you anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, so Rags requested to be drawn as a Futa in Wolf's stream. If someone unscrupulous enough to do that, we would be the appropriate place to post that. I mean, if Rags, if you want it, want that? <laughs> well, I mean, technically, it's like my intellectual property in a weird way. It, it's just answer that with you don't want it or you do and where to send it. That's up to you. Um... I mean, is it that bad that it can't be sent? I, d I don't know. Places? They've said I don't know. Uh, where, uh, where do people I send stuff send for you? To my email. Send it to my email. One eight hundred get rags at gmail dot com. One eight zero zero G E T R A G S. There you go. Uh, haven't seen Endgame yet, but wanted to drop by and show my support anyway. Thank you, Black Hole. Was there any payoff for Thanos knowing Tony in Infinity War? No, but he knows the Avengers, so it's reasonable to assume he looked into them, I guess. Yeah. Best part was when yeah. Thanos knocked out Captain Marvel with the Power Stone. See, everyone is saying that. Everyone really likes it when the evil man beats the woman. This is disgusting. Not enough love for Black Widow jumping that cliff. TLDR of y'all's opinions for new people in stream. Oh, I guess... Uh, so for anyone who's new right now and is waiting to check out the rest of the stream eventually, we're all pretty much on the pay- well, me and Rags, subjectively speaking, really enjoyed the film, like, to high levels, but, uh, we all, we're all pretty much on the same page of it having major flaws in the writing, uh, specifically plot and then a couple bits with character, and the world is pretty much just destroyed at this point. Uh, take away Spider-Man's humility, humanity, compassion, sense of humor, hell, take away everything that makes Superman good as a character, and you have Captain Carl Manvers. Sure? Captain Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Carl. Why are you morons giving these guys money for doing a Google chat? I think that's supposed to be a, a non-self-aware comment. Do you think the movie would have been fixed if Captain Marvel didn't exist? Personally, I think the movie had bigger problems as well on top of that. Good work, everyone. Um, well, yeah, I think a lot of it was because that um, Captain Marvel just seems so unnecessary for this whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. I hate it so much. I hate Marvel. I hate <laughs> Marvel. I hate Captain Marvel. Mahler, I fucking hate Captain Marvel so much. I, I understand. And yeah, the, I just, she's not I the only so. problem with the film, by far. Yeah. Uh, the Russos are great at writing every character except Hulk. They have no idea who he is or what to do with him. I would say then they didn't exactly... You know, there's, there's a couple things for character that you could argue they kind of screwed up or didn't explore. Um, Hulk, yeah. I guess we talked about it already, so yeah. <laughs> Mostly agree. Uh, it's a good thing that all of Peter's school got Thanos or Five Year Gap would have caused a lot of problems. What if everyone got the Ant-Man experience? Uh, well, he'd be the only one because he's in that weird time vortex quantum engine thing. Yeah. Yeah. A quantum realm. ER, you're stranded and thirsty in the middle of nowhere with the EFAP cast. You're invited to partake in appreciation of their rhino milking powers. How would you satisfy your thirst? What? <laughs> How would How you would satisfy, you satisfy you thirsty being? So, wait. Oh, what's... Am I choosing rhino milk from one of you? I don't, I'm not sure. I, choose, I like that's where your mind went. Oh, I had to choose <laughs> one of you to get my milk from. Let's well, go I'm with that. I'm wondering where the question is. I mean, the question is confusing. It says, how would you satisfy you thirsty being? Well, if there's rhino milk there... Clearly. Yeah, I guess that's how it would be done. Does he drink that through your mouth? Which is where food goes? Mm -hmm. Must be. I need to use the loo. I'll be right back. I'm so happy to live in a timeline where the most hyped event for decades is actually a success. Marvel is now more treasured than Star Wars. It was more treasured than Star Wars the second TLJ was released. <laughs> it basically <laughs> killed Star Wars. Hyped for yeah. a lot of people. We said it before, but uh, TLJ killed OT fans' investment, PFA fans' investment, and prequel fans' investment. Like, all three factions were pissed off in different ways. Yeah, basically. It was really interesting that TFA fans were pissed, you know? Like, the, the, they were <laughs> like, you've ruined TFA. It's like, whoa. <laughs> like, this is interesting. Yeah, well, that's true. 
Um, am I the only one who was confused by the fact Captain Marvel could speak and breathe without respirators she had in her own movie? I... whatever, she's a god. She, nothing she can't do. It makes total sense. Sing to the Pokemon theme, Captain Marvel, I am the very best, like no one ever was. A flat ass is my real test, to virtue <laughs> signal is my cause. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, Molar, I know you love Civil War as I do, but would you say it's an objectively good movie and why? I'm just saving it for a video. I'm going to do a full long breakdown of that movie, and I'll probably... I was thinking I might have done it on Endgame and Infinity War, but now... I All think right. it'll be more satisfying to do it on Civil War because I think it's so much more cohesive than those two. Mm. Um, it's always weird to me that I was a fan of all of you guys separately for years before EFAP. Keep up the good work, my toxic n -words. Beautiful. Yay! <laughs> Howard Potts is my favorite Avenger. A little too OP, though. That would be, uh... That's Iron Man. That's what he calls himself, right? <laughs> yep, yep. The rat that saved Ant-Man was Mickey Mouse. Of course it was. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, change your profile pic to your Twitter pic. Gotta make a franchise! What Too you, much work. I was gonna say, like, are you really asking this man to switch his pictures? Like, Jesus. Can't stick around today due to spoilers, but I still gotta show support for my, the lads. Much love to Mola Rags, Wolf, ER, and of course the chat. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Hooray! Why, thank, you. thank you. My major problems. Past Thanos lack what made present Thanos great. Thor was underpowered and poorly written. Hulk was wasted. Final battle never felt unique like Helm's Deep or the Titan Bell. I don't think I agree that it doesn't feel unique, um, but I can definitely see why someone would feel it doesn't, because it's kind of like a bland battlefield where everyone's just lashed against each other, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. I didn't expect it, honestly. Yeah, neither did I. Uh, to ER, for future reference, you don't need their permission to speak. You can chime in any time. Wow. Or he Good to know. That. This is for ER, Nazi, more like Yahtzee. Uh -huh. <laughs> Honey, you're back after five years. Will I inherit from you the house, your car, and your life savings? Oh, here's my new husband. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of that going on once... Uh... Like, if a guy got dusted out of existence, and then they're considered dead, all the dusted people, and the wife, like, moves on. Oh god, can you imagine how awkward that is? Ooh. So many people's lives are fucked by this. Say what? So, like, just picture you have, like, a wife of even, like, five okay. years. You get dusted, yeah. you come back, it's five years have moved on, she's got a new husband and maybe even a kid or something. Yeah, that's, that's rough. That is horrific. <laughs> ER, what do you think of objectivity in art? Ah, uh, that is a big and broad question. Uh, I, well, I'll say subjectivity in art does, is not the end all be all. Let's go with that. Yeah, there you go. Thanos snaps, things go apeshit, mass suicides ensue, Hulk snaps, snap victims revive, find their kids have an heroed, and their husbands slash wives are remarried, mass suicide ensue. Good job, Avengers. Well, they're doing the best they can, I suppose. Versus Thanos, I was disappointed in there being no redemption at all for Star-Lord, Hulk, and none really for Thanos, uh, Thor, outside, aside from early execution. There's a lot so there's a lot of things they could have done, there's a lot of things they had to do. Maybe if you had trimmed the second act, you they would have been able to shove a lot more character stuff in there, I don't know. It's gonna be a tough movie to look back on, because I think the problem right now is that many people are on an emotional high with this film, so it's really difficult to sort of break down all of the elements, because it's so fucking huge, and it re references so many things throughout all of the films, so... Give it time. I think everybody will come down a bit and then be like, okay. They didn't really... I don't think anyone's going to think they handled Hulk well in this film. I don't know that anyone feels that way. And it's just funny because he's pretty much never handled well outside of Ragnarok is kind of how I feel about it. He's fine in Avengers. He just smashes everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember back to your old teachings. All who please the fans usually care about the money, not the story, even the MCU. You both. You can care about money, care about fans yeah. and story. And the problem with Hank Pym living is that he can make more Pym particles when they're messed up getting the stones, and that cuts out Tony's moment with his dad. You don't have to cut that moment out. You can just make them go there first. Like Tony and Cap can go there to get what they need. 
Um, Hulk can still go to New York, etc. Or just send Tony back to that base. That's his job to get the Tesseract from there. It'll work. Uh, Rags, Muller, Wolf, and ER. Goddamn. Spider Man 3 vs. Endgame. Thoughts objectively. <laughs> Spider Man 3 vs. <laughs> Endgame. That's an interesting one. I would pick Endgame personally. Spider. Wait, what? Spider Man. Spider Man 3 vs. Endgame. They said thoughts objectively. I don't really. Uh wow, <laughs> I still think Endgame's better because like mm -hmm. Iron Man three is no 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 Spider Man three, oh Spider Man three, oh yeah they're both awful yeah Spider Man three is kind of a disaster like <laughs> it's not a lot working in that film, but there we are you know Endgame has a lot that's working as far as I can tell maybe more time will expose more problems. You think Bruce Hulk would be t uh, talking like Andre the Giant? You don't just become a big green body permanently and not expect more s a more side effect. They don't have time to explore any of it. They kind of rush him. Kind of part of the problem. They could have used a whole movie about that. A whole movie between these two about dealing with the fact that the snap happened. I don't know, they could have done that. That could have been interesting. But maybe it wouldn't have made lots of money, I don't know. Uh, they use the same three seconds of Fortnite footage in two different shots. Zero out of ten, literally unwatchable. Did they really? I can believe it. You guys think that the reshoots gave us the overuse of comedy and some of the tonal issues? I hear they had multiple reshoots in January 2019. I have no idea, um, but I could believe that they they tend to plug in comedy in MCU movies, and it just doesn't always work, unfortunately. Yep. Have you guys heard that JJ said TFA wasn't meant to be a ripoff? Apparently that was him genuinely trying to be creative. His excuse was basically all heroes' journeys have things in common. Uh, that's bullshit. What, Hasn't what is he, he admitted to the opposite already? What does he mean ripoff? As in, like, you were baited? Is that what I mean? As in that he just copied. Oh. Well... I'm sorry, what? You can't just say all heroes' journeys have things in common when you literally, like, rip characters and scenes. Yeah. yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, assume, he's assuming already he's kind of there. admitted that he took very strong, strong influence from A New Hope. Yeah, maybe his motivation was, like, an homage slash reference slash echo through time sort of thing, but he went way too far. That would be a better excuse. Mm -hmm. Someone asked Plank Todd how she is feeling now that a rat saved the universe instead of Captain Plank. I, you know, rats are underrated, I guess. Revenge, rats are great. Revenge of the Sith versus Endgame. Which is superior, guys? I'm sorry, which ones? Revenge of the Sith or Endgame. Hmm. I think the memes from Revenge of the Sith long outlast. End game. I don't think any memes can outlast the ones from Revenge of the Sith. They're exactly. like, they so, will stand the test of time. Objectively, <laughs> it's got to be the winner. Why not gather pin particles first or use time stone on gauntlet or fly away? Yeah, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think Infinity War slash Endgame was the most ambitious crossover event until I found this stream. Best there time you. travel story is Life is Strange. Oh, God. <laughs> Look objectively at true this is a super chat endgame was not that good <laughs> alright endgame <laughs> is disappointing and plank's still OP All right. There's such a varying degree of happy and sad for uh, people time travel in fiction runtime is a really good video on time travel in movies there you go time salvage a book series you're welcome guessing this Duplicate events, not the same event. Probably referencing the discussion on time travel at that point. Uh, that was linear mm -hmm. time for a person, not universal. I'm going to have to skip over these because it's going to open up the whole time travel discussion again. <gasps> yeah. Time travel! Uh, Endgame works off the you can't change the past because it creates a new universe rule, which is infuriating at the end with Cap showing up as it completely contradicts it. A lot of people feel that way, but doesn't doesn't it answer if if it turns out he's from the original MCU universe, the old man? Does that answer that? Well, I think this person is inferring that there wasn't multiple timelines. 
Um, yeah, but I, I, I'm just gonna have to look into it over and over and over again until I can figure out if that is a problem or not, because I keep hearing different takes and I'm com still not exactly sure. Uh, time travel mm -hmm. complicates everything, and I really wish stories would not use it unless it's very clear. Um, yeah. I say that, I like primer and that's really complicated, so I don't know what I'm talking about really. <laughs> it's just time travel, man. Um... Can't wait for Jared Holt to write about this stream calling you all racist. Disgusting Nazi lovers for having ER on. I know ER loves Jared Holt. Oh, he's just my favorite boy. Make. Thoughts on Connery Bond films. I love Dr. No. I like all Bond films because I'm British, but they're all kind of silly. <laughs> Bond, <laughs> every era has its own, like, you know, ups and downs and stuff. But yeah, who doesn't love Sean Connery as Bond? Time is like True. a weird string. Making a jump through time also must mean a jump through space, since the Earth and Sun aren't stationary objects. Yeah, we didn't even talk about that getting even more complicated. It's been explored in um, some other science fiction pieces where you have to, there's a lot of math that goes into calculating where you drop somebody and mm. inertia and stuff. Shadow Versity has a decent video explaining Endgame. I, uh, yeah, I did have a look into that. I like it. It's just... Um, I feel like there's probably even more questions to ask about how it all works. This movie reminded me of The Return of the Jedi. I don't know why. Happened fast. Time passes and Luke is a Jedi and Thanos 2 in the final act. Yeah, I've, I've seen a couple people compare um, those movies. Oracle notices splits because she accesses multiple. Oracle owns the multiverse. Only she would see fix. Uh, I'm not sure what that's referencing. Oracle. Uh, the old the lady. One. The ancient one. Oh. He owns the multiverse? I don't know about owns the multiverse. Uh, yeah, no idea. <laughs> no idea. Why didn't they just go back to the point in Wakanda when Thanos had literally all the stones and then just not miss and go for the head? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then take his gauntlet off him. Yeah, you know, these are things they could do. So old secret Cap sat sucking on Peggy's something while 9-11 happened, all after convincing Tony to sacrifice <laughs> his life? Got it. Good job, movie. <laughs> what about Loki popping off of the Tesseract in 2012? New timeline? Is it negated when Cap goes back and replaces all the stones? I think that's yeah. what his TV show is going to be about, because he's got one, right? I would imagine yeah. at this point. Captain America now did 9-11. Uh-oh. <laughs> so a recording that was made in the future carried over to her memory in the past what how so the way i understand that is that um she she like has some kind of they say network so she has like an upload link i guess that her brain attaches to and then once a new nebula arrives it like conflicts and then they get alerted about it that seems to be what i think happened but we know why it happened because it allows thanos to be aware yeah. of all this shit which to me yeah. isn't great. Like, ooh, okay. Uh, for the Thor timeline, would they need to have shot the Infinity Stone back into Natalie Portman's ass again? <laughs> I don't. This is the thing I don't really get. <laughs> the bum. Really get how they're gonna solve that, but yeah. Also, not sure how Thanos got the idea for the glove originally, but I otherwise think they missed a time paradox opportunity where Thanos and Iron Man got the idea of the glove from each other. Okay. Yeah, they could have done that, I guess. I think the stones were just an example of how the timeline could be created. Returning the stones is to is just to not screw over that new timeline. That's the thing, I've seen multiple interpretations. A lot of people are stressing that the only way you create a new timeline is by removing a stone, which to most people that's infuriatingly stupid, so that's Yeah, I don't know if I buy that. Me. That's the way I kinda of read that's what well, that's what she, she says, says, right? Yeah, that's what she says, yeah. so I get it. But again, you go back in time, you kill Thanos. According to Hulk, that doesn't do anything. So it must yeah. create a new timeline? I don't know. Uh, the movie brokes its own rule by the end of the movie when Cap travels back in time and shows up in the present. I don't understand. Um, wouldn't it have solved the problem completely to have him actually come back as an old guy? And then they're all like, what the hell? And then he's like, oh, I should probably explain. <laughs> but even then, you still have the problem of his character making that decision, I suppose. 
Mm-hmm. Can we assume that Endgame follows DBZ time travel rules where a super impactful event, uh, i.e. Trunks giving Goku heart meds, makes a new timeline? I, I, I guess, I, can't, I don't know if you have to assume that in order for the film to make more sense than it currently does. Um, <clears throat> ER, your Legend of Korra videos are my fave on YouTube, so here's an SC. C! SC? I'm not sure. What oh, There's Super Chat. Anyway. Oh, alright, thank you. Two dollar reduce. Um, Marvel did a great job of turning Brie Larson into a prepubescent 12-year-old Super Saiyan. Mm. All right. Uh, so is this the EFAP season finale? I said I think it's mid-season, but I mean, I don't know. We'll, time will tell us what seasons are actually there. Uh, subjective time travel works from my perspective. That makes sense. <laughs> they should have made a Fantastic Four movie instead of Captain Marvel to properly introduce alternate <laughs> timelines and time travel. Also, hi, Rags. <laughs> Hello. Um, I love you, ER. Love you too. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Why doesn't Captain Marvel such... I, maybe that means suck? Such the gauntlet to revive Tony since Brie Larson keeps telling us that's the strongest Avenger. Oh, you mean like she puts it on and uses the time one to reverse Tony's own death? Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What are the rules? Mm-hmm. Uh... That would be really awkward though if she said, I don't want to hurt myself. And then they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, looks lo- that looks painful. I don't know what pain is. I don't want to experience it. <laughs> I've never time. experienced it. I don't want to either. You guys, uh, yeah, apparently it's a, a big deal to you guys. I don't want to. I don't want to go through that. It looks like it sucks. I love how Captain Marvel was just a space taxi. It was that at the beginning. She did other stuff. Endgame sucks ass. One out of ten. Ruined the characters in the story. I can't understand how you rated it so high. I usually agree with y'all, but not with this. I don't think we rated it so high, did we? You mean not objectively? No. It, like yeah. a five is not a good score, typically. Um, ER, love your content. Thank you. How familiar are you guys with the original Star Trek movies? I asked because the main cast signing the credits was reminiscent of Star Trek VI. I've not seen. I'm not that. familiar with them at all. Oh, we didn't. We didn't really talk about that. I thought that was cool. The whole cast signing as the images came on, and it finished out with mm-hmm. uh, Iron Man as well. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, the one reality Strange looked for was the one where Tony died because he hated Tony so much. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Cap fights himself. He has a mask plus no battle damage. Not sure what to make of that. The funny thing about Doctor Strange's prediction is if one version of them winning exists, their chances are 50 50, infinite possibility and all that. Well, if there, no, if there's, when it comes to infinite. Well, wait a second. What was the, what was the super chat again? The funny thing about Doctor Strange's prediction is if one version of them winning exists, their chances are 50 50. Um. I guess. I don't really get it. How? It would be I mean, one just out a chance. of. It would be I one figured, out of the how many. Well, yeah, I figured that there are infinite chances of them winning slash losing, but there's it seems to be ratioed against them. You know. Like well, the issue is that if you get it depends on how hmm. many attempts you're allowed to make. If you're allowed to make an infinite chance, then no matter how unlikely an event is, given an infinite amount of attempts, it's inevitable that it happens. A lot of people in chat are saying no. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't understand exactly what he's saying there. Yeah. I'm sure it's probably a philosophical concept about uh, probability, maybe? I'm not sure, but um... Maybe? Uh, the cap marrying Peggy makes the Sharon kiss super weird. That is true. Are we not going to talk about the timeline break with Thor taking Mjolnir? Well, uh, Cap returns it. And if he returned it at the right time, uh, our Thor, well, that Thor from that universe or timeline, whatever, would never have noticed. Yeah. Mm. All good. Another thing to consider, how did Thanos' ship time travel? Bad Nebula used her pin particles up to get to the current time. Also, everyone comes back to current time at the same time, so how did Thanos' ship come to current time later than the rest? Um... I guess Nebula made it so it arrived later through the button she pressed. I 
I think if you look into it, it falls apart, honestly. Uh, but yeah. we tried to earlier. It's just very confusing. Um, ER sounds so bored, but I'm glad he's here, GG. <laughs> hey, um, go to Google, Google Thanos' name. Oh, I've done that. And yeah, that's pretty nifty. Go to friend what? If you if you Google Thanos, um, the thing I saw said to scroll down first, so you make sure you load it all up, and then you hit the gauntlet. Something unhappy. Okay. Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> Russo brothers shrank away from the responsibilities of the narrative they started. Destroying the gauntlet was a mistake. The easy way out. End game remix. I'm not sure there's an easy way out of Infinity War in general. But I probably I mean, would have done it, it differently. Makes a, it makes a lot of sense that Thanos would destroy it. Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, you didn't have to write that that way, but I think it it totally pans out that he would want to do that if it's possible. This is the thing we don't even know it's possible. Like, oh, okay. How did Hawkeye and Black Widow not know how to get the Life Stone before they go to Vormir? Nebula stated this in Infinity War happened. War happened with Gamora. My only issue is that Gamora didn't discuss. Uh, Nebula didn't discuss it with them, that that's possibly what it takes. But she didn't know for sure, I, I guess. I don't know that she did. She says in Infinity War, she's like, you went to Vormio with her and you, she didn't come back, and you have the stone. So it seemed like she figured out that you require... You have and to... if she didn't yeah. talk, then man, it sure is a crazy good coincidence that the two people who were supposed to go get the soul stone... Loved each other. Really loved each other. Like, what, if, what if War Machine and Nebula went for it? They'd be like, uh... How much well, do you like fine. me? <laughs> Should we just talk until one of us falls in love? Uh, I guess they nerfed Thor, but then again, Thanos beat Hulk in physical combat. I think people just forget how strong Thanos is all by himself. It's not exactly clear, in fairness. I think it's a little bit like what needs to happen for other things to happen. Yeah, he's kind of as strong as he ever needs to be. Um... From Proface, ER Senpai, please notice me. Also, opinion on H Bomber Guy and ContraPoints. Uh, I don't know them very well. Uh, but someone showed me quite a bit of ContraPoints recently. I just gotta say, they look kind of sa satanic to me. Satanic, huh? Satanic, like, like dressed up like a demon and doused in red lights and it was like it was weird hmm. it was contrapoints you said i'm not a nazi is something a nazi would say fucking brilliant commentary there so what about non-nazis who say it <laughs> are they nazis uh, mm -hmm. nazi non-nazis I, I always like that they think it's a quite a clever counter but i'm just like you realize the counter is non-nazis say it as well though no <laughs> Weird. The mom scene is one of the worst MCU scenes. Oh, sweetie. F becoming worthy of who you're supposed to be. Just be a drunk runaway massive and let the drunk runaway black lesbo take over, teehee. What she says is applicable to what he's going through, but not. it's not like she said that. <laughs> she, she said just, you know, be who you're going to be instead of who you're supposed to be. It's. I thought it was a nice sentiment. Uh, if Captain Sue can move FTL, why didn't she do that to solve the problems? Oh well, glad she got Falcon punched regardless. Yes. Again, see, lots of people feel this way. Any opinions on the video Dusty Smith did in response to the Captain Marvel hate? Also, what are your thoughts on Robert Storms? I have no idea who that is. You too? I don't know who that is, mm -hmm. um, nope. but I, I didn't know that Captain Dusty was a defending Captain Marvel. Um, I think, from what I know, is that he's just making fun of like the crazier takes, like... Like um, what? I don't know that he like. Well, it's like what, like the video essays who find the weirdest straw men well, or you know, the like, craziest. Out you know, of the no way bullshit, right? Are... Oh, I, yeah. Like no bullshit's take on anything is usually hilarious. So it would be like us is, is saying that we defend. I don't know DMC hate, and it's like all we did was respond to tonals because he's <laughs> when it's like it's. Mm, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he really likes Captain Marvel. Otis, Captain Marvel performed the Holdo maneuver. She should have. She could have split Thanos in half. Yeah, why didn't mm. she sooner? Uh, teleporter shrinks you down and resize you. Well, but it still moves you from a position to another position, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what it's considered to be shrinked down to the 
quantum realm and then using that to transport yourself back in time. Like, uh, how are you fucking... What, what do you guys call that? <laughs> something travel? It's something. Yeah. I don't have a name for no it, personally. Hey, late to the party. Your opinion's in short? Oh, well, we did that about a few minutes ago, so... Rewind. You'll find it. Yeah, boy. Of course I'm out when ER is on, but since he's here, gotta tell him I loved his Unbridled Mare video. Also, hi, special guest Raggers. <laughs> Hello, glad Thank to be you. here. Question for Mola, will you do an EFAP on Movie Bob's latest BS video about episode 9? Question for E- oh, well, uh... I haven't seen it, but... If we can stand it. <sighs> this is the thing, we really not... Covering Movie Bob is a nightmare. But maybe. Awful, man. <laughs> um, I have never watched it. It's bad. Bob it's video. bad. Don't do it. Save yourself. Question for ER. Have you seen Black Lagoon? I have. I think I answered that already. It's pretty oh, okay. good. Uh, shout out to the true Avenger, the guy who spoiled the movie and got beat up. Brave of you, boy. Uh, did somebody do that? Did that happen? Wait, oh. say what? Shout out to the true Avenger, the guy who spoiled the movie and got beat up. I'm sure. Uh, I yeah, fuck, fuck people who give spoilers. So awesome to see you here, ER. This makes my day. Quick question, are you still considering doing a Korra Book 3 takedown with the new live-action series coming? It would be the perfect occasion. Uh, there will be a takedown, and it will be Korra-related. I'll say that. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, do you guys think Howard had questions for Miss Stark when their son looked like Howard Potts? Howard the Duck? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think Howard Stark would have noticed... By the time he would have looked like the guy he met for five minutes, is or it's fine. You guys are too amusing to watch. Keep it up. Thank you. Yay! The new Thanos hadn't had to go through the same trials and tribulations in getting the stones like the old one did. Therefore, he doesn't have the same insight into what his actions do. I agree with that. I don't. I don't think it's yeah. impossible for Thanos old to become Thanos new. It's just that I think a lot of people really like Thanos new. So seeing Thanos old being defeated isn't it doesn't feel right to a lot of people, I think. Yeah. Uh did Tony Snap prevent the last five years or not? Nope. It just killed all the bad guys from what I can tell. Yeah, because he because one of his things was he wanted to keep the family that he had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they actually gave him that family just so we couldn't do the erase the five years thing. Because, like, we need a narrative reason for them to push against that. Even though, yeah. you know. Uh, after removing LMA, the... Uh, someone's saying, do you want to spoil Game of Thrones for me? I literally don't care at all about Game of Thrones. Mm, I so do. You're, <laughs> waste, you're wasting your time for me, but not other people. Like, I'm not a Game of Thrones person. I haven't seen one episode. I don't, I don't care about it. Oh, yeah, because it's probably airing pretty soon. <laughs> I need to flee the stream. <laughs> After removing the armor, Thanos becomes a holy warrior and doesn't kill for the hell of it. Before taking off the armor, he is much more cruel and punishing. Thus, final boss, Thanos. Hmm. In my opinion, it would have been cooler if they had instead went to an alternate universe to gather the Infinity Stones. I mean, you're going to be able to explain that in terms of technology. Like, we figured out how to travel between universes. Like, ooh. But maybe, you know. <laughs> Thanos changes from a self-sacrificing, sympathetic villain to power-tripping god-tyrant villain. He turns more one-dimensional emotionally. Kind of disappointing. Cool scene, though. I, yeah, I kind of I can see that take. Missed the very start of all of this, but still the gods have all gathered. Now you need to start solving mysteries in the EFAP machine. I'm not saying it's out of the question. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Can I be Daphne? Mmm... Yes. But who can be Shaggy, the most powerful unit in existence? Oh, he, uh... Oh, no. I didn't want to ask him about those shoes. Mm. 5 out of 10. Will this be posted to YouTube or elsewhere to listen to at another time? Yes, it'll be on the Moolah yeah. channel. Check it it'll out be there. with the rest of the EFAPs. Uh, wish they'd develop the Avengers more as a family all along, highlighting personal lives of Tony, Clint, etc. Left me with the thought that in the end, aside from Widow, the Avengers were essentially just friends from work. I mean, they kind of were. This is the problem, is that they didn't have enough time in the MCU overall to really do what would be a fantastic, amazing story. They worked with what they kind of had, which has been the case the entire time. Like, the stinger in Iron Man 1, like, if you look at it, it, it kind of seems to be like a 
Hey, by the way, can you throw a thing on the end so that we can try and connect these movies in case they're successful? And look <laughs> where we are now. Like, it seems like their priorities have switched uh, several times through production. And so if you could do it all from the beginning, which, you know, maybe they'll do it a, a more thorough job with phase whatever million it is. We'll have to see. In that context, I guess it makes sense why Cap slash Tony's reconciliation wasn't more satisfying, but I hope maybe they'd become pretty close friends. I think they kind of were, and Civil War split them apart, but then they really didn't recover in a way that I think needed to happen. I don't know. Rags, imagine if post-snap only gay theory survived. Hmm. Well... That's oddly specific. I mean, it's not impossible, though, is it? it this was who? Poe? <laughs> what? Who snap? Rags, imagine if post snap only gay fairy oh. survived. <laughs> um, well, at the stipulation that only gay furries were the ones who get to live, um, the, the Earth is going to have some issues. The human race is going to have to, uh, going to be on its last legs. I, I, I feel. would say so, yeah. Uh, Cap using Mjolnir made me grin like a schoolgirl. I think a lot of people would have. That would, that yeah. shit was just like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that shit coming, but there was a bit of setup, so I'm down with it. I'm down with it. 2018, Thanos just wanted the stones, so he wasn't actively trying to kill them. 2014, Thanos was pissed at his future and out for blood. Again, I think that take is fair as well. A lot of, a lot of ways to sort of break it down. Getting annoyed by cheering? I had the one Captain Marvel fangirl next to me. Dear Lord, did I want to strangle it? Oh, did she cheer every time Captain Marvel came on screen? <laughs> I guess you'd be like, <sighs> yeah. It's like some stupid people will clap at anything. I mean, they're out there, man. Because that movie made a shit ton of money, right? Captain Marvel? So, like, there's a lot of people out there who, I dare say, adore uh, that movie. I feel like there was too many moments where a character took off their mask just to talk to Charla telling Clint to give the gauntlet to him, for example. Yeah, that's been happening a lot in the MCU in general, and it bugs me. You know it's for actor recognition, though. It's like, look, it's your actor. We paid to have them. We'll appreciate them. Okay. Avengers Assemble made me shake with excitement. I think that's fair. Did you see yeah. Howard the Duck come out of the portal? I think <laughs> he should have been given his own shot, I think. Just for everyone to celebrate. I'll, I'm waiting for the the. I, I want to see what Howard's role will really be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Er in a theater, sitting like Gendo, eyes shining. Nah. No yeah, basically, Gendo. He's uh, you know, Evangelion. Why would you say? Ever seen that? I'm uncultured. Mm, well, that one you're gonna have to fix. If you could make me watch any one anime, what would it be? Well, not that, actually. Uh, Would it be Steins Gate? I'm imagining. Yes. I will, I will make a note and consider it. All right? I promise Is anything. it on Netflix? <laughs> I do not know. I believe it's all on YouTube, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Ant-Man is in the van trying to short-circuit it. Literal next shot shows him as giant man on the battlefield. Is that true? I don't know. Wait, what? Apparently, there's a shot where Iron Man, is, uh, sorry, Ant Man is trying to short circuit the um the van, and he said the literal next shot shows him as Giant Man on the battlefield. Oh, if that's true, that's awkward. <laughs> but I'd have fuck to watch up. it. That's an editing fuck up. Also, why didn't he step on Thanos? Um, why didn't a lot of people do a lot of things? I think it's kind of not really gone. It's like Thanos should be your number one target. Everyone, go get him. I guess you could say, like, oh, they're busy with everybody. It's like, mm. Yeah, not everyone mm. important. Like, maybe send Captain Marvel to him immediately. Because he actually says, uh, Cap, like, says something like, uh, Carol, we need, uh, we need your support or something like that. He, he like, puts his thing on, and I was just like, just tell her to fucking nuke Thanos. Just go for him. Go, 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 go. Uh, do you need to be worthy to hold Stormbreaker? Yeah, so Thanos actually grabs Stormbreaker at one point in this movie. Do you guys see that? 
Remember it? I do not recall. It kind of bugged me because I was like, whoa, how is he able to do that? But uh, I guess they've never said you have to be worthy to wield it, so. Not Stormbreaker. Yeah, nobody said that, so I guess it doesn't contradict anything. Mm. I'm mad enough to admit that from on your left, I did not stop crying for even a second, not an hour after I left the theater. It's okay to be invested in things. Okay. I almost died inside when Plank was fighting Thanos. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, dude. In oh, the cinema, yeah. oh, I was I so was concerned. It's like, don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> like, if she just punched his heart out or something, it would have been like, oh, God. When the end came, I wish Spider-Man would have said, I don't want you to go, at a nod at him saying, I don't want to go. I feel like that might have been on the nose, though. It feels too righted instead of reels is... Hey, Mola, I really love that in-depth Korra analysis. No problem. It made me rethink <laughs> how I felt about Korra, not just uh, turn my brain off for movies and junk. I love everyone's content. ER, yeah, make more stuff. Rag is review more games, and Mola, much love. Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Definitely something I can do. Everyone hates her hair in the comics, too. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> um, this is a question for any comic book nerd out there. Who is the most powerful Avenger? I wouldn't know, I guess. I don't know. I don't know much yeah. about the comics. Another question for me. All right, we'll leave chat to discuss that one. Um, my sister and I, both black females, hated the all female scene. We said that scene sucked and was not needed. Yeah, I don't think it's needed either, personally. But I mean, it seems like the Infinity War one was much more tasteful, where it felt more like it was, oh, it happened to be the three girls, while this one was like, oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh,. Don't question Captain Holdo. And this is to go even further beyond, Danvers. Captain Marvel's next enemies will be Goku and Vegeta. Nothing can defeat Captain Marvel. I'm I'm actually concerned that they will have a beat Shaggy at some point. It's gonna... They have the rights to Scooby-Doo, right? Or they will eventually, know. I'm sure. Well, yeah. Wolf is top orphan. Witness his bone density. <laughs> top orphan. <laughs> Captain Marvel is D. D. Reynolds of the MCU. Who's D. Reynolds? Don't know. I don't know. Also, a lot of chat have been saying Thor is the most powerful Avenger. Um. Uh, Captain Marvel. Oh wait, uh, Ca Captain Massive will save the universe from the patriarchy. Maybe. Is it true that Yay, there's a version of this did. movie that Captain Marvel does more? It was only a rumor, I think, but. Uh, who really knows? Wolf, if you'd ate less pizza, you could cosplay pre-Endgame Thor. <laughs> uh. To be fair, Thor could have destroyed Thanos' ship. In Infinity War, he was destroying the troop carriers that landed in Wakanda with little effort. Yeah, I agree. And if he had, it would have been way more satisfying than the person who was invented a film ago. Um, I would have been, uh, yeah, definitely. I would have definitely preferred that. I, I, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I clapped. I clapped when Tony said the thing. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> loads of people did. Tony kind of won with a dad joke. Uh, when did he make a dad joke? He's made a lot of jokes. Dad joke. I guess I am Iron Man could kind of be. No, I love you. A little 3, cheesy. I love you three thousand. Is it maybe? Is that, is that a, a joke, joke? though? <laughs> uh, Are either of joke. those jokes? That's the kind of shit you say to make people like me cry. <laughs> um, I am Medea, snap. Captain Marvel really isn't all that. She would lose to the Hulk easily in comic canon. She can fly and shoot beams that really can't hurt Hulk. Um, if she picked you up Hulk so. and threw him into space, pretty sure he'd be dead, right? Or at least defeated. Yeah. Can't wait for Captain Marvel movie where she makes secret Nazi prisons and jails U.S. citizens without trial. This happened in the comics. I believe that's Ooh. Civil War Two. Is that they're summarizing it in like an interesting way? But yeah, I wanted to be the villain, but I don't think they'll do that. So basically, in the other timeline's perspective, Thanos killed himself, vanished. Yeah. Uh, hey, ER, do you prefer the Steins Gate VN or anime? Um, no, actually, the anime. All right. Enemy. Enemy. Um, just wanted to give you my free super chat. Well, thank you. You actually yeah. managed to get my boy ER on EFAP. This really is the EFAP version of Endgame. 
Note to <laughs> myself, watching this on Moolah after seeing Endgame. Hey, farmer, don't forget to feed the chickens. Oh, and ER, your video on the anime Trump slash Obama fight made my whole year. Huh. I yelled out validate <laughs> her when Chara praised her. Chara? What's that a reference to? Chara. I have no oh. idea. I yelled out validate her when Chara praised her. Hmm. Yep, they sure are superficially diverse. I'm not sure entirely what we're referencing with these things. I'd argue that Bucky doesn't want to be Cap. In Infinity War, it's shown he's tired of fighting and doesn't really want to be involved. He nuts up anyway, but it seemed clear to me he was done with all of it. Well, he's carrying on. He's got a TV show coming out with Falcon, so... I wonder if Falcon will be Why? called Captain America or he's just going to have the shield. I have no idea what they're going to do with it, for sure, so... Yeah, and I don't... Who knows? But I, I just think I think Bucky would definitely be more of a realistic choice. But I'm I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll see what happens in the show between them. I mean, I was game for the whole like gets to live his life as a hero instead of a villain. You know, because of the name change, <laughs> he'd be like, I'm mm. not because everyone does, nobody associates the Winter Soldier with like a good thing right now. So I don't know. We'll have to see what they do. Couldn't he have just waited until he went into the ice and then went to live his life with Peggy while covering up his existence? Why would he want to do that, though? I mean, that's, that, that is kind is of what live. he does, I assume. All I, I mean, yeah. all he has to really do is just live a, a normal-ish life mm -hmm. and not, get, not do anything too big that it draws attention to him and he is discovered to be Captain America also. Like, he can still do stuff. The issue is that he can't be discovered and then have it be known. Yeah, and, and I think that is what he did anyway. He did live his life while other Cap was in ice. I, I, mean, but, uh, I think it would have been awesome and profoundly matter if Joe Russo had instead talked about losing his brother during the social support group scene. That would actually have been pretty cool, yeah. I don't know if you guys know, but the mm. guy who talked about losing... Uh, someone and trying to date again in the opening scene. That was um, one of the Russo brothers. I think it was Joe Russo. Oh, I didn't know that. Did not catch that. But yeah, that would have been pretty cool actually if he'd talked about he'd lost his brother in the snap and they were really close or something like that. I agree. Uh, since Cap went back to have a normal life, did he have super soldier babies with Peggy? I'm going to have more to assume... super soldier babies. <laughs> Two dollars for every Nazi in this call. Oh, that's all of us. Hooray. <laughs> I think Steve returned from an alternate timeline. Again, I, I don't want to say anything definitively. I need to read into all of it if I want to make claims because everybody has a different take and thinks that every take is contradicting another take. So it's just like, I don't think it's working out <laughs> is the point. Is the, a lot of people seem to be concerned that uh, whether what did Cap actually do is going to be discussed for a while, I imagine. Uh, Captain America caused the 2008 market crash. He let it happen. Two people equally qualified to become Captain America and the black guy gets the job. Sounds like affirmative action to me. I don't know if they're equally qualified. I mean, <laughs> Bucky is so... Uh, I don't know. I don't, it's not that... If Bucky didn't exist as like a character who's there, you know, it wouldn't be... Like, I'm fine with Falcon, but Falcon isn't a super soldier. That's an issue. Um... So he'll have, is he going to be like Fancy Gadget Man? Is going to be Captain America is the gadget guy? But mainly it's just because Bucky's there. Uh, Captain America voted for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Probably. Well, if you moron, in TF2, Jack Hugh uses a device that transports him through time while retaining his spatial location, not memories of the other pilot. I think that's Titanfall 2. I will I will save that for him for next time. Uh, Ant-Man traveled three times and wasn't bored. <laughs> Captain America invaded Iraq for oil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do you think the MCU would be if Marvel messed up the first Iron Man? Also, ER... Oh, wait, we'll answer that first. Uh, I'm not sure it would exist, or at least they would be trying to reboot. Uh, well, maybe where D um... DC is, pretty much. Well, I mean, DC had both The Mummy and Dracula Untold. It took them two whammies to... Oh, you're talking about Dark Universe. Well, well, I'm saying as an, as an example. Mm -hmm. 
it took them two. Didn't uh, Iron Man saved Marvel Studios because it was like suffering big time? I believe at that point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So who knows? Maybe it would have killed it all if he, if that was unsuccessful and they were dissolved or they were bought out by Disney earlier. Ah. Also, ER, when you shot on the MCU in your Captain Marvel vid, you made Maula sad. Oh. Probably. I'm sorry, what did I do? Apparently, I don't remember you shitting on the MCU in your Captain Marvel video that specifically. And besides, there's plenty to actually shit on in the MCU in fairness. I, I might have made a cheeky comment here. It's okay. It was good and bad. Yep. Deny it. Dash Wolf thoughts. Oh, you know, I'll have to save that. <laughs> uh, a lot of problems with Cap would have been solved if he showed up back on the pad as old man, having fought for a better future in an alternate timeline. Um, if he showed up old and he explained that he actually spent his time as a different person, but he was just trying to improve everything, you know, he did his best to work with and improve the society he was a part of while living with Peggy, would that have been more satisfying? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I think it would be uh, better. I don't know, because that, then that also kind of cuts into the whole time travel controversy. How much of Affected. Does. Should he be making that much of a positive impact? That... Well, we don't know how. We don't know how positive. Yeah, we don't. Which is why I guess I think it might be better that you leave that vague. Mm -hmm. If anything, uh, there were quite a bit of passing the torch moments that really don't work. You can also hear the board of directors saying, "Hey, make that minority th the thing now." Yeah, the Thor one was just wasn't earned. The Cap one felt weird. Uh, they didn't do one for Iron Man. Then, guess who knows what else they're gonna do? But um, yeah, it felt felt a bit rushed. I don't know. Yeah, Bocahontas. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought Hawkeye was gonna throw his bow over the cliff when they tried to get the Soul Stone. They never really defined the requirements <laughs> for something you love. Yeah. Ogahontas Avatar and Dances with Wolf, same movie. Yes. Um, Capt goes back in his timeline, but maybe gets thwarted earlier, lives his life with Peggy while still doing the MCU events? Just my thoughts. Uh, I don't really understand that. Goes back in his timeline, but maybe gets thwarted earlier. Oh, thawed earlier, sorry. Why would he get thawed earlier, though? Uh, um, yeah, I don't really know shooting for there. Uh, FMK, Captain Marvel, Ray, Ryan Johnson. <laughs> so, okay. fuck, marry, kill, Captain Marvel, Ray, and Ryan Johnson. Oh, man. Hmm. What was, okay, Ryan Johnson, Captain Marvel, and who? Uh, Ray. Ray, Ray, okay. I'd want to... This my okay. Do we all agree so that you'd kill Captain Ryan Johnson? Marvel. No. No. Oh, okay. Captain. So it's Captain Marvel, Ray, and Ryan Johnson. Mm -hmm. Fuck Ryan Johnson. Why? <laughs> because I'm about to explain. Okay. Kill Captain Marvel. Because who knows what else could. And okay. marry. Marry Ray. Ray. Because then you'll get to fuck her later. Why are you fucking Ryan Johnson? Because so I don't have to marry him, and he doesn't deserve death. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, do you have a take on this? I'm not like uh, I really want to fuck Ryan Johnson. There's some logic to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how we operate on the EFAP. I, guess I, so, I huh? probably marry Ray. I couldn't deal with Captain Marvel's smugness. Yeah, Ray isn't like she's not insufferable. She's just kind of blank, and I feel like if I... You could provide her character. I could provide her with character, <laughs> and I could show her, like, the world, and we could go roller skating and eating yogurt on a park bench and all sorts of stuff that couples do, you know? And you could, like, make her a human. You could humanize her. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. At the end, Quill is searching for Gamora on the map Thor messes with. She's definitely alive. I thought that was just... That was up in the air. 
The fact that he's searching for her and doesn't find her, we don't know for sure. But I'm assuming she's alive. I don't know why she wouldn't. Unless Iron Man killed her. Which, whoops. Um, yeah. Which is which ass is better, Brie or Captain America? Captain America. Captain America. Captain America. America's yeah. ass, dude. Yeah, that's America's ass. I like the part with Stark's daughter at the funeral where it was brought up that her dad loved cheeseburgers. Thought it was a nice callback. Oh, that that yeah. is just a great moment. Great. Yeah, I like that a lot. Ten crowns for every chin on the boy of soy. I think that's we finally caught up to when we were covering Quinton. Oh boy. <laughs> You guys should read the Anne Frank X Goku till the end of time fan fiction. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> ER is here. Is it a season finale already? Uh, like I said, mid season finale, I think, is what we're going for here. Because who knows what else season three is going to have, you know? Hello, mm. all. Long time EFAPA. First time coming in the chat. Just curious what you guys thought of all the vitriol that Mark Hamill's receiving on Twitter. Thanks for all the content. Cheers. Um, we did get to talk about it briefly. You'll guys, you just look for that tweet if if it's still up. You'll just see sequel a lot fans of are the worst. yeah, a lot of sequel fans <laughs> are railing him for having admitted that he'd like to see a scene in Star Wars where him and his co-stars got to you know speak to each other or hang out. That horrible man suggested that you'd have a scene where characters would be together, and I I think he needs to be stopped. What do you what a piece of shit. Yeah, what a nightmare. I hope he dies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope he vanishes from a cliff. <laughs> uh, Rags, in a knockdown drag out fight between you and Goose, who wins and how? Who's Goose? The cat from Cap. Oh, me, obviously. I mean, even if it does have the tentacle thing, Rags. No, I no, that's the strategy. Go inside the cat and then just boosh, explode. Mm -hmm. I like just it. Just burst out. I will watch that movie before I'll watch Captain Marvel 2. Oh, fuck that shit. Mm. I have never watched Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit come at me. I'm gonna save that for Wolf. So that Man, I really? I mean you're you're denying yourself if you haven't seen the Lord of the Rings. Hobbit's fine, but Lord of the Rings, man. Oh, we are blessed to be in a timeline where those movies happen. Why are you guys complaining about the scene where all the women pose and then fight Thanos' army? You get to look at women. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Major Lee probably got the biggest heart on when he got to look at women in the final fight, all former team. I think so. Uh, wow, thong. it was so awesome. Everything was just awesome. So awesome. So cool. I wonder if that is his take. Maybe he did. Th maybe he thinks it's forced. Who knows? Hey, Tone, why did the furnaces have wooden doors, Tone? That is that. A r <laughs> I get it. I get it. Uh, get Mark Hamill on EFAP. It'll happen, okay, soon. I believe all OT characters should be off limits for the bet. You know, they were already screwed over. Um, the the ones that were off limits were basically just the ones that we forgot about, and then Kylo. Because Kylo, there is no consistency to Kylo. His character is inconsistency. Mm. Um. So yeah. Who is this Holder woman? Get her off my lawn, Akbar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did y'all discuss how Doctor Strange's plot was missing? Uh, missing. Well, he was missing for a lot of the movie. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense because he's dusted. But yeah, what are you gonna do when you're dusted? I suppose. Um, love your work, ER. Also liked your unbridled rage. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> good shit. yeah. Thank you, Mola. I don't understand what's happening. Don't worry, Mola. Nobody who watches JoJo understands what's happening. All right, a lot more. Okay. Sense. Um. Then there's. There's three super chats. Two of them, are, they're all from the same guy. Two of them are blank, and one of them says, "Meme my doggo." I don't, meme my doggo. I don't know how to respond to that. Do you guys have any advice? I don't know what to do. No uh, one ever, but no one ever sent me a that. I, I checked the picture, um, or my email. No one ever sent that picture they were talking about. So I don't know. If that was supposed to be a thing. Um. Way behind and catching up at two times speed, you said this is the most impactful event in world history. Forgot that in the Middle Ages, Europe loses one quarter to half of the human population, so it isn't unprecedented. Also, it didn't create a utopia. Okay, one... No, this would be <laughs> way worse. This is way worse, because people are just snapped out of existence. They don't slowly die of a, you know, a problem. The, the Middle Ages, I mean, there's a lot of functionality to society. 
now that requires active humans to take care of it at all times compared to the Middle Ages. Plus, um, there's 7 billion people now. Yeah. That are interconnected and live in a society together that's very reliant on other people doing jobs and tasks. I'm not saying that didn't happen in the Medieval Ages. It was just a much smaller Ver a much 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 smaller version of that the infrastructure difference between the medieval ages and modern times is almost incomparable mm -hmm. what was your take on endgame praise good mad bad or raged a combination of all of them if i'm completely honest yeah. with you subjectively mostly praise with some exceptions um objectively kind of a mixed bag mm -hmm. efap wars rise of the er Aura is better than Aang. You gotta deal with it. I don't think I can. Okay, that's one for Wolf. I will save that. We're up to four for Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you let your mods run tyranny on your server, Mola? Quite a few people were removed unjustly. Perhaps you should address this properly instead of brushing it under the rug. Um, it's been... Anybody who gets booted on my Discord for some reason think that like I will be able to control it? It's not my Discord. Um, it was created by me, but the thing is, I can't run a Discord. I'm way too busy, so my moderators do, and then I just feed them information, like when my next videos are coming out or how to announce certain things. Um, but yeah, at this point, they've crafted most of the rules. Uh, if you break them, then they will ban you, and they run it as carefully as they can to avoid really bad things happening. I would recommend joining it, but obviously um, just pay attention to what the mods say. Because it's it's obviously they're just trying to take care of it as a, as a little community, but um, I have barely any input into whether people are banned or unbanned, and I mostly only check out chats every once in a while, uh, or pings. Like I'm just way too busy to be. Um, I can't. I don't control the Discord, so not much point in coming to me about it. But uh, if they're running a tyrannical Discord, I'm sure it's better than no Discord. Got that. And you can always start your own Mauler fan discord if you'd like, if you think that they're being too unfair, and you'll probably get a bunch of people to join if, if people feel likewise. Yeah, I don't know um, what the issue is. I haven't had an issue there. I didn't notice. There, I didn't know there was anything happening. Uh, I'm, I mean, I know that people have been banned from my discord, but I'm assuming that's part of the course. People get banned from discords, right? That just... Yeah. Yep. Uh, this must be the season 3 finale of EFAP where they summon the grand... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> they they summon the Grad Wizard. Let's just say that. Uh, it's lovely to be able to stop watching for hours and come back to the fappage still going. Oh yeah, how far are we up to? Six and a half hours. Okay, yeah, we can't oh. go for too much longer, otherwise we'll be cut off. Yeah, because I'm I'm actually gonna have to eat soon. I'm getting. We are getting yeah. close, actually. This has been insane. <laughs> we'll get it there. <laughs> Uh, a non-event in Endgame, Star-Lord's return to Earth. Do you think Guardians of the Galaxy 3 will fill in scenes preceding his apparent departure scene on the ship with Thor? No, honestly. I, I think Guardians 3 will probably pick up even like a week after they leave Earth or something. There's a lot of things that well, are I rushed. Guess, well, I think, um, I think his connection to Earth was mostly just his parents, not yeah, he didn't, like Earth itself yeah. as a place. He, he does mention... Um, he didn't want to set foot back on Earth because it's where his mother died. I believe something like that is said. Yeah, because um, he could have gone back at any time. Yeah, he could have if he really wanted to. Can't watch this since I haven't seen Endgame yet. Just oh, wanted... but wait. Oh, but that kind of creates the issue of if he can go back at any time, then how come other like alien civilizations haven't already visited Earth many times? You'd think with... that is that is a problem. You'd think with the freedoms they have and how crazy some aliens are, you'd think we would have had couple visitors here and there yeah is like is there one of those things where you're not allowed to visit planets until they technologically advance to a certain state which would be cool or... but no that's definitely not happening considering captain marvel <laughs> it's like you could just, yeah, they just do whatever they just you hop want. right on over so that's a that's an that's like one of those background issues that it's um uh, would be nice to get a line or two about yeah. that but i think that's one of those things where n a no explanation is way better than a bad one i mean yeah because it gets complicated if they were like you never let me go back to terra and he's like no one can go to terra or something like that it's off limits i'd be like huh? <laughs> do they have like a century 
blows and if up any ships. Entry, how come we haven't seen it? Is it invisible? I don't. Maybe know. it's outside the Oort cloud. Maybe I don't. Know. That's where the comments are from. Can't watch this since I haven't seen Endgame yet. Just wanted to say, great work on the report disproving the Russian collusion, Mola. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger ER more, please. The Mauler report? Yes. <laughs> Trigger ER more, please. I only had the one video saying Cora was great, but if we have him on again, I'll find another one. <laughs> Make him nice and be happy. another one. His opinion is subjective, and you gotta deal with it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Is ER aware of Alpha Alpaca Pack's Cora series? Yes, I am. It's very good. Everyone should check it out. Hey, nice to see the antisocial Nazi man is here. Have any of you gentlemanly folks played Hollow Knight? If so, what are your thoughts? Uh, I really liked it. Uh, I've only played a bit of it, but I liked what I played. I haven't played it, so I don't like it, nor do I dislike it. I, I have no feelings on Hollow Knight. <laughs> there you go. Also, how much do we need to bribe ER into becoming a regular rhino milker for all? Oh, rhino milk for all. Now, when you say rhino milker... Yes. <laughs> that could mean a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't think ER's going to become a regular EFAP guy. I don't know. We, we, we can't even get a regular, like, fourth person at all. Once Wolf is dead, we'll, you know, from pizzas, we'll, we'll look into uh, hiring him. Yeah, a... when he chokes on a pizza and dies tragically. We got a backup. We have a backup wolf. <laughs> ER, do you respect Howard Stern's penis? Howard Stern's penis. Mm -hmm. Uh not quite. Just leave it at that. I don't even know about Howard Stern's penis. See, that's that's why people call you uneducated. Like, no offense, I'm not trying to say you're uneducated, but a lot of people claim that thanks to statements like that. How does that make you feel? Empty. Him? <laughs> what? I don't feel anything. I don't know about anyone. I don't know about... Well, I, I know about some people's penises, but not Howard Stern's. Uh, Cora's failure to address Amon's point about inequality was a huge wasted opportunity. Benders were running protection rackets in the open. Correct. ER, do you care for the final act of the Death Note anime, aka the Light vs. Mellow and Nia arc? No, I do not. It's light on another one. Very excellent series, but eh, what can you do? Uh, yeah, the live what... action movie was fantastic. Well, I mean, it two of them in Japan were okay. Uh, yeah, what do you think of Dragon Prince? Uh, I think I went over that. Uh, oh. I'm kind of meh toward it. Just seen the first season. Read that one. Uh, thoughts on the guy that makes the Akbar voice? <laughs> I'm sure he's uh, a good dude. Him. He is. Uh, I'm with him, man. Mm -hmm. Chill dude. Chill dude. Yeah, who is your favorite anime body pillow? Favorite anime body pillow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's choosing your favorite child again. I can't narrow it down. Um, ER, thanks for keeping edgy content alive. Quite welcome, I guess. Does ER really idolize Adolf Hitler? <gasps> well, he's only my uncle. Yeah. Family is... Blood is thicker than water, guys. Time. Blood thicker water. ER, can you provide one fact about yourself that we might not know so that we continue to flesh out the EFAP ER lore? Yeah. One fact about me that you do not know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. That's... Can you narrow it down? I don't think they will. Me? What is something about you you think most people wouldn't know? Well, most people don't know very much about me. So, I guess, um, you know, I'm very tall in real life, I guess. How tall? <gasps> He's a tall man. Tell us how tall. Do it. How tall? How tall, tall man? Six, five to six. 
Oh, wow. Wow. You and Fringy should have a battle. I'm 6'4", so me, you, and Fringy should make there a battle. Go. I'm 5'10". Sure. I'm fun size. <laughs> well, there you go. Add that to the lore. Uh, hey, guys. I can't watch this yet because I haven't seen Endgame, but I can't wait to watch it. It's great to see you finally got ER on. How long are you going to make Gamertron wait? I... I've heard that he wants to come on, but I really have no idea who he is. So, it's just, uh, uh, nah, I'm about, I'm about, I'm about sixteen inches tall. In from work, uh, so we'll watch later. If you've not mentioned it, what was your view on how Endgame handled time travel? Because I feel they left a few things unanswered. Uh hopefully you're able to. If you watch this again at some point from work, you'll know exactly how we feel about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how did you get in so invested in Steve and Judaverse to begin with? Well, uh, I think I answered that one. A friend enjoyed the show very much. I thought it was a little silly and took the piss out of it at their expense. And yeah. We must secure the existence of our folk and a future for white children. True. Sure. These infinitely beautiful comments that to read them out <laughs> is to just expel beautifulness into the world. ER seriously yeah, reminds me of L from Death Note. Oh, what are you going for? Uh, I'm currently kind of sitting like him, to be honest. Hmm. Scrapping my legs. ER, what was the first anime you ever watched? Ooh, that would probably be Naruto. Which I think was a first for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, I hear about Naruto a lot. Is it is it worth watching? Uh it's very very long, very uh, important. We don't, uh, we don't like long stuff here. True, true. Uh, Isn't One yeah, Piece the longest I, one though? Right? Is it the longest? I know it's. Very, very long. Mm -hmm. I don't know about longest. Definitely up there, though. Yeah, definitely. Is diversity our strength, and is Jared Holt a gem? I, I... No one yes. Jared Holt's a piece of shit. Shadowverse, you made a video recently about the time travel aspect. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, I, may, I may have read that one out, I'm not sure. Yeah, what's your opinion on Full Metal Alchemist? Brotherhood, very good. First one, watchable. Hey Rags, this Thanos has seen every form, everything from Nebula's recordings, so he knows about Gamora's death in that timeline, so he's lost her as well. Um, Do we see him seeing everything? I don't know that that's true, because he doesn't realize yeah. that she's betrayed him. I'm guessing there's no reference to the fact that Gamora's dead that he saw in the recordings? I don't know. I think he would yeah, have. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I... It depends on what they're watching. He says, I'd like to see everything, but even then, we don't know exactly. Did he see every single thing that's happened to Nebula? I don't know. Yeah, like... You wouldn't have had the time to watch everything. <laughs> because yeah. it would literally be impossible, but hey. Yeah, he's trying to catch up on how much time? A lot of it. Uh, yeah, would you A rather lot. have had Ryan Johnson direct episode 9 instead of Juju Abrahams? Um... Uh, that's kind of a mixed bag, actually, because I kind of just want Star Wars to be put out of its misery. And <laughs> Ryan Johnson would nail that. that. Yeah. yeah. Who would you prefer, Rags, out of those two? Give me the options one more time. JJ or Ryan. For the next movie? Mm-hmm. JJ? Yeah, I'd probably go with JJ. I feel like gonna care a little bit more if if the goal is to create the superior film um i don't know what ryan johnson's doing when it comes to writing it's not that jj is specifically better than him but jj doesn't seem to want to recklessly murder everything to do with star wars mm. so i take that as a plus as a non-black i can endorse the idea that non-blacks think blacks should be slaves in fact i think any non-japanese citizen should be a slave hashtag hirohito did nothing wrong <laughs> I liked how Thanos was impressed looking at himself. More like hero Hito. I like how Thanos was impressed looking at himself through Nebula's memories. I also agree on EFAP movies, Avatar, just do it. <laughs> we could do that. Um Yeah, well we've got we've got a plenty lined up. The ones we've watched so far have been great. 
And oh. yeah, as for um, and by great, I mean they're terrible. I enjoyed that Thanos was not put off by the fact that he was killed in the thing. He was like, "That's that's good. That's fine," because his job was done. Like, he's okay with it. So that was neat. I wasn't bothered by being killed once the thing. Um, I was legitimately falling asleep until I heard Er say he's playing Persona. It made me jump out in happy. Good shit. In Civil War, when Black Panther says vengeance is consuming them, and they cut to Cap and Tony fighting, do you think Cap was fighting out of vengeance? Not necessarily, but Tony's vengeance is consuming Cap and Tony in that scenario, I would say. Um, yeah, no, both parties don't have to be, you know, vengeful. in a state of vengeance. The fight has to happen because of vengeance. I imagine that's probably what Black Panther was going for, but who knows, maybe he thought that Cap was trying to Ben avenged Bucky's busted arm. I don't know. <laughs> hey, ER, have you ever watched Terraformers? Terraformers? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Terraformers. Was it good? I just never. Uh, it was. Uh, I, eh, it didn't seem that great. I just didn't continue with it. Uh, what is your dream YouTube project you would like to make but don't have time for right now? I guess that could be all three of us directed at. So, how do you want to go first? Any video idea I have? Uh, uh, that's probably Steins Gate, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Which I will have to do eventually, I'm sure. But at the time, right now, I don't have it. What about you, Ragus? Honestly, um, I just need to do more video work. But what I would like to do. And I, this this has been an idea in my head for a while, something I'd like to do, but I'd like to do like interviews with people like streamers and other YouTubers and maybe people who work in industries who do film and game stuff um, uh, like speedrunners and sportscasters, stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool to have like periodic interviews with people. Like, hey, come on. I just we just just an interview about what you do and you know stuff like that. How does the how does the things work behind the scenes? No names and stuff like that. I think it'd be like like a like a mini Joe Rogan kind of. Mm -hmm. I thought that that's always been an idea I've kind of had in my head that I want to do later. Hmm. Uh, dream YouTube project for me would probably be just getting all of my favorite media covered extensively, but there's a lot of them. So, um, once I'm ninety ish, I'll probably be like, I did it. Um, the only problem with covering stuff I really like is that I'm worried about getting it right. You know, like, if Doing I make a mistake, yeah. Captain Marvel, I'll be like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, not, not Captain Marvel. Anything but Captain Marvel. I can't believe I didn't do that film justice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, Lord, is there no help for Widow's son? I'm confused what that's referencing. Is she has a son? Widow's son? It's very possessive, Widow's son, but uh, I don't think she has a son. I, yeah, I'm not sure. I Riddle know, me this, actually. ER, what is 13 but also 50? <laughs> <laughs> well, then again, you have to go look at FBI.gov. I am a cat guy, but I'll make an exception for rags. Oh, good, yeah, that's high praise. ER, do we truly <laughs> gotta deal with it? Nobody yeah, died. we do. <laughs> if I read too much of these out, this actually probably will be used against people eventually. Uh, what do you think of Sargon? Is that a question for ER or anyone specifically? Any thoughts, ER, uh, on Sargon? I don't know him or his content that well, personally. Um, but I've... I don't know. He seems... Okay. I don't really know. I think we, me and Rags have mentioned it before on other refabs, but uh, I believe but I Rags mean, is friendo. I'll go yeah, I, I'd consider Saga my friend. And yeah, I like I like a lot of his content. I disagree with different things here and there. It's uh, I tend to try and look at it as like for anybody who's like, oh, you fucking only watch blah blah blah. I just be like, I mean, I watch all of H Bomber guy's political content as well, so I don't know if. Which one am I aligned to? Just let me know. 
Um, I'll be voicing Palps in episode 9, and I can confirm they refer to me as Creamy Sheave. Also, spoilers, Ray and Cap. <laughs> Ray and Cap to Bar will team up and kill me right away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ER is inevitable. Uh, uh, notice me, Senpais? That's some weird guy. Can you all notice some weird guy? Yeah, you've been noticed. noticed. Absolutely. Noticed. Hello, some weird guy. Infinity War and Endgame was just a plan Doctor Strange made to get Tony killed for leaning against the cauldron of the cosmos. Changed my mind. <laughs> that is the narrative. That's right. <laughs> Has anyone watched Hotel Artemis? No, I haven't even heard of that. What's that? I don't know that. Uh, yeah, can... I don't know what that is. Interesting. Itara in her 20s. ER, I see you are a man of culture as well. Undeniable. You got it. Hi, Rags. <laughs> Hello. Well, how do you feel about Alien Isolation? Uh, I need to play it again, but I, I, I really like the atmosphere and the world being accurate to, like, Alien, but I got bored of the androids. Good God, the androids were so lame. Um, so to give the game a good shake, I'd have to play it again, so, yeah. Uh, I just joined. Did you guys like Endgame? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, th I think we all we, we yeah you, you er was fifty fifty uh the the rest of us gave it a thumbs up overall I I would say that I it definitely satisfied me mm -hmm. um if I had to roll the dice uh like if like take in game as it is or roll the dice and get a random new in game I wouldn't roll the yeah that's actually a good way to put it I'm not sure I'd want to roll the dice on that because I've got a lot of things I like. And who knows what it'll end up being. It's like, roll the dice. Ryan Johnson's endgame. Like, no, 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 no. No, 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 go. Take it back. Take it back. I need the time stone. Uh, Mola, before you end the stream, Google Thanos and click on the Infinity Gauntlet cool Easter egg. Yeah, I checked that out. Someone in the chat said that, and I checked it out, and that was really cool. Yep. Google's still evil, though. <laughs> Love the EFAP Movies video you guys did. I'm looking forward to more. you got to do Bye Bye Man, Truth or Dear, or Friend Request at some point. Bye Bye Man. I've heard of Truth Bye Bye Man. Oh god, some of these, sh some of those shitty teen horror movies. We will put them on the list. There's already a big growing list for EFAP movies. Um, oh man. Captain Marvel getting KO'd by Thanos represents how even a Mary Sue can't beat the patriarchy. Checkmate, Captain Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Did Cap have to look at Black Widow's mangled corpse when he returned the stone? <laughs> God, that'd be so awkward. No, I'm sure she wasn't there. He probably just dropped it and he was like, anyone can pick this up, I guess. I don't know. Well, where exactly was the... Um, I guess the soul stone just sort of appears to you. You just have possession of it. Yeah. And, and the thing with the soul stone, what if somebody else comes up behind someone who gets it and... Like, what, is the red, what does the red skull guy say? He's like, oh, no, someone else is using it right now. When they're done with it, I guess. Or, like, how does that work? Um, I don't know that that's going to be something we could answer. <laughs> It'll be. I just, I just want to know the bureaucracy of who gets the soul stone. <laughs> like, what if two people... Do you have to wait till someone brings it back? Yeah, do you have to wait till someone brings it back until you're done with it? What if two people threw one person off? Who gets the soul? Yeah, what if they both love someone? I just want to know how the soul stone gets back. Do you just hand it back to Red Skull Guy? Or in all the so, time yeah, he's been definitely. guarding it, has nobody just showed up and thrown something that they... What if what if Cap kept it, and what you can do with it is make people fall in love with you, and that's what he, how he actually got Peggy? No. Huh. Think about that, huh? Oh yeah, well, who knows what he did with the stones while, oh, what if he used the reality stone? What if Cap used the time stone? There's so many things that you could do. Who knows? Uh, ER, what inspired the Jack Saint joke in your vid? Because he just, the guy looks like him. <laughs> to me. I just saw an uncanny resemblance. How did you, you find out about Jack Saints? He's not exactly well known. From EFAP. Yay! We did it. You, you watched uh, the one where we covered him, was it? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> that yeah. was probably easier to listen to than it was to make. <laughs> I bet. TFA Part 3 when? Uh, to be confirmed. 
but it hasn't begun work on it yet, so don't expect it anytime soon. But it'll be coming eventually. Just stop by to say you should watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, that is all. Love you channels, guys. In honor of Thanos, what are your opinions on stoicism? Um, I think, I think just like many things, there's a time and place yeah. to be stoic, to, to have moments of pragmatism. But I think that you're really denying yourself a great deal of joy and... I mean, it, fuck, there's times where you far, should be you know? angry, you know? Yeah, there are times you should be angry. There are times, like, there should, there should be some times where you feel, like, righteous anger inside of you. Mm. Uh, the movie was great for what it was, yes. The movie has many, many plot holes, but this was truly a fan's movie. They included so many comic references, I don't know where they would go after this, but this was a perfect ending given what the real-life actors want. I think they did pretty well considering everything. Um, yeah, because, I mean, you could always do better, but they had a lot of shit to do. It's quite the juggling act um, with all the actors, all of the, the powers, the will, the characters. It's just like, it's a, it's a lot to deal with. Um, but yeah, yeah. This re movie reminded me why I joined the Rat King Covenant. Best Covenant in DS2. Rat King, because it's Rat. Get it? Hmm. Mm. In my opinion, Thor being a mess like he was after what he went through was a logical possible outcome. He coped with his life-changing circumstance like I did. He, it's not that he wouldn't be depressed and uh, give up on like doing X, Y, and Z. It's it's like the... I, I don't see the connection between that and losing faith in being a leader. Yeah. You could be like, well, he failed to save the day. Us sh doesn't really feel suitable as a leader. And I should be like, I don't know, I don't think we saw enough of that uh, through line. Personally, uh, but yeah. Enjoyed Endgame. Tony's I Am Iron Man line was the best part of the movie, but Captain Marvel did not deserve to be at his funeral. <laughs> Oof. I agree, fuck Captain Marvel. <laughs> Uh, watching some Tom Cruise movies lately after seeing Mission Impossible Fallout. Which should I see next? Minority Report, The Last Samurai, or Edge of Tomorrow? Uh, oh, I, I'll make a... Here's one Here's one out of fucking left field. Legend. <laughs> Go for Legend. that one. <laughs> Le oh, you guys, you guys have never seen Legend? I That's have. one of the first movies Tom Cruise did. I've seen Legend. I love Legend. What a trip, man. All right, Legend. And out of those three, though, I would recommend Lost Samurai, then Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, the Last Samurai is really, really Actually, good. Actually, fuck it. Lost Samurai and then the other two, I'm not sure uh, if you should see one of the other first. But see all three of them. Go for it. And uh, Minority Report was the other one? Yeah. Mm. I haven't seen Edge of Tomorrow, but I, I've seen Minority Report, and that's really good. Yeah, he said, any thoughts on these movies and how good slash bad they are? I like Edge of Tomorrow a lot, but there's loads of writing-tisms in it. Lost Samurai... Yeah. I just like mostly. Um, I probably need to watch it again. I haven't seen it since I was a lot younger, and that goes the same for Minority Report, actually. Yeah, I'm not the hugest fan of it because I'm familiar with the source material. I'm really happy with that hand. You're cutting out a little bit. There. I said I'm not the huge fan of it because I am familiar with source material. Not super happy with how I handled it. Mm -hmm. But the other two, the other two, pretty good. Uh, Love the character focus early in Endgame. Tony slash Nebula was an unexpected delight. I think the film got bogged down in plot for most of the middle. I could agree with that. Uh, saying odds in movies is just more movie science, anywho. Yes. Should have been Thor in a keg sent to Vormir. <laughs> that would also <laughs> work. Uh, should I see Endgame? More your why I watched Infinity War. Also, guys... Oh, well... Uh, yeah. I mean, if you really like a lot of what the MCU did, I'd recommend seeing Endgame. Um, I can't promise you'll love it. I can't promise you'll hate it. I don't know what'll happen. But, um, yeah, if you've watched Infinity War, you may as well see the other half of the story, I guess. I, I... Absolutely. Uh, you guys' thoughts on Into the Spider-Verse? Thought they really put effort into, into it personally. Uh... Haven't seen it, but I've heard it's great. Yeah, it's great. I've seen it, and it I thought is. it was pretty great. Found Thanos. Thanos gets arrested for sexual harassment? No, but yes. <sighs> if nah, I got it's to... tax evasion. That's what gets you. If I got to pick Muller in anime, it would be Cowboy Bebop dub. I, I oh. can't have everyone pick. I'll do that. I recommend... That a pretty good choice, though. 
Neon Nako Sugar Girls. I'm already in. You had me at Sugar Girls. <laughs> uh, Kick Vic, Maz Behind Bars. I... Maz Behind Bars. Maria Hill ramming a mothballed helicarrier would have been the ideal way of destroying Thanos' ship or anything else that wasn't Captain Marvel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spider Man goes back to high school five years later, but his friends are still there. Did they get held back? Well, no, they would have been snapped, I guess. I'm happy that Fura is here, and he spelt it with an E-R. <gasps> nice. Just got back from a 13-hour drive and caught the stream. Love the content all of you make. It looks like I missed most of the show, but here are some shekels. Well, you'll be able to catch the full thing probably tomorrow when it finally gets uploaded. It's going to take a while to process this one, I imagine. Um, recently played Valkyria Chronicle 4, and there is a doggo named Rags in it. Had chuckle. Ah, uh, yes, Ragnarok, yeah. He's a he's a field medic, which is which is extra good because in games I typically play support and healing characters because I'm a sassy power bottom. Uh, <laughs> Captain America doesn't know what Twitter is. That's why he had to go. Go because he didn't know what Twitter is. Am I missing the joke? Uh, um, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Uh, thanks, Yara Moller. I noticed a few years ago the quality of writing in the West was getting bad. You really have helped me better articulate this. Fucking great stuff. If that's an effect we have, I'm pretty sure that is a net good. Thing that, Hooray! Uh, assuming it results yep. in good things, for Alex sure. Is a talentless hack confirmed healer. <laughs> hey, it takes skill to be a good healer. And then not only does it take skill to be a good healer, but if anyone dies or if you lose the game, it's always your fault. What? There's a healer on my team. That's, that means I can literally do anything and it's never my fault. Killing right. a scared man just because he dusted 50% of all life forms is comparable to FBI agents dropping by and busting you for pirating an episode of Blue's Clues three years ago and then cutting off your head. Um, <laughs> um. If you say so. <laughs> So, I don't know how much of that I agree with. Uh, I think very little. 3% of it? 2%. Um, 1%. I mean, I agree with the point that you can compare the two. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a very good comparison, though. <laughs> That's young Loki? One. If there is a young Loki, he's just... Young girl Loki will be alive and well, yes. Doctor Strange's mm -hmm. plot was about a lot of quantum stuff. Cap trilogy. Yeah, the plot, the plot of Doctor Strange, I didn't like at all. It was really a mess, but I liked Doctor Strange. So I'm on board for another Doctor Strange, but work on the plot and make it cool. Um, a Cap trilogy through line was his friendship with Bucky, so I think the perfect ending would have been for Bucky to be the new Cap. Also was surprised with you till the end of the line wasn't used. Yeah, Cap and Bucky's story wasn't really in Endgame. Really, really given more yeah. of a stuff. Yeah, thoughts on the melancholy of Haruhai Suzumiya? Uh, endless eight arc, pretty good. But if you gotta really have a high tolerance for stuck up little bitches to get through that show, I gotta tell you. So anime. Yeah. Anime. Basically. Uh, Captain America went back and returned all the stones that kept correct. So with him staying, he married Peggy and lived a full life with her. In Civil War, Cap gets a girlfriend. She's an agent, but also Peggy's daughter. Incest? I'm guessing she would be a different timeline-y thing. You only kissed her. It's fine. You can go any further than kissing her. It's okay. Nothing bad happened. Rags, where can we get the dancing dog from your game reviews for meme purposes? So... I have, so I have, basically, I paid a, an artist, Fazamorous, uh, who does amazing work, to make, like, a dancing intro. The part that I showed, the part that I show in the exclusively games little intro thingies, it's only a tiny portion of that. There's, like, a whole routine that I do. I'm not sure. I kind of, a part of me really wants to be the only one who has, like, the raw files of it. But for meme, but you know, for meme purposes, you know, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I mean, it will eventually be on a, a main video, like the video I'm working on now, like the two I'm working on now. It's the intro, like it's supposed to be like a consistent intro. 
but it'll have like text that goes over it and it'll have its own background and stuff. So I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I put out the raw file. Um, I might though, but maybe after I, after it's only mine for a bit, because if everyone uses it, but everyone knows that it's me, then, you know, that's one thing. That's fine. I'm down with that. But, um, not yet. Maybe later. Probably later. But not yet. Get Hayden Christensen to talk about George Lucas. Totally. We'll get Hayden Christensen on next time. Um, oh, like, do you think we could actually probably do that? Oh, he's doing these days. 100%. I talk to him all the time. He lives in. What, what, what is, what, like, what, what's he doing these days? He's probably. He's in movies. I think. Yeah, like what? Movies that he's in. They have names. I don't know what they are, though. He's doing great. Yeah. I have to ask. Thoughts. Actor. Thoughts on Soul Eater? It's uh, good. I have not seen it. All right then. Uh, Avengers Endgame: An unbridled mixed feelings. I don't. I don't think that's feasible as a as a name. <laughs> oh, when it comes to feels, oh fucking hell! Unbridled my feels mixed aren't feels. mixed. Uh, Mola, thank you for making this exciting weekend in two parts. Seeing Avengers Endgame and hearing UFAP's reaction, I really look forward to the same in December. Oh yeah, of course. We'll be oh, doing the Star yeah. Wars version of this. Mm. <laughs> oh fucking wait. Hey, yeah, you want to come on for that one? <laughs> sure, why not? We'll we'll keep it in a maybe pile because you might find it nightmarish, who knows. Uh yeah, you'll love JoJo Part 2. There's a third Reich good guy, Stroheim, that saves the day multiple times. He even does a heil for like 30 seconds. What? Oh, yeah. Someone should have told me that. Well, um, Mahler and I were talking earlier um, about like Killing Floor Two, and I said Tripwire put put a German soul. One of the playable characters is Anton Strasser, um, oh. who's, who's a German soldier from World War Two, um, and like that's something not a lot of companies would do. Like they wouldn't even do that shit. Just hmm. having him, I'm like, oh, I said, no, no, we can't do that. Uh, serious one for you. I've been going through a rough spot as of late, and it's really been affecting me. You guys bring me up and put a smile on my face during the hard times. Thanks for that. No problem, Will. I, I genuinely would hope that people get entertainment out of us having a chat about media, etc. Um, and if this helps, I really like the idea that it helps people through, like, long work days, because I used to listen to podcasts when I had, like, really bad retail jobs, so... Like, yeah. If I can provide that for someone, that's that's... Definitely something that's a boost for a... Uh, I've been there, my dude. That's the kind of stuff that's good to hear. Helping other people through their day. That's some good stuff. I like that. I haven't seen the film, but not so in love with the MCU as to care about spoilers. My only question is if Adam Warlock shows up, given that's what Infinity War did in the comics, he's going to be in Guardians 3, from what I can tell. Um, Adam Warlock? Yeah, because he's baited at the end of Guardians 2. He's oh, in, the, the Sovereign guy? Yeah, he's in, like, that machine. Oh, that's Adam? Oh, oh okay. All right. Um, he could have popped up in Endgame, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, they didn't go with that. I always thought Earth didn't get much space traffic because it's in the galactic equivalent of nowhere space, like a flyover planet. Also, the new Avengers are all s superficially diverse. What even are the new Avengers? Are you just talking about everyone who's alive? Cause... Yeah, but, like, the Avengers are a group for a reason, so I'm... Um... That's a thing. That's a, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, them being on a distant place in space, like <sighs> you could say that, but I just feel like it's like it just seems unlikely if it's completely allowed to travel into that solar system that no one really did, unless everyone's just fully aware that it's not worth it or something. Like, what is a place on Earth that no one goes to because it's crap and out of the way? The bottom I mean, of the ocean, or. <laughs> I mean, there's there's plenty of places people don't go to because there's no reason to go there. I mean, places like the bottom of the ocean. It's Isn't it really worth hard to going get there. There's no point. Even to just just, just like, say you've been, you can take over there if you have good enough. Well, well, I mean, there's a lot of town. Like even in America, there's so much space. You go to the, especially the middle of the country or the south. They're just little towns and swamps and just woodlands where just nobody is and nobody ever goes yeah i was thinking maybe it's a bad comparison because like is it in planets there's a lot of benefits you might be able to get as a space-faring civilization where you're like let's just go to that distant solar system that no one fucking goes near and colonize it and they're like oh earthlings are here can we just nuke earth get it out of the way and then 
A lot of things could happen, I don't know. Uh, ER, have you seen Higurashi or Future Diary? Uh, yes. It's a wild ride. Uh, he would have seen it. He said, search for references to Infinity Stones. Nebula mentioned the Soul Stone when she explained Gamora's death. Fair enough. Um, I don't know if that's really going to give him the same experience, though, if he finds out that Gamora was sacrificed by his future self versus him actually doing it, if you know what I mean. He was just yeah, like, it won't be the same experiences. I mean, maybe comparable in some way, but it ain't going to be the same. Especially if he finds out they thwarted his plan, because then he'll just be angry, you know? Even more angry, potentially, because of the fact that he told that he did that. But yeah, no, I understand. Uh, are any of you potentially looking for an editor to help with making your videos in any way? I consider um, editing intrinsic to my videos, kind of. Yeah, I mean, same. it would have to be like a little segment of something that I just don't know how to do, but I'm kind of discovering how to do new things all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't think, I, for me, if I don't know how to do something, then I, I learn how to do it, or I find a different way of putting it in. That's a weird one. I don't think so, no. Bill from Zach, yes, still. Uh, we're near the end, by the way. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Stoicism is a philosophy, philosoph really? philosophy slash lifestyle. <laughs> Basically, you can control, you can only control yourself and your reactions to things. It's not about having, em not having emotions, but not being ruled by them. Yeah. Well, that's just being normal. What I said about, um, I was going to say, yeah, the, the idea is that, you know, someone slights you hardcore and you remain stoic. Sometimes remaining stoic isn't necessarily what you should do, but sometimes it is, or at least... That's kind of what we were trying to get at, is that um, there are times to be stoic and times where there's not. If you're saying, like, what's the value of engaging in stoicism at all times, controlling any and all emotions that affect you, like, well, there's benefits. Yeah. Stanley cameos are Steve Rogers in disguise. Yes. Oh. What are your favorite movies everyone should watch except for Lord of the Rings? Most places say Shawshank Redemption is the best. Your suggestions? Um, my favorite movie is Masquerade. I always tell people that. Um, I really like um, the second like Road Warrior movie. I really like the Indiana Jones. If you haven't seen the Indiana Jones movies, see those. They're great. It's con that's some good stuff. What about you, y'all? Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna recommend a. Uh... One that I don't think many people have seen. It's a Korean flick called Company Man. I like that one a lot. I think more people should see it. Um, my placeholder is usually Terminator 2. I really like that movie. Yeah, it's a good one. But there's, there's a lot, all, yeah. Oh, God. It's like, where do you even begin? Because if you start um, saying some, you start feeling like, oh, I gotta mention this one. Oh, and then I gotta kind of mention that one too for these yeah. reasons. And then you're like, oh, I better shut up. <laughs> be yeah. Um, because you're keeping the dancing dog for yourself, rags. I'm now communism. Your property is now the property of, aka, my property. Well, for the for the moment, because I because it's mine and I I paid for it and it was you know it's it's an it's a fairly lengthy animation that's high quality. Mm -hmm. I just I'm fine with other people using it after I've kind of established that it's mine and people associate it with me. That's kind of the thing here that I'm going for. But don't worry, I'm not keeping it for myself forever. I mean, I'll I mean, I'll make file. Um, I'll, I'll put it out there eventually. But um, just just afterwards, I'm gonna wait a bit. There's gonna be some time. Uh, guess I have to reveal my weebness slash autism. A question for ER. Are you familiar with the Fate franchise? If so, what are your thoughts? I am familiar with it. Uh, I've only seen the um, Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night animes or anime. And uh, they're both pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, it also says, especially the original F slash SNVN, if you're familiar with it. I'm not familiar with the visual models, no. And then, Duitsu no Kagaku wa Sekai Ichi. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to... I have no idea. 
Mm. And then finally, don't end the stream yet, or I'm going to pull on my testicle really hard. I'm don't afraid do that. we're coming right to the end. It's just yeah, we've been going for like seven now, oh, man. There's something to see though, right? I'm gonna have to show this to Wolf on the next EFAP as well. But uh, Beowin has finished the next piece. <laughs> you're not taking my pizza. You know you're in there, Wolf. Beowin is going to draw you fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the pizza faces. Yeah, little Cidic stacks. Uh, I like that. <laughs> he's all he's propped up against the door so he can't get in yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i like it i like it I but like yeah it that pretty much leaves us at the end of this stream i suppose um er would you like to tell the chat why they should subscribe to your channel ah uh, well you hate the legend of Korra, and <laughs> you want to see more of that that's basically what I'm there for. I'm your guy. Anything else, psh, you can pass me by. Yeah, you got, what, what, what is your best video? What do you reckon? My best video? Uh, um, let's go with, I guess, my latest Death Note series of videos which is basically one long video idea that that spread into three parts yeah that's check video. that out you know it's unfortunate i really liked your get out video and then it had to be booed because you're you're a racialism yeah <laughs> how unfortunate i feel like you changed a lot of people's minds with that one because a shit ton of people thought get out was like oscar worthy sort of stuff yeah i but yes. I mean, there's, there's re-uploads of it, funnily enough. Yeah, there is uh, one with quite a number of views. So yeah, I mean, you can still find it on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, thanks for coming on, obviously. It's uh, been really cool to actually speak to you. Uh, for you to field questions as well as talk about Star Wars and Marvel, your two favorite franchises. Hooray. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, thank you for having me on. It's been a good time. Oh, we got happy day. More questions. Guys, like good, good day to all. Glad to see ER and EFAP. Okay, that one wasn't. All right. Has ER seen Kakaguru? I don't know. It's a ditty pleasure. Kangaroo? Oh, uh, that sounds. But I, from that pronunciation, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, here they come. Any thoughts on Monogatari? Bake Monogatari. Fucking hell. Uh, not that one, I know. Uh, I watched maybe half of it. I liked it. I just finished it. Um, have you played Song of Saya? Song of Saya, I believe? Yeah. Like a uh, yeah, I have. That one is a wild ride. <laughs> That's... About as much as I'll say about that. And Doitsu, the, the thing I read out, it means German science is number one in the world. Stroheim from Jojo Part 2 says it while he's hiling. It's quite fun. All right, well, that it mystery looks like solved. I have something to get right on. Um, but yeah, that about wraps it up. Is there anything either of you guys wanted to say about anything? Oh, I think I've gone about long enough. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to recharge the old batteries. Mm -hmm. in my tum tum oh, with that well uh thank you all for watching it's been a lot of fun uh thank you very much for the 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 very kind donations and the passion behind a lot of the art we get to showcase i'll throw it all into the discord you can find it there there's a link for that in the description i believe as well as a few other things that came up in this episode this is going to turn up on the moolah channel and as for um new videos uh it's going to be a while before one comes from my channel with Captain Marvel only just coming out and I'm not sure what I'm up to with Endgame but the rest of the parts for TFA will be completed before episode 9 comes out. Otherwise that would be pretty awkward. But I don't think I'm going to take that fucking log, like, you know, the whole year. But hey, it'll we'll, we'll get it done. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I guess we shall see you next time. Yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye.